Oh dear. This feels loud. No, no. I'm just having a moment to myself. It's loud for me. I think we're good. Yeah, my chair is off a little bit. Oh, there, we fixed it. We fixed it. Hello, everyone. Nessa, I beat my first Souls boss ever. Just got Demon Souls on PS5. Oh, bless your soul. Good luck and have fun. I've never played Demon Souls. My my forte is pretty much all Dark Souls 3 with a dash of Sekiro. Oh, is a nice way to start in a stream. Oh, it's because um I happened to look over and I saw that the little happy face was there and I was like, oh, I'm out of time. Whoops, I should start officially. But yes, how is everybody? Happy Friday. We did it. We made it to Friday. We did the thing. I need to unmute in my Discord so that SJ can hear me. That would be helpful. How is everyone? How are you all doing? For those who are inquiring, we are currently listening to the Celeste soundtrack. This is one of my favorite games. I said at one point I wanted to speedrun it and then I never got around to learning it and instead started learning freaking Bloodstained Curse of the Moon because I went ahead and platinum that and I was like, oh, I can speedrun this now. Mm. And then, is that thin crust pizza? Yes, the thinnest of crust. Mhm. Mm it um. It was in the cards for me to have it today, because I was in Bobby's stream earlier, and they said it was Pizza Friday, and I was like, I can throw down on Pizza Friday, and then my emo showed up, and I was like, well, now I'm obligated to do Pizza Friday. Hey, Edelweiss. Hey, Nisembi. How is everybody? I wonder if SJ is just away getting food at the current moment. Or he might be back. I went to literally go get ice cream and some juice, so... <sighs> ice cream and juice? Listen. I managed to not completely barf a Terry Bogard cosplay on stream today. Ice cream, if I want ice cream and juice, I'm gonna have ice cream and juice. Oh my god. Oh, Lord. I saw the link you posted, too, about the Shermie team possibly making a comeback. And it's a cypher. It's a cypher. Hello, everyone from Cypher Stream. I hope you're all doing well. Cypher, I hope you had a good stream. My name is Vanessa, a.k.a. Pleasantly Twisted. I am a black queer content creator. I do try hard games and JRPGs. We do challenge runs, speed runs, and completionist things. And uh, we just got started. We're going to get kind of cozy and nestled in a little bit. And mm -hmm. then we're going to play some Tales of Symphonia. And then that's when the violence will start because we got some man to beat up today. Mm -hmm. I'm on the agenda for it. I'm on the agenda for it. How was your stream, Cypher? You were doing some Division 2. Hopefully you had some friendos to play with. Wakanda Wolfman, thank you so much for the follow. Ad is it Adana? Adana, thank you so much for the follow. Hey, Chuples. Hey, Panda. Hey, Kaiju. I hope everyone's doing well. Gods. There's lots and lots of stuff I gotta go over today. Hey, Ruby. What is it? The great, oh, come on, Streamlabs. Pangolin? Pangolin? Ping Pangolin? No, Pangolin sounds better. Yeah, I think it's Pangolin, right? I think it's Pangolin. <laughs> Bossing up Mythos? Oh yeah, me and Mythos, we gotta have a real good conversation. Eddie Anna? Okay. That's not a problem. I didn't mean to mispronounce it. I fix. It's Adiana. 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 You got the two E's there, unless that's a typo. Finished up Lunastrum. Oh, okay. Oh, you had sponsored stuff going. That's always fun. That's always fun. Uh huh. Mm. We have a few things to go over today before we get started. This is going to be a lot. And I'm so sorry in advance. It's going to be a lot. So, first things first, if you're looking at the thing at top, 
Today and tomorrow, we're going to be raising money. Red Mage Ray, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. Hey, Javon. Happy Friday, indeed. How was your shot? Hopefully, everything went well and you didn't have any problems. So, yeah, today and tomorrow, we're going to be raising money for Gamers Outreach for their... Sorry, I food like, there. Hey, Mollus. For their um, Gamers Forgiving event that they have going on. Lurk while I wrap up post-sponsor stuff. Understandable. Thank you so much for the raid, Cypher. And so, we have small goal, because it's only going to be for two days. It's only going to be for two days. For um, every $3,500 that a streamer raises, you'll get a cart. You'll get a cart sent to a hospital of your choice, and it'll have your branding on it. But since it's only one day, I didn't really have the heart to be like, let's go for $3,500 in five hours. It just seems like a lot, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. But the wine cellar has proven me wrong many times over, so I'm not... Let's just say it still feels like a lot in my brain. But nonetheless, we are helping out, and we're part of like this huge streaming event. Um, I'm streaming alongside a couple of other people. There's like a huge thing on Twitter all about it. The biggest thing that kind of blew my mind about this event was that I'm in an email chain with Jay Wong, a.k.a. that dude who did all them parries in Street Fighter 3, Third Strike. For the Chun Li and Ken fight. Other way around. I'm gonna say, well, yeah, the other way around. <laughs> but yeah, I'm on a stream team with him more or less right now. And I think that's hilarious. And I'm like, for how much we talk about fighting game stuff, and thank you so much for the pop and Kaldanen, for how much we talk about fighting game stuff, and I'm always like, I'm garbage tier. Valkyries, thank you for the $10 donation. It just was funny to me because it's like, oh yeah, he's here. And I'm like, aren't you? Aren't you? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> I love that I'm always faster than my actual alerts for my donations. I don't know how that is, but I am. And Sharing so, gun. You say what? Sharing gun. God farts. I always forget Poppins. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. Hey, Keen. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I'm talking about charity stuff that we're doing this weekend. And then next week, we're going to be raising money for Thousand Dreams funds. A Thousand Dreams Fund words. And that one is particularly special as well because it's for Women's History Month. And for those of you who recall, I got a broadcaster grant from Thousand Dreams Fund last year. And so now I'm going to be raising money to help out with the next set of applicants and winners of the broadcaster grant. So hoping that that'll go well next week. Hoping that this weekend will go well. Tomorrow, we'll be playing Hades all day. So what I wanted to do is if you put in donations beforehand and you want to choose stuff, we can make a note of it and we'll start out the stream with those redemptions. $2 will let you choose what door and what boon I'm choosing next. Um, $5 will let you choose my weapon at the start of a run. And then $10 will let you actually mess with the heat and everything on my runs. Now, my only request is if you want to mess with heat, that's fine. I'm comfortable to maybe like 11 or 12 heat. So if you do something extraordinarily high, do not be surprised if on a brand new save file I die. I'm just saying. Don't don't donate and be like, you should do 30 heat. And it's like, cool, I have nothing unlocked. So this is going to last 40 seconds. So yeah, I'm hoping tomorrow will be a good time. I'm hoping it'll be a good time. I'll make a graphic for everybody to see. Hey, XSoul, out on Twitter and everything. Hey, you can get to. So that's the main things. Outside of stream, things that have an impact on stream. Oh my God. Why 37 KFC wings? Not Why not 30, 35, or 40? I feel like 37 is a very specific number. <laughs> um... Next big news. There you go. 63 Heat. Well, that was indeed a speed run. Exactly. Like, there reaches that fine point where there has to be an understanding of what you're walking into, right? That's a prime number. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's a prime number. Because, like, you look silly after a bit. Oh, and of course, as you can see with the milestones thing, um, there will be giveaways per usual. We'll be giving away games. So... 
I love expressions that come from a story like Fear, Victory, Greek Gift, Penguin Advice. I'm a button mint that for the You're Welcome for Panda. Oh, geez. So, like, I got some big news yesterday. We're moving. The wine cellar is moving. Um, we're not moving from Twitch. That's not happening. But we are moving from Indiana. So, we're moving in June. We moving in here. Shut the fuck up, Excel. We're moving in June. And we're moving to Colorado. So, in turn, I'm going to be changing up a lot of the schedule for April and May. May, we're still going to do St. Jude Play Live. Thank you for the $50 donation! Oh my gosh! Thank you so much! I don't know what I want you to do with that, though. What do you want with it? I can do stuff this stream. I still got googly eyes and jelly beans. Oh my gosh. And again, it's going to be like another five seconds. June is so soon. I know. I know. And Tiny Nunu, thank you so much for the $50. Early welcome to Mountain Time. Thank you so much, Intolerable Hulk. So, a lot of people know I've been wanting out of Indiana forever. And with the help of the boy, we kind of just pulled the trigger on it. He was like, you know what? What if I just put in my notice, job hunt, do all that stuff? And let's just get the hell out of here. I was like, we're just going to leave? He's like, yeah. Let's just leave. We can sit here and, like, make reasons to wait, but why? We're, we're, let's just leave. So, that's the plan. And we're moving to Colorado in June. So, right, Kane? I'm sitting here like, I don't have the, like... I do a lot of bold stuff, but that's bold even for me. I'm like, you just going up and leave? He's like, yeah. I, I could be over it. Let's just leave. <laughs> Your boy's a good bean. <laughs> He's like, Let's I gotta be oh Indeed, my. that's some king shit. So, he's gonna be looking for a job in um, back in web dev and software engineering and all that. You're gonna have mountains. Oh my gosh, we are gonna have mountains. So, as a result, Bloodborne, I'm gonna table for a little bit because I want to spend next month and May. Next month, I want to kind of hang out more with community, do some more stuff with people before I get moved. I know I've been talking to uh, Ash Said Hi. We've been talking about trying to do some stuff together. Either like right now, it's between getting together and playing like Streets of Rage 4 on stream. Or yesterday, there was a proposal for a trade off. If she teaches me how to play Mario, I'm going to teach her how to Sonic. Yo, that's going to be sick. <laughs> So, I'm going to try and figure that stuff out. I got to get in touch with Bobby, because I'm pretty sure Bobby forgot. Blacktastic. We had said we were going to play 30XX together after the next update, and then we both, like, fell asleep in our respective time zones and doing stuff. And I was like, oh, yeah, that was, like, is that update, like, tomorrow or something? I haven't checked. <laughs> <laughs> How did the update passed? I don't know. But, um... I'm also going to try and do some more community-centric stuff. I do want to do some stuff with crowd control. Mm. I know many people have said that they want to burn points because they have a bajillion and 80 of them. And uh, I was thinking about doing some crowd control on Sonic Mania. I think that'll be a good time. Because I actually have not beaten um, Sonic Mania yet. I haven't beat Sonic Mania yet. And... Um, there's a couple other games that are on there. And then while I'm doing that, I could possibly raise money at that same time. So we'll see. The downside of mountains is that severe weather patterns tend to follow them. So you're going to get walloped on occasion. Oh, you mean like earlier this week when Denver got 23 inches of snow? Like Paul told me that. And I was like, we don't live there yet. You don't have to tell me that. <laughs> I don't, I don't have to directly deal with it yet, so can you... Hmm. Nisimbi, I'm going to give you your points back. Well, no. I might give you your points back. We're in the middle of packing, so all my video games are packed up. But, oh no, the boy's too thorough. My plushies are packed up too. Um, I might have something for you. I might have something for you. Yeah, I got you. Give me one second. 
Let me see. I'm about to say when king shit goes wrong. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how long this will be gone for, but hey, chat. Happy Friday. You say what, SJ? I said I wasn't sure how long I was I was going to attempt to not so suddenly steal the stream for like two minutes. But I didn't, I didn't know how long you're going to be gone for. Oh no, I literally just walked over to my closet that I have to pack up stuff in. It's Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. Mina, thank you so much for the 23 months at Tier 3. I appreciate you so much. And for today's Nerd Out, let's talk about board games. We haven't packed these up yet, so we can go ahead and redeem it. Let's talk about board games. So, ooh. Springleaf, thank you so much for the eight month resub. I appreciate you. How's Mina? How's Springleaf? I hope you're both doing well. What sounds really good? I seem to have missed it. Kermit said something that sounds really good. I made some miso buttermilk biscuits and they're, ooh. That's a lot of good words all at once. Woo! So let's talk bird games. So I don't know how many people here know that I actually work the Gen Con floor. I am actually a volunteer for Gen Con and I've been a volunteer for Gen Con for the last seven years. Aside from being on a panel with Extra Life with them last year. And one of my favorite things to do at Gen Con, I was a play tester for uh, Sagrada as well. I was a play tester as well. One of my favorite things about Gen Con that a lot of people don't realize, I adore board games. The very first one that I got really, really into is the classic tried and true. I have it up on my shelf of Settlers of Catan or Catan, mm -hmm. depending on who you're talking to. And I'm deep in it. It's bad. I have, let's see, from here I can see... Settlers of Catan, Catan Cities and Nights, Catan Seafarers, Settlers of America, Trails to Rails, and then I think I have Sonic Monopoly underneath it because of course I have Sonic Monopoly. But that was the start of a very, very dangerous and slippery slope. And as a result, I got into things like Gen Con, Sagrada, Sacred or Holy. Uh, I don't know what this question is. I don't know what you mean. Ironically, I have a ton of board and card games, but I don't have Catan. Really, Mina? Well, for what it's worth, though, if you're involved in any board game community, probably at least eight of your friends have 15 copies. Like, every time I look at all the Catan that I have on my shelf, I have to think about how many of our friends also have that much Catan. And I'm just like, why do we all have it? But yeah, one of my favorite things to do at Gen Con is to go out and play test games, and then I always have to get a mandatory Catan game in, and I switch between the two. I have to get a mandatory Catan game in, and I have to get a mandatory um, Splendor game. Splendor and Catan are like, absolutely have to play them when I'm at Gen Con. Gotta do it at least once. And then I play tested this, and this is Sagrada, which is a fantastic little game using dice to kind of help formulate a stained glass window and you can play it by yourself that's actually something that drew me to it was the fact that you could play it one player but you can also play it with up to four people and they have an expansion out now that i think expands it to eight i don't know because i don't have the expansion i have a couple of like quote unquote dlc cards for being a play tester and then visiting them the second year after they were play testing it because it did really well it's a beautiful game it's absolutely gorgeous. Sagrada means sacred or holy. Oh, I didn't realize that. And hey, uh, let me see. I think they're doing a translation of the word. Okay, that makes more sense. I've played a love Catan. I just don't own it myself. That's because you got like 40 friends that all own 80 copies of it. And Javon, I'm not dragging your friends because I am very much in this picture. It's me. I'm the clown. I'm wearing the shoes right now. Oh my gosh. Like, there's still versions of it that I don't have that I'm like, do I want that? Should I get that? Is it useful? And now we're going to go to Colorado, and I have no idea who I'm going to play with. Well, I have a few people. Wagon Age, Oregons. I hate it. I uh. hate it. <laughs> uh. That's awful. That's terrible. So let's see. I also play tested for a game called Unearthed. 
That was not last year for obvious reasons, but the year before I play tested it and I really liked it. Um, it's very much similar to Photosynthesis, if you've ever played that. And that's a very popular port game. Uh, I can help you find some nerds in Denver area, PT. I got some connections. I'm gonna see who I can connect to as well because I know that Dryad Tea is out there. So one of my sponsors is in Denver. As a matter of fact, my sponsor, Dryad Tea, is living in the same area that I'm moving to. And literally I told her that and she was like, I cannot wait to deliver you tea face to face. And I was like, that's dangerous. I have so much tea already. I have so much tea already. Oh, we have some people in community. <clears throat> this is this is a Vallejo signal. We have people in community who play stuff on tabletop sim pretty regularly and is always looking for new players. What did you um what did you teach me that me, you, and Ooze played? Oh, I can't I can't think of the name of it right now. It was super fun though. I really enjoyed it. And I would love to play an in-person game. It wasn't called Adventure. It's another popular board game that I just never actually played, I realized, until we were playing it. Dominion! Yes, we played Dominion, and that was a ton of fun. So yeah, I'm a very, very big board game geek, which is funny because I kind of got my intro into the tabletop RPG uh, community as a side effect of this. So even though I'm the lead artist for Into the Motherlands, I am actually very, very lightweight when it comes to raw things like Pathfinder, Dungeons and Dragons, Cypher, uh, Vampire to Masquerade, all of that stuff. I am like, if it was a level of 1 to 20, I'm like a 2. I can't even make that up. I know just enough to be dangerous. And I always roll rogues. Well, I roll rangers too. <sighs> Ever play Hive? I have not played Hive. I have not played Hive. And monks. If there's a monk available, I'll play one. I was always shooed away from fighters and monks because they're a little bit more difficult to play, which I get that, but I'm also stubborn. And I'm just like, but I said what I said and I want to play a monk. Yeah. Like that's, it's aesthetic. I have to play the monk. But you don't want the other expansions, but the completionist in you does. Wow, wow, you complain about me attacking your friends and then you attack me when I'm live? <laughs> really? Really? You going for headshots in these streets? Yeah. Do you just want me to ban you now? Like, I don't... <laughs> Was this necessary? Was this called for? Hello? Sir. Choosing violence. And we're not even 20 into the stream. Or, I'm sorry, we're like 20 into talking. But yeah, Sagrada is one of my favorites. VV Prime is familiar with Sagrada. That's another goal. I want to play VV. Uh, I want to play Sagrada with VV Prime when she comes back over the border. When you know we're out of the panoramic, or we're out of the Ponderosa. Sorry, I already said panoramic. Um, another. TWS TD save TWS TD snacks TWS TD save TWS TD snacks TWS TD save TWS TD snacks TWS TD save TWS TD snacks. I feel like saving and snacks could actually be the name of a podcast. Saving and snacks with pleasantly twisted. What are you talking about today? That time I learned how to do rotating saves. And what snack are you having today? Ah, uh, yes, today we'll be eating the matcha Kit Kats. Would you be doing a review of those? Make an X save, monks. You thought. I don't have time for you and your saves. Get out of here. You better make your saves for Jesus. Leave me alone. I kick. I kick. I multi punch. And uh, with the D and D, that's a good one up. Uh, let me see what we got here. I'm so done with the pumper nickel. Listen. The Pandora's box can quit whenever it's ready. I just want to get a pedicure. That's it. Like that's where I'm at. I I the smallest the smallest joy. I just want a pedicure. That's all I want. Oh hey grinding coffee! You're here just in time. Oh look at that lovely command that we just rolled out. By the way, the last announcement that I wanted to make is that we have a new sponsor. A new challenger has approached. We at the wine cellar are sponsored by, I'm still holding Sagrada like that has anything to do with Grinding Coffee Co.
<laughs> We're sponsored by Grinding Coffee Co. There's a wonderful new command that says exclamation point grinding. There's a wonderful new panel down below that says more about Grinding Coffee Co. And I hear a lot of the people in the wine cellar do enjoy their kavefi. They do enjoy their kavefi. One of the kavefi drinkers has been summoned like... I would like to see this. Um, for those of you who want more information about it, feel free to ask me. You can look into the link and everything as well. Grinding Coffee Co. is a black, LGBTQ, IAP+, and women-ran coffee company. It's a little bit pricier, but all the prices include shipping, so there's free shipping everywhere. Uh, if you're in the UK, I'm sorry. You can thank Brexit for making sure y'all don't get tasty coffee. The fuck is Brexit? I hate that the captioner knows what Brexit is. It's free shipping in the US. Apologies. It's free shipping in the US. And I have an order that's coming. I'm going to be having some espresso. The boy is going to have some dark roast. He really surprised me because I was like, well, what order do you want? And he was like, I want something dark. And I was like, you usually go medium. He's like, yeah, but if it's nice coffee, I want dark. And I'm like, we've been together for six years and I just learned this about you. You like dark coffee? And if you use my link, you'll get 10% off of your order. When you go through the checkout, it should automatically have the code in there. If it does not have the code in there, you know what it is. It's Twisted 10. That's my code everywhere. It's Twisted 10. Is there a sampler? Grinding coffee. Is there a sampler on your site? <laughs> Sorry, I have to get my stuff going too. I just went straight for the bag. That's the reason I don't have the answer. Because I looked and I was like, I know I'll drink it. I would like espresso, please. There's three samplers. Also, bless, they have K cups. Hey, Punky Possum. Dark Roast is good when it's real good coffee. Another thing that's really nice about their coffee is that it's to order as to order you can get. So, like, literally, you won't get those beans and stuff roasted and picked until you order the coffee. Mithrilla, I believe that. Like, the whole thing is messy. Single origin sampler, flavored sampler, and another one. I don't drink coffee, but I like the sound of this company a lot. I'm real hype about it. And you're helping out a black LGBTQ IP plus women owned joint. Oh, hey, by the way, did you know that that's what you're watching? I'm all three of these things. How wonderful. It makes sense why I would want to work with them. Yes. Yes. I'm super hype about my espresso. Some of my American friends love coffee, so I'll perhaps send them some. <gasps> oh, you're a joint. What does that mean, Reguline? <laughs> what? <laughs> mean that makes no sense <laughs> but yes lots and lots of good stuff there also also and i'm glad you're here grinding in case i misquote you on some of the stuff uh a portion of the sales that they make from their grinding coffee sales goes to charity goes to good causes so they don't even keep all the profit for themselves there's just good upon good upon good i'm so sorry i have to start drinking this or else i'm gonna fall asleep this is my energy for the day. <laughs> That's some very cool three things. Sorry, I need to start sipping. Mollus is like, I don't drink coffee, but I will find everyone I know who drinks coffee. <laughs> Please bring the coffee. I'm really hype about the espresso I'm getting because it's a French vanilla espresso. espresso. Breaks the entire wall down. Oh no. Y'all have chocolate hazel. <laughs> Listen, only exists because of coffee. I have such a huge coffee collection as is, but I guess I could add to it. This is my energy with tea. Like straight up. I'm just like, I have a whole cabinet of tea. Oh, I don't have that flavor though. <laughs> help <laughs> me. Please help me. Ah, uh, you found Mexican chocolate, did you? Oh no, I think that's a different flavor. I think that's different. That's completely different. I think the, um, I got French vanilla espresso coming and I'm really excited about it. And I have my tiny little espresso maker that Ravenous Christie got me. I'm gonna make a tiny espresso before we leave. What does single origin coffee refer to? Non-coffee drinker here. So that means it's all coming from one place and it's not a blend. 
because a lot of coffees, a lot of American and like store brand coffees especially, are kind of like a mixture and blend of beans so you can get kind of like that mellowed out flavor and everything. Whereas a single origin one is a teeny coffee. Whereas single origin, it's all one spot. If it says they are, for the sake of putting words out there, if it says they're African beans, they're all from Africa. It's not African beans and a couple from another place and a couple from another place and they just ground it all together. It's one spot. Well, you said it's black LGBTQIAP plus two women owned joint and you're all three of those things if you listen selectively and place your commas right. And oh, oh my God, Regulon, I'm going to kick you out. <laughs> I'm going to kick you the fuck out. No, just hold on. Angry. This is arguably, this is the same energy I have for um, in Sonic the Hedgehog games. One of my favorite facts about it is if you read it incorrectly, when you get all the Chaos Emeralds, it's supposed to read Sonic has all Chaos Emeralds, as in he's acquired them all. As opposed to, as opposed to if I were to read it and I'm talking really fast, it sounds like Sonic has all Chaos Emeralds. And I just envision him like sitting in his room playing games with like a big bag of Emeralds in the back. <laughs> like he just got all Emeralds, dog. And I'm like, that's not, that's not what that says. I have to parse this in. I parsed it wrong. But what's up, grinding? What's wrong? Did I mess up already? Is it day one and I'm getting fired? <laughs> like you go to a nationwide fast food joint, you expect it to be the same. Oh my gosh. Regulon has chosen violence. Or are you talking about Regulon Pears commentary? Single orange coffee, it comes from a single country. Yes. Yes. That's what I said. One spot. One spot. You're not, you're not getting all types of stuff from everywhere. One spot. Mm. Well, that's why none of the gems you collect are actual emeralds. Nobody can find the real emeralds because Sonic owns all of them. Yeah, he got all emeralds. He got all emeralds. And then isn't the cut of the emeralds actually more like... Yeah, the cut of the emerald is more like a, a diamond cut. It's more like a diamond cut. And that's why people are just like, why emeralds? And I'm like, listen, I just work here. I just speed run it. I just, Sonic's the reason I'm a gamer. Sonic's the reason I'm on Twitch playing games for y'all. Mm -hmm. I didn't, I didn't make the design decision. I didn't say they were emeralds. I'm just reading what it says. Listen, I don't get upset when y'all called the rings the coins, okay? Can we just, <laughs> can we just leave it over there? That's a very cool hoodie, by the way. Oh, thanks. Thanks so much. I said last time that I had to wear my other crop hoodie, so now I'm wearing this crop hoodie. But these are the only two crop hoodies I own. Well, I own one more, but it doesn't have anything black-centric on it. Sonic is also the reason I'm a gamer. Sonic gotta go nyum. And go nyum. Yeah, Emerald Boy. And even like in the cartoon, he's holding them. It's like, but those aren't emeralds. None of these are emeralds. <laughs> and then they're different colors. And the TBG, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a fantastic Friday. Thanks for joining us. We'll get to some good old games here in like two more minutes. So yeah, lots of announcements, lots of stuff. We're raising money for Gamers Outreach all weekend. I'm going to leave this open until the end of Sunday night at 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Well, it's the end of Sunday. When stuff settles down for me, I'm ordering coffee. Oh yeah, well Vallejo, you've got good reason to like get the Kavefi. You're celebrating, that's celebratory Kavefi. Yes, we're raising money for Gamers Outreach. If you want to go ahead and start pitching in for some of the stuff we're doing for Hades tomorrow, that's perfectly fine. You can go ahead and do that. I came to hands being thrown after Cypher showed me the stream. Oh, yeah. We throw hands here often. Mm -hmm. We throw hands here often. I changed my name, by the way. Did you see I changed my name in Discord? It's only in the wine cellar. I'm here to obstinate and, and I'm Canadian. To be obstinate and Canadian, I'm sorry. Junto, please. <laughs> Junto, please. <laughs> there... <laughs> What in the world was that noise? They are coins with the hole in the middle. Someone just got the measurement wrong during minting. I hate you. Okay. I mean, I was laughing. But last things. Like I said, we're going to recap. We're raising money today, tomorrow, and Sunday. I'm not streaming Sunday, but the thing will be open Sunday for Gamers Outreach. There's more information you can get by doing exclamation point donate or exclamation point charity if you want to learn more about the charity. And then um, all next week, we're doing Thousand Dream Fun. The month of April is going to be a fun month. We're going to put Bloodborne on pause because I want to do community stuff. And last but not least, we are sponsored now by Grinding Coffee Co. So 
I my power grows ever so slightly because now I have what I have your coffee I have your tea I have your headsets I have your microphones there may be a back door for me getting your cameras but you didn't hear that from me and then if I have my way I'll have wine the last two that I want for the community is wine and underwear but I don't think I'm gonna get the underwear one the donation isn't working. I don't think it's showing everything coming in. That doesn't sound right. Please hold. Let me go look. I will go look. I can just click this. I'm not smart. Mm. The last thing I have is still from Tiny Nunu. I donated before 4 p.m. Did you donate to me or did you donate to the main event? Subtle nod from the Maritimes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Because, yeah, the only things I have on here are these three. You might have donated to the main event. PST? So that's seven for my time. Yeah, I don't see it on my side. It's not coming up on my side at all. Oh no. Hang on. Let me check the work Discord. I think I saw something about this. Please hold. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I'm going to, I might actually need to take five for a second. Give me a sec. So, all right, team. All right, team. Snail, thank you so much for the $10 donation. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Loki, you're on to something, but it's not to do with this. It might actually be on PayPal and other people's side. Because apparently it's being reported as a mass issue that there's a little bit of lag. Oh, that's awkward. <laughs> That's awkward. But we're going to keep trucking. We're going to keep trucking. Snail just made it through with their $10 donation, so I believe that it's going to get fixed. I believe. I'll look, keep an eye out for yours, Loki, and I will see. Do you have at least at the bare minimum? You don't have to send it to me. I have on my work hat. You don't have to send it to me or anything. Do you at least have a receipt from the processor that you use to make the donation? That's all I need from you. That's all I need to know is a yes, no. Okay, I see you in chat now. I got a receipt. I just wanted to give you an FYI. I've caught up. I've read. Reading is good for you. Thank you so much. Cool beans. Um, let me drop this off to work real fast and we'll go ahead and start gaming. This is me, sorry. I, I do have to actually like focus on this a little bit just because this is job related. It's from Gamers Outreach, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Do you have one from your payment processor? Sorry, I was playing Demon Souls with the hubby. What's going on? There's, um. first of all, thank you so much for the resub for 11 months. I appreciate you, Claire. Um, apparently there's a little bit of lag going on with the, the donations coming in today. And as a result, people are trying to figure out what's going on and what's good. And for those of you who don't remember, I work at Tiltify, so I can like check stuff. Um, you wouldn't have to check with your bank. You should get a receipt from your payment processor by default, Loki. So you should have that sitting in your email somewhere. Let me see what we got. Ooh, ooh. Mm. 
All right. And if I had to take a guess, Loki, there you go. I was just about to say, did you pay with a credit card? It's through Stripe specifically. So yeah, Stripe is the one that's the holdup. If you're using PayPal, you're good. Stripe is the one that's causing problems. So hold on to your receipt and everything, and I'm gonna stay on top of that myself. I wanna stay on top of that myself for your case in particular, but I just wanted to make sure. All right, cool, cool. That actually helps me a great deal, so thank you so very much. Oh my gosh. I just wanted to check and make sure. Nope, you're good. You're perfectly good. Thank you so much for letting me know. All right, let's go play some video games. Let's go play some video oh, yeah. games. So yeah, just as a heads up for everybody, there is a small issue going on with Stripe specifically, which is gonna be the credit card company. And thank you so much for the donation and thank you for the lurk, Loki. So if you can, if at all possible, try to use the PayPal, because the PayPal seems to be working fine, but it's Stripe that's having issues. And people are working on it. People are working on it. And SJ, you can see my screen. Yeah, hold on a sec. Oh yeah, I was like halfway looking. So mm -hmm. not really, mostly because I was like, I was yelling in chat about whatever the heck um, Javon was talking about in Genshin, even though I probably can't make much use of the event on account of your board doesn't actually remember to play the fucking game. Oh my god. But you know. I'm really excited about the events that are going on. Like, everyone's talking about them, and I was like, I can't do them until late at night, so I'm just going to watch everyone be happy. And I watched the preview of them, too. I'm super hype about it. Like, I'm not going to front. Yeah, it's just I just wanna want I just wanna stop working so I can actually have an excuse to play Genshin and not have to be up in the morning to do shit. Yeah, the wind bloom event. A... It just started. It started today. I really wanna do the uh I wanna do co-op ones so bad. I really wanna do the co-op ones. Yeah, oh. like the main thing Yeah, like the main thing that has me salty is that it's like I got that I don't remember the name of that whatever the character's name is, that really kind of rare and emo pull. Like, wow, I'm near this, and I'm like, okay, I want to make better use of her. And then I never get to, because I can't play the fucking game. Yeah, like, eh. the Fall Guys dungeon is super duper fun, because I was watching a video of it yesterday, and, like, everyone having to work together to do the path and, like, memorize it and stuff. Or, like, the one that has all the little, like, um, little sprites and stuff that are falling down, and some explode, and other ones are good. It's, like the best parts of going to a carnival in a video game and i'm so excited like i was watching it and i looked and i turned into like a literal 12 year old <laughs> literal 12 year old it's the fun of fall guys on the terrible team events javon says well, okay. That was how you really feel. Oh my gosh. But yeah. I was, I was like, the team events aren't so bad. It just, okay. Fall Guy team events. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. The problem with Fall Guy team events isn't, like many other communities and games and other stuff, the problem with Fall Guy team events almost always is not the event itself. It's the knuckleheads you play with. It's the knuckleheads you play with. Like when I'm trying to do the um, the one where you all have to work together to push the ball and someone is like off on the side, like doing a dance. I'm just like, hey, I need you to push this ball and stop playing. Like, you mean like MOBAs? Yeah, it's almost always that person that's on your team that screws it up for everybody else. And it's like, bro, I, I will fight you where you stand. Oh, SJ, you get to sing. My controller's not plugged in. Yo, <laughs> 
Yeah, we haven't gotten such a broken decade cut on a while. Weird. At least I don't think so. この地方紙の光が降り注ぐ振り返られず誰いて星と波が捉えて身を食う食べると夜空を駆ける流れと星を今見つけられたら何を祈るだろう旅立つ君と交わした約束心の中にいつもある there we go. I never find one for my voice, but and it takes me like halfway through and it just <clears throat> Ebony! Ebony! Okay, song's done. I'm... Oh no. Oh no, this might be bad. Uh oh. I might have to restart the uh, game. Cause it's not recognizing my controller. Hold on. Ooh. That could be a problem. Yeah, I do have to restart the game. Anime again. All right. I'm not animating twice. Get out of here. Yeah. One day I was just lurking. I was like, did Twisted just get fed up with the game and pop open Crunchyroll? <laughs> 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 no, I did not just random bout of Crunchyroll on everybody. No. Oh, we have problems. We have problems. Uh. I'm blaming you for this. Wait a minute. Yeah, it's not reading my controller. That's stinky. Well. Mm -hmm. Maybe check also Steam's controller settings to see if it does, if it's doing some bullshit. Um, oh yeah. Well, I was gonna say, truth be told, here's what we're gonna do. Cause I, I've done this dance with Steam plenty of times. Oh, this is way, no, no, go back to the way you're supposed to look. Thank you very much. Um, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do this. And then we're going to start fresh. Because it's picking up the controller. The controller itself is fine. It's just Steam was like, no, you don't have a controller. And I'm like, but I do though. Hey, Dimples. Steam was hating on yeah. my controllers today. Yeah, it seems like everybody's going through it right now. Oh, oh. Yeah. Mm. Wait, what was that? Oh, okay. That's not a game that I'm previewing for everybody. I, I but, really yeah. don't. I do care about this. <laughs> we didn't that. We didn't talk about the Shin Megami Tensei news and I'm just like I feel my heart literally dying. <laughs> and I've never hang on, never forget. I've never played a Shin Megami Tensei. Ooh, the only one I've ever, I've, one. the only one that I've ever played is legit Persona 5. That's it. That's all I've played. Do 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 do. <sighs> I'm heaven above and outside you. <laughs> I have your back to the wall. <laughs> Strike with foul praise. Thou won't oppose the wrath of God. Yo, mm -hmm. I played a little bit of Nocturne. That game, well, with some of the quality of life changes, probably this version won't be as obnoxiously punishing, but um, Nocturne doesn't give a fuck about you or your feelings. Um, Nocturne will box you. Nocturne gives no fucks. Oh, oh, we almost got there. We almost got there. Okay, good. And it's not mine doing any bullshit either. I just went to double check just to see if somehow I got registered as player one, but that might have been my controller that came up called on in. Yeah, that was a SJ's controller because I'm getting it to read the controller, but now I need it to actually like pick up on what's happening here. Mm. Okay, um, weird thing to try, but if you try doing Control Alt Delete to open up the Cast Manager and then cancel, see if that does anything. 
Loki, thank you so much for the redonation through PayPal. I no wait, that might be your stripe one. Loki, did you donate fifty dollars? Time. Loki, did you donate fifty dollars? Cause it just came through. I hope so. I hope so, cause then that just means it's going slow, and I can try to tell this person that they can like ease up a little bit. All right. Yeah, we're gonna have to do something about it. We're gonna have to do something about it. Thank you so much for the hype, and I'm so sorry that I'm troubleshooting everybody. It's just, I think I messed up my order of operations, and so now it's kind of like doing its thing. So SJ, what were you con- Oh, wait. Um. Let's see. Controller general manager, da, da, da. Oh, I hate this. I hate that I have to use big picture mode. No. All right, so under controller, yeah. default settings, Steam input status, Xbox play. Well, actually. Oh, shit. Yeah. That actually Just basically, all I was saying is that while the game itself was open, try hitting control alt delete. And then this is it's a trick that works with Tales of Vesperia sometimes when I lose input for that. I don't know if it would be the same with Symphonia, but while the game is running, sometimes when Vesperia is just like, haha. What a button. I usually open the task manager while the game is running, or I hit control alt delete as if I'm going to, and then I hit cancel, and then it just and then it fixes from there usually. So you say hit control alt delete now while it's open. Yeah. And then when it gives you the option for all the other stuff and then potentially opening the task manager, you hit cancel usually. Oh, so I just did this out of order. So hang on. Let's do control alt delete. And then hit cancel, and then see if that does anything. It Probably didn't. not. But it didn't. Yeah. Okay. Um. It's weird hmm. because it is picking it up if I go into custom, and I go down to, and everyone else can see this too, just for the sake of transparency and whatnot. It's the weirdest thing because I go down to, and it's not, there we go. If I go down to battle controls or keyboard controls, do you see how it magically picks it up, but then all of a sudden I can't do anything else? Yeah. Mm. So yeah, it's there. It there. Right there. It's totally there. It just won't mm. let me actually save it like that. Okay, so let me see something here. Oh, and... this is so oh, rude because I want to beat this today. Like, this is rude as hell. I hate this. We're going to figure this shit out, though. <laughs> Yeah. And I know that yours is like a third party controller, right? Yeah, I'm using a Logitech controller. Which, by the way, it's been really dope. It's been really dope. It's just this is the first time the entire time that this has not worked. Game protecting itself from PT. It ain't my fault that I'm the final boss, okay? Like, nobody told them to think for half a second that they stood a half a chance. Like, that's not my fault. None yeah. of that's my I fault. <laughs> I'm not taking the yeah, blame for their transgressions. The answer is no. Um, da, 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 da. Local files. Da, da, da. Just, yeah. No. I'm gonna try something. Oh, hey dreamer. Um, it's not. No, it's not. I'm not I'm not being held accountable for the game's transgressions, okay? Because they came through and wanted to act brand new and be like we're gonna dunk on everybody. And I had, oh, 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 we have action. Got him. All right, Gucci. All right. Got him. Yeah. Hold on. I'm waiting for it to load on the screen. And now we gotta beat them up extra hard because they tried to keep me out. It was like, we have to protect Lord Yudrasil. Nah, fam, Vanessa's coming for you. You've been clowning too much. Out of control, nonsense. 
to think that I'm not coming for you. I believe in your ability to kick butt. We're loading up. All right, let me guide up here. Okay. The game played around, now it's about to find out. Listen, I, I didn't choose the final boss life, okay? It's just, I didn't realize I was a final boss until way later. Way later. Gotta yell timber before he falls. Listen. Okay, so we just killed, hang on. So for a recap for everybody, sorry for the delay, I do apologize immensely. Um, a recap for everybody really fast. Last time on Tales of uh, Symphonia, we got pretty much the meat and potatoes of the story out of the way. We're on the final stretch. No apologies needed for being awesome. I'm trying, I'm trying. Um, but basically speaking, we got everything sealed away with Kratos. We have the seal off of Origin. We now can go get the Eternal Sword. But because Genus had a soft spot for Mythos since they were both half-elves, he kept his Crucius Crystal. And now, as a result, as a result, the Crucius Crystal has taken over our beloved Colette and fled to Dar um, Daris Carlon, which is up above in the sky. So, what we're going to do is a couple of things today. First and foremost, we're going to beeline to the final boss. Unfortunately speaking, the way that Tales of Symphonia is set up, there is no way for me to like continue my game after I beat the boss without doing a new game plus. So what we're going to do is we're going to go out, we're going to beat the boss, we're going to see how close to the boss we can save so that we can at least get the ending back out, and then we're going to come back to the same file and knock out a ton of side quests. Because we still have to do things with showing the, um, the caravan Asuka. We still need to figure out who the hell Maxwell is. We still have to, hmm. I feel like I'm missing something that we didn't do. We killed all the sword dancers. <laughs> and then, um, oh, we need to do devil arms. <laughs> yeah, Ebony, you, you are on the same page. We need to do the devil arms. We're currently missing two. We're missing two. Yeah. And then on top of that, we still need to go to the Colosseum. I would like to beat the game so that everyone can experience the ending first. And then you can watch me go into straight up aggro mode, which will be its own kind of treat. Because y'all never actually got to see me go into full aggro mode. The closest you, I think the community has seen is uh, the Jewels beatdown, where I had to out squat that man. That is the absolute closest that anyone has seen for it. I did that man into LEO. Lord D. Rip to him. Ain't nobody tell him talk to me like that. I'm gonna run back in here really fast to make sure. I think we're good in here. Yeah, yeah. like this this place is fucked up. Ain't <laughs> ain't ain't nobody Ain't nobody trying to hang out here right now. Which is why it's important that you do all the dog naming here before this happens. Mm -hmm. Um I think we got all the dogs here, which should be good. I think I'm still screwed on that though, because if there was one in um, Liam, oh, we didn't fix that town up yet. Oh, yeah, so one with there. Luin, yeah. I did some double checking. You don't have to restore it all the way to get the dog to show up. You get to, like stage four and you're good. Okay. Okay, cool. So let's do some of the stuff that we know is an easy spot check, yeah? Because mm -hmm. I don't think we're going to be buying any more items for the time being. If I had to take a wild guess, I would say we're not buying any more items, probably for the remainder of the game, unless it's something special that comes up. Um, I want to go this more way. More than likely not. So I can just dump money into Louis. So we'll start off there. And then the, for those of you who are just tuning in, the entire sky is pink explicitly because that's not the sky, that's Louis Daris Carlon. Mm -hmm. That is literally Daris, Daris Carlon. Yep, it was hidden by the Tower of Salvation in both worlds. The one in Silveron got destroyed by the giant tree. The one in Tetheala got destroyed because Mythos is a punk motherfucker oh. and got angry. Speaking of, I think Mythos may actually be sad. What do you mean? When Mythos possessed me, his memories flowed into me. Oh dear. Betrayed by countless people, he still tried to face forward and believe in people. I see. He was the hero Mythos, after all. He even became a legend. 
Mm. When he lost his sister, when he lost Martel, he may have given up. And now I have a feeling he's sad that he gave up. Mm. The instant he gave up, he lost his friends. He chose Martel over his friends. I won't feel sorry for him. I don't want to feel sorry for him. I can never forgive him for the things he's done. But somewhere in my heart, I keep thinking, if he could have just if he could just repent. Lloyd, you mustn't think like that. You'll lose to him. Mythos is our enemy. You must destroy our enemies. That's all there is to it. Look, Nasimbi is just like, listen. Genus. It's okay. Feeling sorry for Mythos is my job. Okay. <laughs> and that was the end of that conversation. Although, there's nothing but facts that were told there. And it's like, I get where you're coming from. I understand TM. Also, that was a really big crater and I'm kind of bothered by it. Um, I understand TM, but also, like, remember that time we had to talk about how saying you're sad doesn't give you the right to just act like a jerk? It's that all over again. You can't, you can't do that. Oh, it's this bridge, isn't it? I think it's this bridge. Although that would be weird because it doesn't have a dot. No, I found it. I found it. Skirt! Okay, there we go. Yeah, like, and that's pretty much the whole premise of the entire game, is that I'm sad that I lost my sister, ergo, everyone gets to suffer. And it's like, no, no, that's actually not how that works. That's not how that works. That's not how we're going to do this. That's not acceptable. That is not cash money. That is not gangsta. In the words of, uh, oh, what's the kid in Boondocks? Riley. Yeah, Riley. that is not gangsta. <laughs> All right, so yeah, it's... there we go. Yep. And then you we can got dip out. Money. That was it. Yeah. We got more money. And then like literally dip out to the right and come back. But yeah, for people who are curious about the side quest, basically what happened with Luin is that, um, and now we have a new title card. So basically speaking, what happened is that um, the designs were like, fuck this town. And so they kind of, um, they, uh, things got nasty. And so they were just like, we're just going to destroy everything. And so there's a whole side quest where they were like, um, hey, you can donate gold to rebuild it. Now, in the original GameCube Talking version. Machine, thank you for the follow. Keep talking. I wanted to say thank you for the follow to the new person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, in this game in particular, though, um, in the original GameCube version, they did not... So you may notice that whenever um, Nessa is trying to do donations, it'll cap her out at a certain point, right? They never used to do that in the GameCube version. You have to just hard guess at that bullshit. Yeah, I'm surprised because after doing the 21, it's doing like... It's doing weird increments now. Yeah, there's gonna be a point where I think we will manage to get the town rebuilt to normal before, <gasps> before, before we um before. I don't have glut. <laughs> oh yeah, we gotta go back and go get her. Whoops. It's okay. I can at least keep throwing money at this. Keep talking though. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Um, I, I don't. Hmm. I think that at the very least, um, there are some unique weapons that you only get from this particular um, side quest. Hang on a second, I have to go look at the Luin restoration and see how much that costs. Because you don't need, in order to get the town fully rebuilt, you don't have to go. You don't have to go up to like the um, thing there. Grass, I'm like struggling to get through my money. Also, a reminder that we are raising money for gamers outreach. Please hit exclamation point donate or exclamation point charity if you want to know more about them, more about their mission, and then exclamation point donate to learn how you can donate. Again, if you want to start going ahead and setting me up for failure for Hades tomorrow, please feel free to do so. Please feel free to do so. 
I wonder yeah, if I got a joint that I could sleep at. Um, how much money did you just donate? Do you remember? 35. 35, the in and item shop are now open. Oh, okay. Bet. We can go ahead and restock some stuff. Oh, the music just changed. Yeah, because they're... So, yeah, right now at... So, right now, we are currently at stage... Each mean sun she go look. We're at stage seven. In total, there are eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen stages total. You do not have to build it all the way out to stage fifteen in order to. Um, you don't have to build it all the way out to stage fifteen in order to have it considered finished. But functionally speaking, if you want the second strongest, <laughs> she just gave you a fish. Oh, so she gave me a fish, y'all. And there you go. Oh, it's very basic items, but this is literally all I want. Mm -hmm. And those are like, those are the top tier items. Boom, let's go. I can yeah. take those. Yeah, basically, if you want the city, um, if you want the city reconstructed to at least roughly the level that it was at initially so to speak then basically what you want you got you got to get to like at least step one two hang on one two each in the sun shoot. oh this is great and hey wandering welcome on in are they talking about me over there you tell bobby and john that they better not be talking about me they better not be talking about me they better not be talking about ash either yeah Basically, if you once you get to like step ten, functionally speaking, the town is rebuilt, even though it doesn't have its old name anymore. Um, this basically the the second most expensive step in all of this will set up Louis so that it will sell um, everybody's second best weapons in the game. But um, that's more money than you than you might be willing to try to deal with right this second. So I'm putting so that right... on hold for one second. Loki, did mm -hmm. you donate $50 to my cause with your credit card? Because if so, it did come through. If you did, it came through. Yes! I'm going to let people at my job know so that they can stop panicking because this is an event that has like 20 or 30 people on it and we have a little bit of panic. So everyone, the music's going to stop for a hot minute. I'm going to put back on Celeste. Because I do need to let people know at work that that is an update. That's actually going to be a monumentally useful update. With a $50 dono and it took like... All right, sorry, I'm typing as fast as I can. All right, Celeste off, Symphonia on. Symphonia off because I clicked out of order. Symphonia on. Oh no! Why? Why you do this? I need captions though. Why you do this? Okay, Symphonia on, captions on, problem assessed. Please do not worry, if you use Stripe to make donations, it's just going a little slow. It is just going a little slow, but your donation will come through. Thank you so much everybody for being super patient with me while I let people know at work that there's no need to panic because we were we had some people going into the panic territory and it's like, eh, I mean, I get it. I, I understand why you're upsetty. However, I need you to just Right now you're here, I need you about here. Mm -hmm. All right, so I, I can mess with that a little bit later because I'm kind of feeling like I don't really want to dump more into it right now. Yeah. 
the, yeah, basically, in order to get the joke weapons, um, I'm not doing the total because I can't do fucking math, but basically speaking, to open, basically speaking, you have to do another 85,000 before you unlock the step where you can even put in money for the weapon shop, and then you have to dump another 75,000 after you get the weapon shop in order to get the second best weapons. Yeah, so you, so don't, you don't need that shit right now. I was say, yeah, that's 160. I ain't got time for it. Um... And I was going to say, you can just throw me the numbers, because I can crunch the numbers really fast. And yes, Phoenix, yeah, um, we're going to be on our way to box Yggdrasil. I think that we um, just wanted to spot check, like, a few things that we could do really fast. Where is that caravan? That is something I do want to do. Where the frick is that caravan? I, wanna um, I think they settled, they stopped somewhere once you hit a certain point of the game. They're hanging around maybe somewhere near Hakanasia Peak, but I don't remember for sure. I don't think they're like gone, but if they're anywhere, they're near Hakonesia Peak. So like a little bit to the, and yes, this time I am actually making sure that I look at Parsec to the southeast of where you're, basically. All right, so the southeast of where I am currently. Little caravan. That's you where the to... unicorn was. Yeah, it's not like direct. You may have to be just like, you may have to go to where Hakonesia Peak is, is, and then look roughly around there. Give me one second because I am gonna go fix my face. I am gonna go fix my face. Is this puppy named? Oh, Alright, there's Mon Mon. That's fine. I had to secure the puppies. I did do a little bit of a head of looking. I'm not gonna front SJ. I didn't do anything in terms of like heavy duty story, but I did wanna get kind of a lay of the land for what we're looking at in terms of remaining stuff. And I have some ideas of what we need to do for prep. Oh, this didn't have a skit! Oh, my Lanta! This did not have a skip. Hey, CJ, and thank you for the start off $10 donation, CJ. I appreciate you. I saw that, and you put it in, like, when I first made the um, link active. Hey, base. I really appreciate that. Because we're trying some different things with charity fundraising. Because I, I, I noticed that with this community, I always have stuff. And then people are like, here, hey, I have this $50 donation. I'm like, sweet. What do you want me to do? And people are like, oh, nothing. And I'm just like... Yeah. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> that incentive life, though. but why, why don't you want me to do anything? So we're going to try and cut back on some of the donation stuff or not donation stuff. There's still going to be incentives. There's still going to be giveaways doing nice things is own reward. Speaking of, I have to give away two keys now because there's one that was redeemed last stream for free. And then we passed the 70 dollar threshold. So I need to give away another one. Hello. It's hard to make decisions. Well, that's why I have them in tiers, too. Ah, where's this freaking caravan? Where's Hakanesia um, Peak is the better question. You, you flew over it. I Like I said, I also may be just terribly misremembering where the hell it is past a certain point. I'm Googling it. Okay. Because, yeah, I want to show them that. Wait, is this? Yeah, this is Hakanesia Peak. Yeah. I thought that they would be somewhere near or around here, but I might be... I might... I... No, it's fine, because I just don't remember half of this anyway. And I remember the last time I found that it was completely on accident. Twisted would go through the whole dungeon if it meant naming a pupper. It's, you're not wrong. You are not wrong. I'm not even going to attempt to deny that. Somewhere above the bridge leading towards Hyma is another spot. Yeah, in terms of Silveron, I don't remember where anything is. Oh, but this actually from the world map view looks nice now. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I'm all about that lifestyle, to be honest. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so the bridge to Haima is south... southwest from here, yeah, the direction that you're going. You're holding up my traffic from punching people. Alright, so, yeah, that's, so that's, the, the, that's the that's bridge. the bridge to Haima. Alright, so let's search around... There we go. Let's search around here a little bit. Yeah. I did check one other thing in terms of actually showing him Oscar though, so it's entirely up to you if you want to hear it or not. Go for it. Purportedly, he does not have any... Even if you go and talk to Nova, he'll be like, Monster List! Like, but what about Oscar? Monster List! So, it may not even work. Well then, we're getting the heck out of here. We're gonna leave. We're leaving! I'm turning this boat around. Wait. The way out of here is actually over this way. Well, I was gonna say, hold on a second. Remember, Altessa can't 
make the the ring of the pact for you because I'll test this fucked up. You need to go see another dwarf. Who's oh that? yeah, we gotta go see Dirk. The slow turn around. Listen, who we gonna? Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We gotta go see Dirk. That's right. We have to go see Dirk, and then that will get us up to where we need to be. Let's go be some angel with egocentric issues. I need that hoodie. It's from um, a site called Power and Black. Powerandblack.com. They have sales all the time. And it's a crop top hoodie, just so you're aware. Like, we're doing the mid-drift thing again. 150%. Hey, Critical. How are you? Oh, no. So, you want me to forge the ring of the pack? A dwarf who's losing his skills by living on the surface? There's no one else. The dwarf that has the skills is unable to move. Dad, please. I've gathered all of the necessary items. I ran up in here to raid and fight some tree. I hope your day is well. Oh, we're, we're on our way. Trust. We're on our way. We're going to make this ring right quick, and we're about to go up, this and we're going to have a discussion. Hmm. What's this piece of wood? Is this sacred wood? This must fuel the fire. Is that why you were traveling all over Tepeala? To prepare all of this? <sighs> I see. So everything is set. I can't very well refuse after you've gone through so much trouble now, can I? I mean, for what it's worth, you can. It's just, I feel like you know what that outcome will lead to. And I suppose it won't hurt me to help out my dearest son. There's also that part. After all, I'm his father too. The better one between yeah. the two of them. Right. <laughs> you are bound number one work together for the sake of a peaceful world. All right, let's do it. With this, I'll be able to use the eternal sword, right? Oh, what's up? Yeah, Kratos, what's wrong? I'm actually very impressed with how quickly he assimilated to calling Kratos dad, considering all the nonsense that he put us through. Lloyd, you've really grown stronger. I never expected you to be able to inflict such a serious wound on my angelic form. I finally made it. Have I missed much punching? Oh, you're just in time, Dark Winds. The punching begins probably in the next three minutes or so. You have time Take to go get- this and stop Mythos. I don't think I'll be able to help you anymore. You have enough time to maybe get one final stretch in, along with a beverage, and then you can go ahead and come join us. Get nice and situated first. Okay. That's a marvelous blade. I doubt you have a sword in your possession to match it. Really? Take this with you. It's a present I promised you. Now that you've grown all up, I can entrust you with the greatest sword I ever forged. Wow. I'll become even stronger with these two swords. Thanks, Dad. And... Kratos. I read that as Materia Blade. I just want everyone to know that. And if you read it like that too, you're not alone. I'm sorry I forced everything upon you. I have great dads. One made a ring for his son using the lost arts, and another risked his life to protect his son in secrecy. Very nice, very nice. Thanks, I read it like that too because of you. For a moment, I read it properly. Yeah, I saw Materia Blade, and I was like, oh, there's an L there. There's there's a, there's a an L. I'm a Materia girl in a Tetheala world. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, you've got great parents. Yeah. Well, I'm off. Dad. He said dad, and immediately my brain went, but which one, though? I just roasted him for acclimating quickly, and I just acclimated quickly. God damn it! Yeah. New Everyone, cannon. Do that. Let's go. That. Mm. I would say, literally, the only reason why I would. Oh. You actually requested yeah, that. You requested that. What? That I be Lloyd? Yeah. Or unless you want to go back to Persea. I'd like to go back to Persea this time. Like, L Lloyd is fine, but I'm good with I. Listen, I got, I got, I got a, I got a swing axe. Must swing axe. I would also say that for me personally, I more view it from the perspective of Kratos. Would is probably not in a good 
shape to be in relationship to anybody. If he was in better shape, otherwise I'd say yes. And I mean, like, mentally, emotionally. Otherwise, yeah. Him and Dirk, chilling, being dads? Alright. Hmm. I might... Oh, no, you want to keep that on. Oh, I can't wear that. Well, somebody else gets the fun ring. No, you're going to keep that. Well, do you want to increase your defense by 10% or do you want to do the reflect ring, which gives you higher resistances? Um, I'll pick the elemental damage resistance. Okay. I figured that that would be the case. And then you don't have anything, so you can put on... Where's her fairy, Where's her fairy ring? Oh, did Lloyd take that shit? I think so, because I had to do the solo fight. Yeah, snatch that shit up from him. Fuck that. <laughs> hey, give me that. You can't have that no more. Actually, you can't have that no more either. Alright, so let's see. Boom. Now she's situated, and then you... Um, I'm gonna move this off. Where's that one that you just had on for the... That one. I want her to wear that instead. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I decided to do an equipment check. My Lanta. I'm not doing it on you, though, because it likes to give you boo-boo armlet, and I don't have time. Okay, none of those are green. <laughs> it's all, it does it every time. Oh, you want to switch this? Not for no three points, I don't. Oh, you want that one. Okay. All right, we're Gucci. We are All right. Gucci. Alright, so like I said, the battle plan today is going to be we're going to beeline to punching this angel. And then after that, we're going to reload and we're going to do side quests. And then the rest of this month, we're going to be working on side quests and new game plus. Again, don't forget, I, I can point the correct direction. Don't forget, we are... Aha! We are raising money for gamers outreach. Um, Just to kind of give a quick overhead of what they do specifically they help kids in hospitals by providing them video games and therapeutic help while they're recovering doing whatever it is they need to be doing in the hospitals that could be everything from cancer recovery from dialysis surgeries all of that stuff and for every thirty five hundred dollars again i don't expect us to get thirty five hundred bucks in two days for every thirty five hundred dollars they'll put in a cart in a hospital that has the pleasantly twisted wine cellar branding on it. And we're also company, we're also doing this with Astro. We're also doing this in conjunction with Astro Gaming. So, it's cool stuff. We can have a wine cellar cart in a hospital somewhere and just like, you go to a hospital, you can see a cart with my logo on it. And it's like, we helped with this, which I think is dope. I wanna be a glass cannon so I can complain about everything killing me in one hit. Listen, listen, I, as a residential, like, squishy monk, I am being attacked, and I don't like that, okay? I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that you're attacking me like this, and I would appreciate if you would cease. Going out there wearing your cloth and leather armor and sitting there being upset. Why am I always dying? You're a monk. What are you talking about? Better question. Why are you always getting hit? Mm -hmm. That's the burning Me question. Too. Why are you always getting hit? And then people watch me fight, and it's like, oh, that's why she's always getting hit, because she goes in and just face tanks. It's me. I'm the monk. I... I accept this. Uh, wait. Isn't this where... Oh, time out. With Lloyd's acquisition of Origin, the effectiveness of the Eternal Sword's restraining force on Darius Carlon is weakening. In other words, what you're saying is Darius Carlon is starting to slip away. Damn, we have to hurry. I've got to gain the ability to use the Eternal Sword. Now! I mean, you have that. I'm trying to find the Tower of Salvation, which I thought was... Wait, what is this dot that I haven't done? This dot is not accounted for. What is this? Mm -hmm. What is this? Hello? We're just not gonna talk about what that is? Oh, get off of there. What is this? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to. <laughs> Give me your money. What 
wondering mine thank you so much for the two dollar donation if you're here tomorrow since that was specifically for two dollars when you come in tomorrow i'll let you pick the doors that i go into and everything so again we're gonna be doing hades tomorrow on a brand new first file two dollars will let you choose what boon or what door i'm gonna go to $5 will let you choose the weapon at the start of the run, and then $10 will let you control what I'm using on my mirror or what I'm using for heat. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be a good time. I am so rusty at Hades. I've been playing it since day one of early access, and then took a massive size break. And so I used to speed run it and everything, and now I, I don't. And now I don't. So we're gonna start a fresh file, and it's probably gonna be a disaster. It's gonna be great. I know nothing about how Hades works, so I'll need a bit of guidance. Oh, that's not a problem. That's not a problem at all. Ugh, no orange gel. I hate that for us. Uh, so the way that Hades works, have you ever seen Hades the game, period? Let's start there. Have you seen Hades ever, period? And that was anticlimactic. I hated that. You've seen Hades. So basically, if you do a $2 donation, you can choose which door I'm going to go in because every time you clear a room, you have to choose between two or three doors. When Chrissy comes in throwing shade because Twisted too, be too cute on stream and I sit here with my bougie ass watching. Oh my god. Christy, please. Christy, please. How are you? But yeah, $2 means you'll get to pick which of the two or three doors I choose. And then if there's a door that has like a boon or something, or it's a room that has a split boon, you can choose who I'm going to favor first and stuff like that. So yeah, I figured that would be fun. Oh, Mythos is crying in sadness. I think Mythos may actually be sad. Didn't you say this already? What do you mean? When Mythos possessed me, his memories flowed into me. This is literally the same opener. Oh, yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> this is the same dialogue just now with Zelos. And in the end, he gave up. The fallen hero, Mythos Yggdrasil. Zelos! Listen to me, Lloyd. Don't make that mistake here. If you consider an eye for an eye to be justice, then Mythos has long since carried out sufficient revenge on those who deserved it. The humans who betrayed Mythos died 4,000 years ago. But people haven't changed. And that's right, and neither have half-elves. Why is that? Because neither side has approached the other. I feel like, hmm. They refuse to make an effort, and that is Mythos' fault. Yeah, that's mm. true. Now listen, what Mythos is doing is just slaughter. It's not something we can stand by and watch. This is, I was say, you know better than to forget that, right? Yeah, I hear you. I won't hesitate anymore. I will destroy Mythos. Like, I feel like there were some bars there, but there were some moments as well. I'm just like, I don't know if I agree with this part, but there's other parts that I absolutely agree with. Also, am I delirious? Did I pass the freaking mount, the tower? I thought that I flew past it, but I... No, that's Altamira. Is this the tower up here? Jelly Melly Jaws, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a fantastic Friday. Thanks for joining us. Here we go. I was like, where the frick is the tower? Also, freaking Ash said hi is gonna have me start saying, oh, sugar. <laughs> oh my god. She said that last night when she was playing you and Squadrons and I about died. <laughs> that moment when the worst person on your party makes a good point. The only thing left is that dace. It's the Eternal Sword. Lloyd, are we fully prepared? This may be our last battle. All right, we're well, going in, team. Put your battle pants on. We're doing the thing. Put the grasses on. Nothing will be wrong. I think I forgot a lot of things about this game, but I definitely remember this part. I feel like that's been the ongoing consensus for a lot of it. I didn't mention, I'm so terrible about this. I talked about what gamers outreach does and everything. I didn't tell y'all milestones. I didn't tell y'all milestones. At $250, I'm gonna give away a $50 gift card to Dryad T. At $500, I'm gonna give away, yes. At $500, okay, this is perfect actually. At $250, I'm gonna give away a $50 gift card to Dryad T. 
At $500, I'll give away a Yeti. And then at $750, I'm going to give away a pair of A40s with a mix amp. So usually when you get the A40s, there's no mix amp. But this one comes with a mix amp. And the mix amp's really, really dope. It's really dope. So yeah, donate. Help a chick out. Do the things for the good stuff. And I never said hi to you specifically, Tori. How are you? Why is he holding him like that? You who possess the new right, what do you ask of me? Carry us to Darius Carlon. I'm surprised this isn't voiced. To where Mythos and our dear friend are. Understood. Here we go, everyone. Uh, yeah, the reason why they say dear friend and not Colette specifically, again, whoever you walk, whoever you see, whoever you go to hang out with in Planor is the one that Mythos decides to grab up. And because they're the one that will try to that will save you from the shenanigans. Mm -hmm. So we are now in Daris Carlon. Let's see. All right, I already see one box. Yo, yo, oh, none of these skeletons are scary anymore. You're in real world. Do 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 all right, I'm gonna grab Death. Are you okay? Hey, don't box me right now. I'm okay. trying to get information. Okay, so you got. I got you Death, got and I got and I got the other one that's on the floor. I don't have the purple wispy guy that you were just on. That one, yeah. All right, get boxed. Ready? Get boxed. Get shoulder check. Get up, son. Oh, damn. I'm kicking rain. I'm so sorry, girl. I think that man. Oh. What's up? They all got body. I mean, were we expecting something different? Oh, no. We interrupted her healing circle. I sure hate that. I sure hate that. Incroyable sights on Dennis Kalan. I can't do the French accent. I'm just gonna keep that 100. I have no idea how to do a French accent. Please don't be a mimic. That's not. Oh god. Gem level three. Excellent. Yep. Path east from here for an EX gem level two. Okay. I'm going to do my best to guide you directly to boxes, while also maintaining rapid speed toward um, toward where we need to be. Because oh, yeah. we do have, we do have to do some shit in Well Gaia, and that's probably gonna be, maybe the next longest part of all this. Mm. Um, once we're through Well Gaia and we're actually in Vinheim, then literally it's one fight, one fight final boss, and then the, yeah, and then depending on where the save point is, we go from there. I already got the um, magic one, so you want that one. Oh, All right, Edgewood, whatever. Oh, you nerd! Kicking your, kicking your freaking mouth! Oh, you nerd! This is dweeby. There we go. Remember that one boss you just bullied to death? Oh, Shay! Oh yeah, the the beatdown of Shay will never ever be forgotten because I mean we went in and we just bullied him. The man's we, name is Shadow Nessa. Oh, Shadow. Uh, look, listen, I couldn't remember his name because that's how fast we beat him up, okay? I'm just saying. Shade, Shadow, but the little things were shades. Um, But yeah, like, hi, Ooze. Yeah, that's that's never, ever going to be lived down. That man got bodied brutally. It was very disrespectful. Um, Do I want to keep yeah. following his path? Um, Let me think. Devil 2, keep going west and you will end up back at the warp. The northeast and east of the warp is where the next screen is. I don't care. Throwing shade at Shadow. Listen, I'm glad somebody's working with me. I, I can't... What, what's the phrase they've been saying all game? Inferior beings? I don't keep track of these people. They're not on my <laughs> level. I just... I'm, I'm sorry. Ooh, I just kind of stood there for a second. Ooh, ooh, you are in a bad spot. I sure hate that for you. 
Goodbye, worthless enemies. Oh, you know what? I'm messing up. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my gosh! Oh wait, yeah, we, we are still missing a bunch. I thought we were only missing two. Now I'm sad. <laughs> but this man has been cooking up a storm. I need onions! I hate it here. Um, yeah. We can make two of those. Um, yeah, we can make some rice balls. Actually, I'm gonna make a fruit cocktail. Oh, and it does recover a little bit of HP as well. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Look at all that fruit we put in there. Regal's just like, fruits? <laughs> it's like, you said fruit cocktail, right? That's what I did. I don't see what's the issue. Why are you... I don't understand. Pekko is in another game. Can't respect an opponent oh. when they get bodied that hard. Listen, it's not even that I have utmost disrespect for him. It's just, I can't help it. We boxed him so hard that I forgot what his name was. I. It's bold of you to think that I knew what his name was out the gate. East from here. You gotta go back to where you were and then east. And okay. then I think that's where the next screen is. If there's even an eastern path out of this shit. Yeah, there we go. Haven't eaten yet, and just saying that menu is uh, making me hungrier. I might make dumplings tomorrow before stream. I was gonna try to save my emos, but I ate it already. Cause emos. You jerk! Well, now I gotta box you like this. No, no, come back over here. Get up. Oof. Oof. It's kind of rude how I'm boxing this man. Get up. Even though my back's been whiffed. Get up. Do not bother us. I made a sandwich. Woof. Okay, let's see here. Oh gosh, why are you posted up, sir? Just hit, you can just hit him with the ring and go around him. Oh, okay, he started moving. Well, hang on, don't box me yet. I want to see what this hat's about. I do know... I, I'm planning ahead. I'm planning ahead. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, nope. You can keep your material blade, but thank you. Alright, let's box this man. Him ruining your use and was rude. One that was just a, pay, a payback. Listen. Okay. Yeah. Well, though, there's only one thing to keep in mind. Um, I don't know if we will ever actually get a chance to see Lloyd doing anime, but he has to be wearing the Material Blades for that. He can't do it with any other weapon. I sure hate that. Especially since I know I read elsewhere. Like, isn't it later versions of the game, or like on the PS4, not PS4, PS3, that they do have Animu? I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. Hang on a minute, it's escaping me. This version will have the actual, like, cut-ins and everything, too much? if we do it. It's just that you can't activate the move in question unless he has the Material Blades equipped. You're never going to see... Perseia has two, but maybe I can only get one of them. The other one is... We're honestly kind of fucked. Okay, yeah, you're going... Um, head west... Yeah, you're going the right way. Okay, cool. You want to go west along that path, and then when you hit the fork, you're going to... Go west. Oh no, he's chomping at me. I don't care for pointless battles. I mean, we're in the final area, Regal. We're at that point where the battle isn't necessarily pointless so much as it is mandatory. Samael? Ooh, what is that from? What is that from? Oh, and Nisimbi wants to know, why is there a move that we can't see now? Or the enemy okay. that we can't see? Okay, so I'm going to assume that Nisimbi is asking about it from Perseus' perspective and not Lloyd's, because Lloyd's is easy to do. As long as you, as long as, um, in Lloyd's case, basically as long as he, his HP is in the red, you have the Material Blades equipped and you press, like, these three buttons, he does his anime move, Falcon's Crest. For Persea, one of them is just a, oh, after using this art so many times, use a beast and then do this. And then that's fine. But for her other one, 
Everybody has to be dead. She has to have critical HP. I have to get a lucky activation of a um, of a very hard to proc EX move, and then I have to do it under all that under all those conditions. That's a lot. So, it's a lot. That said, it is literally the strongest, if not the strongest, um, move that a player can use in this game. It's damn well close, but. The conditions for it are like really fucking obnoxious in this game, and so I'm, I'm not doing you it. You know what that reminds me of, low key. Mhm. Mm it reminds me of the conditions to get the ultimate move out of Ultima in Final Fantasy XII, where in order for her to actually use her main move that like would be busted, you have to be in critical health, she has to be in critical health, the rest of your team has to be dead, and then it gives her a chance of crocking it. Oh my god, Amelie, shut up. And also, hi. How are you? Do not think ill of us. That is a lot of conditions. Yeah, like, it's yeah. it's really frustrating. Like, when it has that many conditions, the appeal of even trying to do it is just so low. Because it's yeah. like, the first problem being, oh, you have to be near death? I already dislike this whole setup because I don't want to be near death unless I'm playing like a paper tiger or a glass cannon and Prisea especially is not a glass cannon by a long shot so to get her to critical health is already just taxing also I took that left at that fork like you said yeah where the fuck is this thing there was supposed to be a magical ribbon somewhere I fucking hate this place <laughs> well, this is why well the first fork I hit, I took the west, so see what you have to do after that, because it might just be a ways out. Yeah, take the western fork, go north of the next fork, and open the chest on the next platform for Magical Ribbon. So they're supposed to, so... Let's yeah, see. maybe it's maybe it's up here. I would hope so. If not, then that means somehow we missed something. Oop. And... Okay, never mind. It was just really fucking long because mm -hmm. there is Carlon. Yeah. All right. I did some exercising today, and Mo and me did some boxing training. Nice. Just basic stuff, mm -hmm. but it felt good to finally get to use my fist again. Listen, that is literally my driving force for doing ring fit, and I can't make that up. I cannot make that up. The the actual sweat and like use of my body and getting exhausted just feels good. And then when we moved to Colorado, because you missed that announcement, when we moved to Colorado, the apartment complex we're going to has a heckin' dang gym when I say I am ready to lift weights. Oh, I have missed weightlifting so much. I want weightlifting. Lift the weights. Get the gains. You're not going to be streaming anymore, are you? Oh, no, I'm still going to stream. I'm 100% going to stream. Um, hey, Chris. How are you? Um, do I need to backtrack from there, or what are we doing, okay. SJ? It was saying go back south, then east. So I think south to this point, and then east from here. I don't know. I'm Just assuming it's east at the fork, because that fork yeah. was west then east, so it would only make sense to go back east. Yeah. Also, so for Perseus second mystic art, God! I forgot another thing that will also probably piss off Nessa even more. All that stuff I said, guess what? There's one extra requirement. You want to guess what it is? Who has to be dead? Is it a specific person that needs to be dead? No, it's just everybody in your party has to be dead. I have to activate that particular EX skill, which has a chance of failing. She has to be in critical health. Kaseya also has to be in fucking over limit. <laughs> which literally means in order to get it to work, you most likely would have to keep everybody dead. You would have to go in with decent health, and then you would have to monitor her health until the over limit is in a good spot. That's awful. That is literally awful. I hate that. I hate that. Yeah. Five gallon buckets of primers sucks. Oh no. That is awesome. I'm getting an exercise and weightlifting in with the remodel I'm doing. Nice. I respect it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I messed up. That early Tales game. Hey, Starman. Welcome on in. Uh, okay, yeah, I was gonna say, can we at least avoid some nerds? Mm -hmm. Then keep going east past the fork, and then one of the larger platforms is quote unquote another fork. Oh, so you're not um, gonna chase me forever. Go away. Yeah. 
Cyber Anko is like, what were the developers thinking when they programmed those restrictions? Okay, so for Perseus especially, let me reiterate. If you do it and you hit somebody with that shit, it is like you craft them in the crotch three times running. It's I strong. Because <laughs> I want to, I want to understand for people like how different, how ridiculously powerful that move is. Like, there's a reason why it is so arcane to get a hold of because it's fucking strong. Like, there's a reason why. I don't agree with, I don't agree with it, but I understand why they did it that way. Doesn't mean that it's a good way to do it, but that's why they did it that way. Like, it's not enough to like one-shot bosses or anything, but like most normal enemies will take such absurd amounts of damage from it that they're probably gonna die. Like, shit hurts. That man missed. Or rather, I need to kick things, let me kick all the things. Um, I can give you some kicking drills if you want that. Because I'm gonna need to actually... That's one of the things about moving that I am, like, thinking about that's gonna suck. Because I've had my same Taekwondo partner for the better chunk of 10 years. And he and I, actually, last time we practiced, were talking about this. We were talking about the part where we've been away from our school for so long that we realized deep down that we kind of don't like the school. To put it very, very plainly. Um, do I want to go north or south, by the way? Okay, so this is... One of the larger platforms, another four. Go south first, and there should be a chest with an EX number with four in there. Okay. But yeah, we were talking about it, and like, once I get to Colorado, I have to make a hard decision of, do I want to continue Taekwondo? Which... Deep down, I kind of do want to. Hey, chess master. But at the same time, I've been doing Taekwondo since I was 23 years old. And I just don't have the patience to rejoin a school that A, probably won't have predominantly adult classes. It's going to be mostly kids. And then B, on top of that, I get so exhausted at the ideation of how a lot of schools are handled. Did I miss the part where they uh, all got locked up? I don't know what you're talking about, so you might be spoiling things. Yeah. Okay. So. So yeah. Um, just to be absolutely sure that Chess Master doesn't accidentally go any further, this is literally our first time in Darius Carlo. So, if there's anything that you know is coming after that. World or international? I actually do a mixture of both. Um, a lot of the tournaments and stuff that I did specifically were for WTF. But in terms of like knowledge and forms and everything, I have WTF and ITF forms to my uh, to my name. But my stuff is predominantly WTF. Um, if you do have kicking drills, I'm 100% interested in that. But for context, I'm mostly going to be focusing on kickboxing or Muay Thai. But also, if you want to chat fighting sports, I'm getting a new special interest. Well, I would hope so after you asked me for advice on good sports braziers, madam. You use them. We take those. Mine was WTF. Yeah, I do a hybrid, but I'm predominantly WTF. I'm predominantly okay. WTF. Don't step on that thing up there. Go I'm to not. the east. I was going to say, that looks like, oh, that says story indicator. Oh my gosh. Oh, Ilias, thank you so much for the gift subs. Oh no. Ah! Can we get some hyper chat for the gift subs? Oh my god, you've gifted so many subs to the channel. Thank you so much. Don't tell Bobby you hear gifting stuff. Because then Bobby's going to try and come and match me from earlier. Don't let him match me. You can't let him do that, Ilias. All right, and then from here, ah! hang on. I'm holding. Uh, don't, I was gonna say, be careful about how far south you go because it may take you back. Let me see something real quick. On the platform along the way to where? So, did you see another platform on the way over to that one that you just got that had a chest on it, or no? You might be able to go a little bit south here to see if there's something down there, but apparently, if you go too far down this path, it just takes you back to the first spot. Take a look. Okay, there's that. Okay. Yeah. That's the loop. So let's go back up. Yeah. Let's go back up. Also, can you can you or another mod casually drop off the exclamation point donate right quick though? You're in real world of hurt. Along with that exclamation uh, along with that exclamation point guess so y'all know who y'all listening to. Get out of here. Look at these clowns. 
out here flying with a bow and arrow and you still mess it up. Oh, camera, please. Pick this man. Pick I got, this man. got that nerd, bro. Oh, okay, he actually is using the flight to his advantage. Oh, I'm so oom. I sure hate that. Oh, thank you. I'm not, though. Ow, I don't ever want to move again. Why don't you want to move again? Why uh, are we- Chess Master, by the looks of it, from what they were saying in chat earlier, they were walking a long, long shift today. Oh, I missed that part, and I apologize. We are listening to Twisted Someone Else's too. Oh my gosh. Alright, <laughs> so do I want this, or no? Um, I don't know where the other where that ex other ex gem level three is because they weren't being specifics. But for story stuff, we might as well just hit this. Yeah, I was gonna say I have so many gems at this point that like I, I feel like I'm not gonna be hard pressed up on them. What? Of course. What the? Oh no, it's a trap. Zelos, is this your doing? Lloyd, help us. <laughs> Oh, shoot. Forget about us. Find a way to evade this trap. I mean, he's not on it, so that's Don't evasion, worry about right? Me. Just take care of Mythos. I see. So this is the Lloyd. Get the Daris emblem. With it you can Oh? Right, I was saying this is not life threatening. Please, don't worry. Oh, well, Prasea gave us some real good information. Lloyd. As long as you're all right, we still haven't lost. Yeah, all of them could have just like get to the great sea. Deuced out. Did they really though? Guys, damn! What the hell is going on? What happened to everyone? Everything is all right. I can feel the presence of your companions. They are somewhere in this city. All right, let's go find them. I hate these kinds of fetch quests. And I'm assuming just go here. Yep. Oh, this is a this is a trap. Is it? Yes. Get out of my body! Oh, yikes! What? She's too strong. I can't. Mikos, get away from her! How dare you, human! You son of Kratos! They're missing a space there. How dare you give me orders? Girl, bye. <laughs> oh, what's going on? Martell. Could you? Human, your kind must not be allowed to live. Wait, why is this turning into God of War? Listen. I mean, How far into. are you willing to go to take control of the manor? I'll never forgive you. You humans are all the same. Girl, what? What? What is happening here? What's going on? Mythos, Ewan, Dad. Lloyd, we're inside Mythos's memory. Don't let it get to you. Why do you interfere? We both want the same thing. I no, disagree. I just wanted to save the world and my sister. I mean, that part makes sense, but the whole same thing bit, that no. Oh, Kermit, yeah, you missed a bunch. Yeah, we got the big reveal. That's, Kratos is Lloyd's dad. Yeah. You have a world where no one will be persecuted. Colette, are you okay? Lloyd! Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you for rescuing me. I knew you'd come. We made a promise, didn't we? That we'd go on a journey together. Yeah. Looks like the crystal won't come off. Yeah, but I think it's okay. The feeling of something eating through my oh. mind is gone now. I don't like that. Wait. Oof. Where's everybody else? They got caught in a trap, and we all wound up separated. Oh no! We have to find them! Oh gosh, Amelie. Woo! Hey, SJ, you want to get Amelie up to speed on where Myth Mythos went? Okay, yeah. so the long and short of it is... At some point, we went into the depths of the Tower of Salvation, and we kicked the shit out of him in order to get Colette back, right? Zelos did a fake betrayal, but only just to make sure that we could get in. We kicked the shit out of him. Um, 
Genus kept Mythos' Crucius Crystal, and then when we beat the shit out of um, Kratos to make the pact with Origin, um, Mythos' Crucius Crystal possessed Colette's body up until this point, basically. Um, so right now, Mythos is basically like an evil force ghost. Um, that's the simplest way to put it. We've beaten up Mythos three times now, Amelie. We've beaten him up three times now. By the way, Mythos' last name is Yggdrasil. Isn't that a funny coincidence? Isn't it a coincidence that Mythos' last name is Yggdrasil, which happens to be the same hero that also is the person that wants to kind of kill everybody? That it's Mythos Yggdrasil? Mm -hmm. Isn't that weird? Very. Isn't that interesting? It is. So, this is well Gaia. Oh, jeez. Okay. Nothing is oh. broken, but it feels cold. Oh, oh, Amelie, it's a mess. Okay, here's the simplest way to explain. Trees can't be heroes. Well, he's well. This is no. This is no tree, Anna. No tree. Simplest way to put it. Mythos okay. actually. Mythos enjoys getting beat down, is what I'm starting to think. Listen. Okay, so Nessa, I do have one favor though. What's up? Can I get Colette's twinsies title, please? Ah. <laughs> Really? For as, long as I have to, for as long as I have to play her, let's just fucking do it. I don't even care. Well, here, I'll do you one better. <laughs> Which way am I going? <laughs> so, alright. Um, we're gonna head west towards where we got the mana fragment from. I had to think about my cardinal directions for a hot second. I was like, which way's west? <laughs> oh, hey, a save point. I'll be taking advantage of that. Twinsies! I love the heart behind it. That's what really makes it, is the heart behind it that is just so gross. Also, make sure are you good to go here? Uh, give me pow pow hammer instead of pow hammer. Double pals, got it. Um, I don't think I have item rover yet, so item thief is fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I figured. Um, hit Go down the list again, let me see. Bing Whirlwind. Oh, yeah, uh, this, yeah, um, maybe instead of Angel Feathers, I'd like Parable, if I have it. I may not have it. Survey says you do not have Powerball. Okay, cool. I, I just gotta sit and just press buttons. Alright, yeah, this is good, though. Alright, back to it. Oh! We switched. It's so cute, though. Yeah, Chessmaster's like worst title in the game. Listen, just shh, shh, shh. Fine. It's Colette's new duds. Oh, that's not cryptic. Oh! Oh, honey. Oh, everything about that is bad. I hope I wasn't supposed to do something there because I messed up if I did. No, it's a cutscene. Okay. They're pulling the Zack and Cody. Where the heck is this funky place? Hang on a sec. Do you hear a strange sound? Oh, hang on a, a second before sound. I forget something. Um, we'll be sucked into the magic at some temple. point, it may not be this one, but we we might see some spidery shit. So people who don't like the arachnids, you may want to take a second and just be like, let me Let's get the hell out, out for a bit. I'm going to count to ten in my head, and then I'm going to switch it. All right, let's go. If it's not here, then it's gonna be somewhere else. Ow. So. What is this thing? <sighs> What's that thing down there? Oh nope, you had it right. What's the matter? You'll be caught unless you hurry up and run. Such a pathetic sight, Zelos. Oh, we're doing the mind trick thing. What? Yep. Why is Kuchi now? It's gotta be an illusion. There's no way those two would be here. You're so stupid. You've shut your eyes to reality for so long that you can't even tell what's real anymore. Yikes. You grew up in Mizuho, yet you still can't tell if I'm real or an illusion. You really are a failure. Oh, yeah, I gotta go box him, it's huh? so sad. How did yeah, someone some so point. unworthy become the Chosen? It's no wonder he betrayed his friends. Neither of you should have been born. Yikes! Everyone would have been so much happier had you not been born. Yikes! You brought misfortune upon the people of Mizuho. I, I haven't brought misfortune to... Can you really say you didn't? You, 
the coward who trembled I, before yeah. Volk and the other stuff in the content warning rats? still applies for when Zelos one betrayed his yeah. friends and then came back shamelessly. Maybe anyway. And the other killed the people of her village. Amelie, I'm saying it's always that. It's like I don't know if these people who appeared out of the literal thin air are actually here or not. Can we? A fitting end. Now, if you think you can run, run. You'll be devoured by the darkness and die. Damn it, we're gonna be eaten by that monster unless we do something. That ain't that bad. You gotta be kidding. Would you like me to save you, Zelos? Beg for our forgiveness. And pledge loyalty to Crucius. Like that monster will bestow eternal suffering upon you. Bro, I've boxed you three times. I literally don't care about anything that you have to throw at me at this point. I've killed the three sword dancers, I've beaten the sleeves off of you earlier than I need to, and you ran, and now you're like, I have the strongest beast. Are you sure? Are you sure? If it devours you, you will neither live nor die. You will be trapped in true darkness, tormented in isolation forever. Forever. I can save you. Join us and defeat Lloyd. The Genichiro Symphonia? I like that. Then <laughs> it will all I like be that. Over. Lord Mythos has agreed to let the people of Mizuho live. And he'll remove the title and duties of the chosen from you and transfer everything to me. What's wild about the Celis and Zelos relationship is that they actually are trying to position her in such a fashion that it's like, oh, but I want to be the Chosen. It's like, but you both know that being the Chosen is kind of garbage here. I don't get the impression that Celis wants to be the Chosen either. Celeste will gain the power of the Chosen. Yes! What I've wanted more than anything else. The power of the Chosen. You'll let me have it, won't you? Like, we nobody would. wants this. Yeah. Um... If you if you're amenable then after this cutscene, I can discuss a little bit of what I think I remember Just and what I know. Your life will finally have meaning and value. All you have to do is pledge your allegiance to me. As soon as you do that, you will be saved from the shadows grasp. This is a whole lot of talking for y'all to just get a bunch of flat nose. The people of Mizuho. Celeste will become the chosen. Listen to me, both of you. I've come for you guys. I'm right down below. Whoa, whoa, whoa! The only thing down there is that monster. Lloyd! Don't tell me you were eaten by that monster! That Lloyd is the real illusion. The monster is mimicking his voice to lure you. I'm not an illusion. Do you think it's better for the people of Mizuho to become part of the Age of Lifeless Beings? Do you think it's okay for Celis to become the next Chosen who could be sacrificed at any time? This boy is out here hey. spitting bars. But... Both of you have to decide for yourselves, but I have faith in you. I know you won't run away, even if what we're trying to do is difficult. Don't forget, your lives have value just by being alive and being there. Every time, every single stream that I've done this month of this game, Pangolin, literally someone has said, why is Robin here? Just by being alive, my life has value? A traitor like me has value? Of course not. No life has any value just by being alive. I disagree. <laughs> Shut up. There's a significance in being born, but if that's not good enough for you, I'll give them another value. They're both valuable because they're my friends. Eh, that's a pretty pathetic value, but I suppose it'll do. Oh my God, Zelos! You reject my Remember, I, I know. No I'm not telling you to you like him, but remember, he does not know how to Sorry, be honest no with choice. other people and not even him value, maybe himself me not it is very difficult for him deuces that man said bye i trust you lloyd i the sort of valuable zealous am headed your way <sighs> looks like you beat me to it are you running away again i'll raise the entire village of mizuho boy you ain't gonna live past that shut up i'm not running the people of Mizuho are waiting for us to reunite the worlds. Betraying that trust would truly be running away. Yeet! Right. Goodbye. Damnation or salvation? I guess there's only one way to find out. Edelweiss, you say Reese's peanut butter eggs, but have you considered Cadbury caramel eggs? I'm not running, run animation. Welcome back, you two. 
I was it's not in, like I can really run away from the fact that I was born. I was in the washroom, but I didn't think Zelos wants to be chosen either. As far as I know, he just likes celebrity as a status brings him so he could be a uh, lay pipe. But here's the thing. There was a scene that was had much earlier for one of our titles that made it clear that even that isn't the thing that he cares about. I don't know if you were here keen for the big betrayal scene, but the TLDR is that literally it feels like Zelos is just going to wherever he can feel like he's on the winning team. None of it really has value to him whatsoever. He just doesn't like anything. He's just like, yeah, I'm just going to go whoever's winning. Yeah, yeah, sure, I'm a gigolo. Yeah, sure, I, I'm, I'm famous and all these other things. Like, there's even a spot where he actively admits that the only reason women like him is because he's chosen. Mm -hmm. Like, that's so, it. Yeah. So since the wordy bits are done, the simplest way to put it without putting too fine of a plot point on it and exactly. my reading Especially may be a little more charitable, but the whole power. thing is that because of the way that Zelos' status has been set up, and this is not like a, oh, you know, I feel sorry for the tran for, translu for the translucent people. I don't. It's not necessarily that. It's more along the lines of the way that Zelos' life has been set up. I'm gonna try and is that he has had no reason or motivation to find any worth in it in and of itself for his own yeah, sake so he right, doesn't view his me. life as something intrinsically worthy is it okay if i go into slightly more spoilers for something that is covered in game but that you didn't see yes but i want to read some chat really fast uh edelweiss mm -hmm. as much as i dislike a lot of sweet stuff my absolute all-time top kryptonite i know we talked yesterday about like nutty bars and Reese's sticks but if you want to see me just get straight up sloppy cadbury caramel eggs is where it's at i love them love them no human should eat more than two of those in one sitting and when it's easter time and those bad boys go on sale for like 40 cents a piece your girl is swimming in them i love the caramel eggs oh my god and it's just a sugar bomb there's nothing of value in those except for just straight up sugar and i love them absolutely adore them um Big Sammers, how are you? I wanted to say hi. I didn't get a chance to say hello to you. I saw that you kind of just immediately integrated in the chat. And that's cool beans, but I still want to say hello. Uh, that's why I didn't like Zellos. Yeah, those eggs are good, nasty. I, oof. Oh, my God. Like, it's just, it's so bad. Going Scrooge McDuck on them. Yeah. Crispy M&M's is like that for me. See, I'm that way. I'm team peanut butter M&M's. Give me a bag of like the family size peanut butter M&M's. I used to have those on stream where I had the bag of peanut butter M&M's. Give it three days tops. Max. Note that I said max, not minimum. Max. If they survive three days, it's impressive. It's impressive. So go ahead now with your commentary and I'm going to keep doing uh, the plot stuff. Okay. So two things one this is going to be spoilers for choosing What's zealous and flanor because it didn't come up and two i'm gonna put in another content warning because we got to talk about people dying again and oh. also oh. and stuff. it's gonna get real nasty yeah i gotta get yeah. some more hype actually go ahead and do some of that stuff and it won't be as spoilery for me it'll be spoilery for chat but not me i am going to grab a little bit more hydration because my hydration was redeemed and it's very low so do your thing and i'll be right back okay so, basically speaking, if you choose to speak to Zelos in Flanor after going to get the do when the doctor stuff is happening, if you are able to speak to him, then he will basically explain to you a little bit of his backstory, um, just a little bit, and how chosen things happened. Um, Nessa noted at one point that. Um, when Zelos and Celeste were talking about their mothers, Celeste said, "You like either your mother or my mother, something like that, right? Something to imply that while they're siblings, they're not, they're like half siblings, right? The long and short of it is that Zelos's father, who was the previous chosen, um, had an affair with another woman after Zelos was born, and that's how Celeste was born. And so you have the two of them doing that. I'm trying to remember if it was I believe it was Celeste's mother that might have been a half elf also to sort of compound all this shit, basically. Um, and so the long and short of it is that at some point, um, on a particularly snowy day in Mel Tokyo, um, there was a thing where I believe it was. Oh, hi, Darkling Kitty. Thank you. Um, 
so much for the raid. Uh, Twisted has kind of stepped out for a minute to um, redeem a hydration. Um, I am back from said hydration, and it looks like Darkling Kitty has came in with a raid, I believe. Mm -hmm. Greetings to all the raiders. I apologize for stepping away for a hot minute. I'm pleasantly twisted. I'm a black queer content creator. I do try hard games and JRPGs. We do challenge runs, speed runs, completionist things. And today we are playing some Tales of Symphonia with our lovely guest SJH Does Games. Hey, yo. And I did step away because someone redeemed hydration. Hydration is important. Please stay hydrated. Keep your innards lubricated for your own health and well being. And uh, I'm going to drink some water now. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, right. So I was in the middle of doing a lore dump for yes. the Raiders. Um, as a general heads up, this game that we're playing, Tales of Symphonia, is very good, but also super freaking dark. So um, I'm going to have to put in some content warnings talking okay. about um, parental death and stuff like okay. that. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, Dragon Crest, that should be fine. I think SJ would be fine with that, unless SJ says otherwise, because that's primarily why he's the front seat of the game. And then I also wanted to say, since I have my phone now, so I'll try to chat on that whenever he's doing Lord Dumps and stuff so I don't interrupt him like I am right now. Thank you so much to whoever placed an order at Grinding Coffee Company. I appreciate you. I got the notification that our first order's been placed. Yeah. Um, at Dragon Quest, yeah. Message me, whatever. Um, it'll be fine. Oh, you're getting into if Terraria. Oh, Terraria, I can't make progress because I'm always stuck building things. Like, literally, me and Paul and I made, like, this underground safe haven, and we just won't stop building on it. It's really bizarre. Yeah, we're sponsored by Grinding Coffee Co. now. If you do exclamation point grinding, you can get details about that. And get 10% off your order. It's some single source coffee. There's some great blends. And it supports a black LGBTQIA plus women-ran business. And the coffee's pretty heckin' dang good. By the way, there's free shipping in all of the U.S. as well. Please continue with your lore dump. I will be talking to chat and moving the story along in-game as you do mm -hmm. so. Alrighty. So, yeah. The long and short of it is... So, to recap Sometimes where I was at. So, Zealous's mother... Yourself. Human woman. Human, sir. Um, Celeste's so mother, arrogant. who um, Zealous's father basically had an affair with, half -elf. Um, There was a point at which... Celeste's mother attempted to kill Zelos when he was a child. Um, and I believe that? it was Zelos's own mother then that took the hit for him. Um, however, when that happened, she then told him, effectively, Maybe I wish you had never been born. So a lot of like Zelos's behavior and the way he kind of carries himself and just generally is is pretty much a direct reflection of the fact that, to his knowledge, there is no one in his one life, aside from maybe Celeste, who actually gives a shit about him. Everyone is either... The only reason why people care about him primarily is because he's the Chosen. Um, and to his understanding, to his understanding, nobody gives a shit about him as a person at all. And then the end result of that, therefore, is less that he, it's like he doesn't think anything matters and more that he's like, I can't trust people. Why should I? Nobody really. No, Anna. Nope. Nope. We, we, we cut that, we cut that possibility off hard at the pass already. So. Yeah. He needs a lot of therapy. So this is why when Overkill was talking about him earlier, what they often said was that while it's not necessarily that you grow to like him, you grow to have a better understanding of why he is the way that he is, and that he tends to use a lot of the more crass things that he says as just deflection. Like that's the most important thing to understand about him. Deflection, 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 deflection. It is very hard to actually get Zelos to be very sincere because from his perspective, he has no reason to be. It does nothing but bring him pain. This is the simplest way to put it. Alright, that's my lore dump over. Yeah. And I kind of started picking up on bits and pieces of that. I didn't know the extent of how deep it ran, but there's also a scene that's had in-game with Celis and Zelos where it's very, very evident that, like, even the relationship between him and his sister, the best descriptor for it is awkward. Awkward. 
Yeah, why care when it all brings further loss harm, essentially? Not just that, but based on some of the stuff that SJ was saying, too. Like, he's had no reason to even manifest or foster those kinds of feelings in any way, shape, or form. Like, he's never had anything that gave him a reason to feel worried about loss or harm or anything like that. Because that's all he knows. And he's just like, okay, well, fuck it. Mm -hmm. Okay, sure, whatever. Like, he is the ultimate case of somebody that's just like, what is happiness I don't understand? Yeah. And literally, the closest that he has gotten to it, for all that he, like, snarks at Genus and roasts Lloyd and causes problems for Sheen and everything, these nerds are his friends. Like, he won't necessarily admit it out loud, or not unless you put him under great duress, but these are the first people that have accepted him for him, and that means a lot to him. Okay, now I have to type yeah. this one. And I put it in chat too. A reminder as well, his sister is in half elf. You know, the exact population that his entire world just despises for no reason other than they exist. So he got to watch that raw and uncut, and it has a direct impact on how he perceived everything else. Maybe it is. I'm gonna hang on to it as a reminder. I also love how they're yeah. like, oh, that's half of a spider. And it's like, that kind of looks like a whole spider from where I'm sitting, but I could be wrong. Yeah, okay. So, in the interest of time, I probably post stream or like post game, you have to come swing by and do the. Because basically, if you examine that circle, um, okay, I'm going to put it like this it's going to be a fight, but it does give greater thematic resonance to the final boss in a way, if you want to do them. So, that green circle that's on the ground. It's like a mini boss if you want to do it. If you don't, because you're more concerned in the interest of time, um, then we don't have to do it. It's Here's the thing. Do. If it's a single thing that we could just knock out, can we come back when we have our correct party? Um, yes. Okay. Where do we need to go? We'll come back okay. then. Uh, next step is... Da -da 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 -da, walk to the south of the prison area. Uh, do I need to go in here to do that? Uh, no. The steps... The steps... The... Oh, here we go. Oh, it's over yeah, here. Yeah, that warp over there. Yep. The one that we had before. And yeah, the half-elf thing is 100% a parallel to how we deal with stuff IRL when we talk about people who are like biracial or mixed ABC and all that stuff. It's really just a defining characteristic that gives you an excuse to be an asshole. That's all. That's... Alright, but why you ain't broke yourself out yet? But we know you can break this. Sir. Sir. It's them. I'll save you guys. But he can save himself. Oh, gods. I thought I just saw Lloyd. Yes, he disappeared. What could... Are we gonna do the little thingy again? A trap. Even if it is, remaining here indefinitely... Would not be particularly meaningful. Let us search for Lloyd. I'm so glad you two are safe. Oh, that's rude. Alicia. Impossible. Please wait. I'll take you to Lloyd. It's an illusion. Alicia is dead. Starforge, you're not wrong. <laughs> yes. She was murdered. Yes. And what am I, Prasea? Even though I'm right here, breathing, my very own sister insists that I'm dead. But you are, though. I... It's true that I was murdered by Regal. Here I am, alive, in front of you. Isn't that enough? It's only an illusion. Be gone! Ooh, my brain finished that for him, and I hate that for me. <laughs> <laughs> my brain finished that for him. Prasea! We don't know for certain it's an illusion. But we do! Yeah, she is dead! D-E-D -D dead! Prasea, you believe me, don't you? Thank you. You. Stop. If you don't stop. Regal, I can't believe you tried to kill me. I can't believe it. Silence, Phantom. Prasea, move. Yo, but he screwed all the way on. He's just like, nah, fam. This is fake. Like, I get it. I understand the feels, but this is fake. If you want to kill Alicia, you must face me first. Prepare yourself. Oh, is this like a hoax? Stop it. Both of you. What? Lloyd's voice. 
Is this an illusion as well? We ain't gonna talk about the drop of blood that just came up on the floor? But there's blood. I feel an evil presence from that blood. Be careful, Prisea. What's going on? What is real? Right, who dropped this ketchup? I'm confused. It doesn't matter. Just settle down. Why are you fighting each other? You're supposed to be friends. Lloyd. You aren't an illusion? Oh my god. Why did you stop attacking? You hate the one who murdered me, don't you? But... Enrigo, why won't you just let yourself be killed? Girl. At this point, I'm going back in the cell. This is you too much. You felt guilty about killing me. Uh. Here's your chance to end it all. Yes, it's for the best. If you are killed, you will no longer feel guilt. Are you for real, Regal Voice Rude in Final Fantasy VII Remake? Crispin Freeman. Yes. I, I understood that reference. If you kill him, you will have your revenge. Crimes must be punished. Both of you, get a hold of yourselves. Don't confuse who you should be fighting. Dying won't settle anything. Killing won't solve anything. That knife is like real close to her foot and I need you to bag back, sir. That is merely logic. People are not moved by logic. Ooh, Mythos has never been on Twitter. <laughs> the amount of just logic clowns that are, let me stop. If the one you love is killed, you hate the murderer. And murderers must be punished. But if you keep killing people like that, It'll only spawn new hate and new revenge. Hang on. Crispin Freeman is Bakugo? Is that for real? Am I going to look at Regal from now on and just envision him being angry while cleaning up chores? Oh, now I got to go look this shit up. Right. I'm right. Here. Hold on a sec. Come Let's on. See. Are you for real? <laughs> Besides, you're just running away if you die. Forget his English no nope. incorrect. His English voice is his English voice is Clifford Chapin. Okay. I can see where Clifford Chapin, Crispin Freeman. You know the two names really are kind of they kind of resonate. Spawn new hate. Yeah, if you get a different Baku girl, then maybe. What about my feelings? You murdered me. Yeah, but if you're looking for somebody it's bombastic that, that Crispin died. Freeman did. He was he Jeremiah, the storm of my loyalty, like got, got Walt in Code Geass. Oh, I've never seen Code Geass, so that does not do anything for me, sadly. You can't make me... Ooh, maybe we'll do that for part of April community stuff. We could watch anime. Do we want to watch anime in the Discord? Or we could watch movies. I'm down, I'm down with that. Um, do yes, like Shady that. Orange. Um... If I get to if I get to do one, I gotta put Scryd up. Y'all y'all don't understand. Some of y'all may not know the glory that is fucking Scryd. I do know Scryd. I must. Well, you're I do know Scryd. Selfish. Uh, what's the other one that I really like? Um, have you seen Sayuki? Um, yes. Not the original one, but Reload. Mm. And that Alicia is a fake. Alicia wouldn't say things like that. But you was about to score up with Regal, knowing this man can blast open a whole wall. No, not Haiyuki, not Haik. What is it? Haikyuu? Is that Haikyuu? If we're watching anime, yeah. we better watch. No, no, we're not watching <laughs> no. that. My good volleyball boys. Oh, is that a volleyball anime? I've wanted to watch one of those. Gundam yeah, 80, War in the Pocket, Watch Party. Listen, but I'm going to make everybody watch G Gundam. And I'm going to listen to everyone complain the whole time and be like, I don't care. This is my jam. Well, I'm not going to complain. I'll sing the, I'll sing both opening shit. <laughs> Stop deceiving my friends. Oh, yeah. There's some, so there's something about this scene that we missed because we were meaning really hard. And I'm sorry, but we'll, discu but we'll discuss it after guys. this is over. Something I just want to bring up for everybody. Sorry. This hand of mine is burning red! Oh my god, it's such garbage and I love it. Oh, it's like my favorite piece of trash. I lost the will to atone for my crimes by taking comfort in the feeling of being punished. So you're gonna Where uncuff? Is right here. Is, is, are you gonna uncuff? Death is not punishment. Punishment is living with one's crime and working to atone for it. 
I closed off my heart and turned away from people who were trying to atone for their crimes. I'm so happy that there are people in this community who support my love for G Gundam. I mean, I do. I never said I didn't. I know that you do, but there's always like only two or three people. I mention that in some circles and it's just like, wow. And I'm like, oh my God, it's not bad by any means, really. Perse is about to take the chains off of Regal. Oh my God, Amelie. Because it was <laughs> easier to hate than to forgive. Oof. Oh so my gosh, Dark things you can do before you die. And I don't think everything has to be forgiven. Wait, what about hearts and unicorns? Oh, we could also watch some other trash. I recommended to earlier to someone, uh, the Melancholy and High Rise Suzy Mia. That's a good time. Although I like Excel Saga better. Excel Saga is just ridiculous. And I'll never forget the first episode where she keeps getting hit by a bus. The first time I saw that, I laughed so hard that I cried. Because I was like, this poor girl, please stop tormenting her. Oh my god. Persea mm -hmm. VA is Terra Strong because reason? Yes, we knew that one as well. Harahai, that was my first manga. Oh my gosh. Is it out of order in the manga too? But no matter how painful things may be, you just can't dwell on the past. Yes. But whose blood is this? I will stop Lord. allowing myself to be trapped in the past. One cannot seek a new world. Because, so they lost sight of him because of what happened. And so when Prasea was literally about to say, Regal, fuck you, you die, Lloyd was like, fuck that, and he, he body blocked. So that's his blood. Got it. And thus you forget the past, the countless lives that were lost, and the pain of those that suffered. Crimes that shut be up. met with punishment. This is a knife. What's that? It's a knife. There are nicks all over the blade. Maybe it's a symbol of your past. Let us think of it that way. Yes. So that was very we gentle. Fight amongst ourselves again. Oh, the manga is fine? Yeah, that's something about Harai Suzumiya that I learned after the fact. I was like, I feel like this was really disjointed. It was fun, but it was disjointed. And I found out later and it's like, oh, that's because all the episodes were purposely aired out of order. And I'm like, who thought of this? Why would you do this? So then I tried to put them in order and I was like, nope, it still doesn't make sense. Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't matter. Everyone is surprisingly chill about this green knife. Yeah, don't examine the blood on the floor. Oh, no! Hit no. Okay. Yeah, we can come back to it at some point. So... Please hold. I'm fixing up our party. I got you. Oh, hang on. Alright, and Zealous can be on healing. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Are you on... Yes, you're on auto. Good. Yep. Yeah. So, it's entirely up to you. If you want to go back and get everybody before you start doing some of these these other things, then you can do that. So, let's see here. We got a... Because we're missing, we're missing Rain and Genus now, and then we can go, like, box everyone. Yeah. So, this back to the central area where you entered the city. So, go back through the warp. Okay, um, and then once you get back to the central area where you actually entered the city, so you have to go on the walkway. Once you're back at the central area, go go um, east to where the shopping stuff was. Okay. Also, because if we're going to be like this, you're doing this now. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. I'm not, I, I, also, I don't have any objection to that. I am so salty that no one clipped that reaction. Like, I'm going to go back and do it, but no one clipped that reaction, and I'm upsetty. Wow. Mm-mm. That's a shame. Okay, let's see here. <laughs> now I'm curious about what you would find when you would check the blood. Um, the TLDR I'm getting per SJ's uh, actual guidance is that we's going to box somebody, so, you know. Boxing is going to be had, and boxing yeah, um, we will do. You want to go down to uh, use one of the elevators to go down the stairs and east along the northern wall. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm trying to find which one of these had a shop because I want to re up some stuff. I think it's this one. I think all of these do actually. Uh, what oh, I meant okay. earlier was they were locked up in separate cases, and Rigo had to break them out, not this. Ah, understood. That's why I, we're just trying to be safe about it because a lot of this is still stuff that I'm going through and learning. 
So okay. we were just playing more safe than sorry because we know some people will walk in and even if it's unintentional, they'll come in and be like, hey, did you pass this really big pivotal part? And it's like, bro, <laughs> like, all right, that's for It might've been, I was gonna say, if it's not this one, then it's the one that you walked by in order to come to this one. But I we'll think... see. There we go. Yeah, okay, this is this one. Yeah, I was gonna say the other one should be a refresher. Alright, so we're on our way to the final battle, so I'm going to go ahead and keep it 100. We's coming in strapped. We're mm -hmm. taking the Miracle Gels. We have the money. We have the technology. Yeah, that's fair. I was say, we're going in with that thing on us. We don't go to final battles unprepared. That's just not how we do. I can't be a JRPG final boss and actually act like these JRPG final bosses. I'm actually out to get the things done. Yeah, you're right, though. All right, so let's go downstairs. Because before we box them, I'm 100% going to uh, save and then see how bad the boxing is. Wait, wait, wait. You said down here? Yep, I see him. Yeah. Get all your elixirs ready. Oh, yeah. Final boss prep in JRPGs, I don't take that lightly. It's final boss prep. We're going in with everything. All that stuff I've been hoarding, we about to throw it all over the place. Oh, right. Hang on. Gonna do this again. Because Rain is here. Yep. Yeah. Because um, Rain is here, and it involves Rain's mother, and um, she has a lot of semi-unresolved... They're mostly resolved, but some shit is gonna be really nasty. So people have um, issues with their parents, for reasons that I understand. Now is probably a good time to take a minute. Um, speaking of JRPGs, I'm the only fan of Shadow Hearts Covenant. I don't think that's true, but I have no feedback because I haven't played that yet. I think it's on my list of games, but I'm not sure. Why is the mayor? Listen, as a mod number, I said it earlier, but as a mod, the number of people who, who come in to no spoiler, no backseating first playthroughs and are like, hey, did you already see massive spoiler yet? Or am I late? It's just like, yeah. And I see it all the time too, where it's like, I know that for some people it's unintentional, but for a lot of people it is a 500% backdoor to spoiling. It's right up there with the people who are just like, oh, you're at this part? I can't wait to see your reaction to X, Y, Z. And it's like, will it bother you that much to just watch? Like, come on, you can do it, it's fine. All right, what we got here? Be careful, it's an illusion. You think I'm an illusion? But we could only hope and wish you were an illusion, especially since that haircut is back. This is exactly why everyone says half elves are fools. Bro, you literally can't say stuff yeah. like that with that haircut. I can't. I can't. <laughs> Rain, my pitiful child, a tainted child who received only half her elven blood. M mother? Half elves have no place in this world. That's not true. It is because you are despicable halflings that I was chased out of Heimdall. Then why did you give birth to us? I was gonna say, like, I, I always love, this is me being very sarcastic, a good plot point where they're like, you're just a, a dirty, and I'm gonna say some stuff that's actually really inappropriate. And if you ever say this to people and you get clapped for it, you absolutely deserve that clap walking around being like you're a dirty half breed and it's like yeah but check this out you laid with the person that led to this outcome so i don't know how this is my fault that i'm mixed i don't i what what are we doing what are we doing there probably was no choice that's why you were thrown away after you were born Disappear from this world. Die! There is no meaning for you to live. Disappear. Die! Now! Humans and elves. Neither side wants us. That's right. No one wants you. I didn't choose to be born like this, yet... It can't be helped. It's your fault for not being a pureblood. Is it? Exactly, TBC. Is it? It just... You knew... Okay. No, you're wrong. No, they are not wrong. Half-elves are despised and discriminated against for merely being alive. 
chess master, but the validity on that observation, though. I kind of hinted at that a little bit earlier when we were talking about the Pope in the story. The validity in that, though. There's some more IRL implications with that. Our existence is a crime. No, it's not the half-elves' fault. But we... People who can't accept those who are different are the ones to blame. It's because of their weak hearts. <clears throat> Listen, he walked through and said, I'm done with this. I'm breaking it. to get you. Lloyd. Now let's go. He took the whole fourth wall and said, I'm putting this in the trash. Now I'm done it's with this. Hopeless, Rain. You'll just be abandoned again. As long as you're a half-elf, the world will continue to hate you. Lloyd came for us. Even though he could have left us behind and faced Mythos, you'll just be betrayed again. Because you're a half elf. She has no control over that, though. Rain's mother did that twice. And there seems to be quite a bit of age difference between Rain and Genus. She had a child who was mixed and then thought this is a good idea to make another person I see as an. Yeah, this is, this is why the illusion is completely out of pocket. But there are people yeah. that we know, IRL, that they do act like this. Where they're just mm -hmm. like, oh, well, you're an abomination. It's like, but this is your doing. I didn't do this. You did this. What do you mean? I love how he just pops in. Uh, listen, he came through and was like, no, nah, I'm done with this. We're not doing this illusion shit no more. We're not doing this self-hate thing. You're going to, hey, get, you're going to snap out of it. You've been with me for 75 hours. Let's not do this. <laughs> You may be right, but then again, you may be wrong. I just dropped in and I have several questions. I here for all of it. <laughs> it wasn't because of my blood that you abandoned me. It was because of the world that hates my blood and a mother who was too weak to stand up against it. Okay, now time out. <laughs> I was with you yeah. until like just the very end. I'm going to stop hating that weakness. Okay, never mind. I know what she means. My hatred never changed anything. In order to change the world, I must first change myself. I'm glad I was born a half-elf. It was because of it yes. that I met Lloyd and my other dear friends. Genus, do you feel the same? You happy that you were born a half-elf? You're really still gonna play this game of being like, but aren't we friends? Bro, I will ball and stick you into the sun. Like, leave me alone. <laughs> That's ridiculous. There's no world for half-elves. Bro, you give away humans. You don't care about anything but money. Shut up. Because humans hate us, I hate humans. Genus. But I like you, Lloyd. And I like everyone we traveled with. Because I think they all like me. You're an idiot. You're deluding yourself. I'm the same. Just like those that hate half-elves, I get mad at humans and elves just for being who they are. That's just going to make them hate me more. My heart was weak, too. Is it a sin to be weak-hearted? I feel like that's ironic coming from Mythos of all people. <laughs> Not everyone's strong. Not everyone can stand being despised. Is this a self-report? I think this is a self-report. Hey, you two. Lloyd! Thanks for coming! I'm sorry. I promise to make up for all the trouble we've caused. Yeah, almost certain. Okay, so, I was yeah. gonna say, that's a self-report. <laughs> yeah, so like, something that's important, because I know that some people may have missed it in chat, and Nessa, I know you remember, so I know that's why you're also like, this is double bullshit. We have seen Rain's mother in real life, and we have discovered the reason why she abandoned them in the first place. Oh! Don't worry about it. We're friends, right? Oh. Hey. What's this thing that just came floating down? <laughs> Why he asked like that? <laughs> well, what's this? At the mirror. Maybe they're symbols of the weakness of our hearts. Oh, when the shade was reflected. Listen, you see, I was just like, was this a self-report? I feel like... I think this is a self-report. Bro, you... Mm. <laughs> he's yeah. entirely talking about himself. Yeah, he's actually shook it. This is a self-report. <laughs> you should hang on to it. It's proof that you guys beat that weird mirror. Okay. Yes, it's a good idea. All right, SJ, right. so we have the whole crew now. I'm yeah. going to go hit up the save point. Do we want to do the three mini-bosses? 
Um, I feel like for thematic purposes, it's good that we do. Whoa! It says um, Klonoa! Uh, you made a great Klonoa Prisea! Wahoo! <laughs> I'm grateful that you helped recover my company's mistake. loop de loo It sounds like you have fun being Klonoa, the idol of Altamira. Please say Wahoo. Wahoo! Oh no, Colette's doing it too! It's all right for you to speak like a human when you are outside of Altavira. Oh, oh, I oh no, she was cosplaying. Oh no. Yeah. So. Okay, I'm gonna go yeah. save. Yeah. So while she's doing that, so mild content warning. I'm just gonna catch up people in the chat who weren't aware of this, but mild content warning. We gotta talk about some mental health stuff, especially as regards to like people who are like suffering from um not dissociative that's not the word but from like severe memory loss and things like that um basically speaking with rain's mother sincerely and i don't mean this in like a excusing her actions kind of way she sincerely loved both rain and genus but was driven out of heimdall because she loved her husband quits too right but they were driven out of the elven village because of the whole half elf shenanigan, which is a shenanigans thing, which is again Mythos' fault. So because of the bullshit Mythos did, the elves don't trust half elves. So yeah, um, because of the bullshit that Mythos did, the elves don't trust half elves. And so when Virginia wound up giving birth to Rain and probably got pregnant with Genus or something like that, affected or when after Genus was born, like, oh, so they're fucking half elves huh just like that fucker mythos and then basically that's why they were forced to leave heimdall the strep and at some point um rain and genus's human father was killed right and so virginia was trying to take care of the two of them on her own in tetheala which was already extremely racist towards half elves and losing her husband started pushing virginia back onto this path of just like severe mental illness not in a way that would like hurt the kids or anything but she wasn't really capable of taking care of them anymore and her mind was already starting to regress so she's like listen i'm gonna go i'm gonna leave rain and genus at the otherworldly gate because if i throw them over to this land of silveron this mythical land surely they will be free of the prejudices of half elves there and they can be free to live there so by virtue of the fact that we know that he might have died from illness right sorry thank you chess master but the whole point of that is that Rain and Genus's actual mother, at least from the perspective of what she thought was best, was trying to help them and never once actually hated them for the fact that they were half elves. So all of you that are like, Mythos is just projecting it hard as shit. Yes, because we factually know that Virginia loved her kids so much that she was like, listen, I don't, I don't know if this is like the best way for me to do this, but this is the only solution I got. I'm going to send them to Silver Rock and maybe they can have a better life because I can't take I, I cannot take care of them I'm not physically or like mentally capable of anymore and so she's still alive but her brain has regressed to the point yeah the parents thing is over Miss Envy yes but basically speaking yeah that's that whole story behind that I'm gonna leave that there all right so we want to click this we got everybody we're Hold good. on, is the, is, the, is the team kitted up though? Just to be sure we got the right order? Yeah, good enough. Alright, let's roll. One, I feed off the fear and selfishness that lives in the hearts of men. Will you offer your selfishness to me? Sure, why not? Fall into the dark, pleasant sleep inside of me. That's weird. Yeah. You're in the real world of You are the fugitive. Oh, we're gonna get. Now you know it's in game, because we're getting into the cryptic names. Yeah. Like I said, there is thematic appropriateness to these mini bosses, which is why I recommended we fight them. We do also get some cookies, which I guess is also the more um, materially relevant part of this, but um Ready? Yeah, um we boxed this nerd. Whatever. I literally, I want to say, I literally just kept kicking through that. The nurse didn't even get off in time. 
And we made a sandwich. Now what? And I and I got an HP boost. Light fled into darkness, and you are now the new light. The coward who fled into darkness has lost his power. Well, sucks Oof. for that. I was like, sucks for that kid. Sucks for that yeah. nerd. Okay. Is SJ so controlling? Wanted, oh no, I'm controlling do... Colette. Uh, SJ is controlling Persea. Yeah, we also want to do the blood stain and the glass shards. Oh, you know what? I went the wrong way. I bet you could do the blood stain and then come back and save so that we don't have to double back. Mm -hmm. um... Yeah, basically, I just made a joke request for the short period of time that I did have to control Colette. I made a joke request um, to give the twinsies to give the twinsies um, title just because I think it's funny. You really want him to unlock a last skill that has him use his hands just because? I could get behind that. I could support it. Uh oh, a cryptic boss? Oh, I'm pretty sure the rest will be cryptic too. What we got? All life bears sin when it is born. Will you face your sin? Yes. Then sinners be judged. This was a yeah. fugitive, and now it's the judged! Yeah. I'm a scandal. So yeah, for, yeah, so something I was saying earlier that I do appreciate that the game went out of its way to kind of point out that it's like, listen, it's not wrong for Regal to feel bad and want to be penitent for what he did to, um, for what he did <laughs> to Alicia, right? But it's also this thing where it's like, it becomes a point where you're feeling like overly guilty about things is just counterproductive and you're just doing it so that you can kind of like wallow in how sad and how sorry you feel and there's a point where it's like if you actually want to do the work you have to um you have to just accept that you have to just do the work i just want you to know sj that mm -hmm. i stringed seven moves together in that and it was glorious yeah i saw <laughs> <laughs> Light fell into darkness along with sin. You bear your sin out of the new light. The power of darkness has now ended. All right, so that's out. So we got uh, an attack ring, a magic ring. Oh, are we gonna get a defense ring next? Might. Self-pity and self-flagellation becomes a way to avoid responsibility, essentially. Yeah. Mm. I remember the first time I got introduced to the word self-flagellation is when I had this one chick on my Facebook who was very, very, very upset that we told her she was way out of pocket for talking over black people over how we should parse pain. And she's like, no, no, I don't endorse this self-flagellation of white people. And it's like, no one's self-flagellating though. Like, there's a difference between being that person that comes out and just wants to be like, I am the worst person ever. Please mock me and call me garbage. Like, no one's doing that. We're just coming to terms with the fact that there are things and stuff that we've done over our lifetimes that are not cash money. And we've been, like, proponents of that thing, of those things. As somebody who's able-bodied, I've been a proponent of things that are, like, harmful to the disabled community. As someone who's cis, I've done things that are harmful to the trans community. Openly talking about that is not self-flagellation. Baby, that's growth. Like, mm -hmm. th those are, no. Oh, that reminds me. That's something to remind you of a thing and the stuff. Oh, God. Yep. And then even then, and I, I kind of appreciate the way that Prisea kind of handled it. Um, though I think that there is naturally something to be said about, like, sometimes there's just a, th a time where you don't forgive people for certain things. Mm -hmm. um, I guess, though, in Prisea's case, they sort of try to implicitly point out that because it was nobody's fault this is one of those things where it isn't really fair to Regal to not want to forgive him in this case because it wasn't something that he um that he wanted to do and it's not something that and it's something that he does feel sincere guilt about right so they kind of imply it I think but it is important to make that distinction versus oh you have to forgive everybody for everything and I have typos in this, but I'm just going to hit send. Basically, base, uh, we're getting there. I think there's a few more things that we have to do, and then we'll be on our way. Um, yeah. Welcome back in. You're just in time for some of the actual face beating. But, um, yeah, Chessmaster, everything about that commentary makes me ashy. Like, every single person in this game, honestly speaking, has really, really good and well-thought-out backstory, I feel. 
There's no one who is like intrinsically boring. There's no one who has a very cut and dry understanding. Everyone is very much layered. They're mm -hmm. very, very layered. Honestly, for all the JRPGs I've played, this is probably one of the best depictions of not just character development, but also character growth character understanding and then having people be multifaceted in a fashion that doesn't feel ham-fisted like you don't have someone who's the goody two-shoes just for the sake of being the goody two-shoes colette is a goody two-shoes but you get to see those moments and those points where she's very much adult like very aware of what's going on around her and very much in the mindset of i'm staying positive because the alternative is pretty much being angry all the time and yeah. then you have Lloyd, who is angry all the time. <laughs> and right. then you have Genus, who's even more angry all the time. And then you have Rain, who's teetering between absolute, like, issues she's dealing with, with her obsession with ruins and stuff, but also trying to be a human, but also trying to navigate being a half-elf, but also just trying to make things work so that her and her brother can live without being persecuted. Like, there's all types of layers all over and everywhere for every single character. And someone being like, oh, Regal's story is boring is like, no, it's not. <laughs> they know how freakishly strong he is, what his past is like, what he's doing to try and move on, they still find him bland. Like, no, that's absurd. That's absurd. I reflect the bitterness that lies in the depths of your hearts. Will you face your darkness? Sure! Do they not see the sports bra? Hello? <laughs> this is obviously a really different game from Undertale, but I feel like there are similar things. Hey, Yin Yarvin, how are you, Destroyer? How you doing? 50% output. The Neglected. Ooh, that's a really good name for, like, Zelos' side of it, which is funny because he didn't get to do... He got to do the spider one. Hey, actually, we haven't done that. Does Is there a fourth one? Um, no, there are... Th there are three. The Fugitive, the Judge, Oh no, the this is this is the one with Zelos and uh, Sheena. The one with Zelos and Sheena was the Fugitive. Oh. This this one was um Rain. This one was no. Um, this is Rain of Genus. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I would say my brain just went to that circle. Oh, boo! You moved. How dare you? Oh, he's in the corner. That's why. Oh, oh. Beat this man up. Beat him up. Box him! Let's go. Ebony, this is the Box neglect. him! Box him! Put oh. this man in the corner and box him! Oh, he's dead. Boxed! Get kicked! Redemption still eludes me. Have a sandwich. Sandwiches yeah, are redemption, you're fine. <laughs> what was this one named? The Neglected. I caught the name! I caught it! It's the Neglected! Regret? No, this is the neglected. So we did the fugitive, the neglected, and then I already forgot one of them. The fugitive, the judged, and the neglected. The That's judged. The order that we did them in. Yeah. Thank you. You've conquered your darkness. You have changed from shadow to light. That which was light will lose its power. And now we got. Yep, defense ring. So we have some nice things. We have some nice things. <laughs> Mini boss? I think not. I mean. For you to say that you're a mini boss, that means that you pose a challenge. And thus far, you got a chick yawn in here. Like, what are we? No. So, actually, with that said, let's put on our new toys because it's end game, right? It's end game. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, no, you're gonna keep that on. Oh, actually, I'm not gonna put those on. I'm not gonna put those on at all. You want to be defensive, or do you want to be more smacky? How you? You want some more powers? Um, I think this is good. I think I do enough damage. Okay. <laughs> Wait, can- will these stack? Oh god, I have so many things. But this is just called a defense ring. Do they stack? It doesn't show uh -huh. the number. It doesn't show the number, that's weird. <laughs> but I'm wondering if it doesn't show the number because it's stacking or what? You're gonna take that. Yeah, I'm not sure either. Survey says... No, it just doesn't show the number. Well, at any rate, you're gonna wear the magic ring because we like, uh, we like violence in our spells. So there you go. Happy birthday to Rain. You're doing wonderful, sweetie. 
All right, so do we want to go across the way? Um, no. We want to go back to the central area. We do have everybody at this point, right? So Correct. yeah, we want to head back to the central. We want to head back to the central area. To the teleport that um, we couldn't use before, maybe. Yeah, go. Yeah, we're gonna go northish that way. So I think. To this. Yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah, there what we go. What is this? This is. This is the Darius emblem. Darius emblem. It's a seal that blocks the path to Mythos's castle. Although I didn't know where it was. Then with this, the trap should be deactivated. Let's keep going. Okay, let's go. I feel like they found something and I completely missed it. Long story short, it was sealing off Mythos's. It's seal. It's the seal to the final dungeon that we basically just found. So step in that. If you step in that warp. Uh huh. And then go forward. Then basically. So step in that warp first. Hang on, I'm gonna go save. Yeah, if go I save. step in that warp, is that the one last mob and then meet those? Base, um, something like that. So basically speaking, what's going to happen, and this is something weird that is like very tale specific, there is going to be one last cutscene before you go off to fight Mythos. In order to unlock certain things to go do, you need to see that cutscene first. So it, basically, in no short order, what we're gonna wind up doing is um. Okay, so now we go north from here. Mm -hmm. We're going to take that warp right there. Okay. Okay. Welcome to Vinheim. That was quite a trap back there. The Darius emblem? It simulated the negative emotions that reside in everyone's hearts. Yes. Even knowing that what we saw before us was fake, we still couldn't stop ourselves from being affected by it. But we all managed to win against it. Thanks to Lloyd. Lloyd wasn't pulled in by the illusions that the Darius emblem creates. The Eternal Sword must have amazing power. It's truly fascinating. I don't think it was all it was. I think it was also because Lloyd himself was strong. Yes, you're right. Defensive much? Okay. So yeah, here's the way that this works. So okay, we have the so we got a save point right there, we can see it. So here's the way that this works, basically speaking. Mm -hmm. Up those stairs is a dragon mob. Mm -hmm. we take the shit out of that. We can open up the doors to see the final cutscene. And then after that, um Yeah, you see you see you see the motherfucker? Yeah. So basically we, we go up, we box that motherfucker, we examine the doors for one final cutscene, and then we go through again. So my recommendation is we box this nerd, we open up the doors, but don't go through, and then we go back down to save, and we use that as like the as like the serious business file. Got it. Or when we need to roll back. I am the gatekeeper. Oh no, it actually is Zul. You who would open the gate, stand forth and destroy me. At least he's aware of his fate. You know, <laughs> I, I can at least give him that credit. Let's do it box me bro you don't even get wow, special music big. you get generic boss music i hope you're proud of yourself 19k <laughs> what a nerd oh, i was like get out of here oh and there's attack up come here oh there we go there we go <laughs> girl you took the words right out of my mouth like, I'm just sitting here like, I mean, we can box if you want to, but like, <laughs> it's whatever. Those feet in the perfect size for this. All right, so we need this cutscene. Is And is that all we need? Yeah, now go back and save from this point. And this is going to be the, okay, we know we're fine, so let's clean it up file now. Yeah, pretty much. Um, if there is like one last cutscene after we open it, then that should, yeah, save it and then let's and then let's go. And if we, if, if it doesn't put us through either way, then we come back and save again real quick. Right. But oh yeah, this this one hundred percent has we big final boss ahead. energy. And the great sea should be there too. This is it, everyone. Are you ready? Is the wine cellar ready? Are we ready to say we beat Tales of Symphonia? Ah! Yeah. Okay. 
I'm ready. I'm prepared to accept whatever happens in the coming battle. And we will win. Yeah, we will. Yeah, we're gonna win. For Mizuho, Corinne, and for all of you who believed in a coward like me. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. You just had a rough time starting up. And for myself, too. I hate this I scene. I don't want anyone else to make the same mistake I did. What? I hate this scene. Why did you oh, make me keep her in this outfit? <laughs> I hate this scene. No one I was just fucking <laughs> sacrifice his own life. Everyone should be able to live freely, no matter who they are. Humans and elves and even us. It's okay for us to be here in this world. You know, I feel like I've said that on a couple of podcasts. Yes. That's why we must recover the great seed from Mythos and revive the giant tree. Why is Colette dressed like Lloyd? It's a title outfit. Without it, not only will we be unable to restore peace between the different races, the world itself will die. We can't let that happen. I also want to point out something specifically about Perseus' outfit. She's wearing the Klonoa outfit, but specifically, she's wearing the Klonoa outfit from Klonoa 2, Lunatea's Veil, and Forward. This is not the vanilla outfit from Klonoa 1. Those are two different things. Fun facts. We must reunite the worlds. Afterwards, we shall make a new promise to the new world. The people that I like and the people that I don't both have the right to live in the same world as I do. Because that's the way things should be. So count me in. I won't run from this one. All right. Let's go. Everybody out here spitting bars. The, the TLDR Tales of Symphonia is as follows. Don't be racist. <laughs> Yeah, like racism. Don't be is, racist. <laughs> yeah, don't be racist and don't become like racist trying to beat racist. You fuck. Is basically is basically it. Don't be mm. We're going to restore a world where everyone can live freely. Alright. Yeah, run back and go save now. I was like, but there's no turning back. We immediately turn back. I was seriously shaking when everyone disappeared. Oh well, at least now we've got the Darius emblem. Now we just need to do something about Mythos and we'll be set. Yeah, it may be difficult, but we cannot back down. Neither side can back down, and that's why things have wound up like this. We won't get anywhere just thinking about it. We don't have time for that. Poor genus up here. Yeah, it's okay. I'm okay. Let's go. Okay, time to reclaim the Great Seat. I'm gonna go save so that yeah we don't have to do all that again. Yep. Yep. And I was about to say, is this nerd really something. gonna fight me? <laughs> yeah. And now that you've seen that cutscene, you've opened up some things for when you come back to this file and run it. You've opened up some things for the post game. But basically, in order to actually make it less of a pain in the ass to get to places, we're gonna have to do some stuff in the castle and post game, quote unquote. Okay. So yeah. Chessmaster was like, maybe that's why this game resonated with a lot of people. Remember that the thematic genre, or something like that, of this game is an RPG that resonates with you. And if that's the reason why you specifically chose that phrasing, Chessmaster, that was genius, and I salute you. Home. I'm going home. I don't think he's looked around at home for a hot minute, huh? Mythos, listen to me. We don't have to fight. You know how sometimes... You just have to take the L and be like, nah, this is too far gone to fix. That's that's mm -hmm. one of these moments. This is, this, okay, I'm going to give everybody an analogy. And you're either going to love it or you're going to not understand it. Genus talking to Mythos right now is the equivalent of me trying to talk to Candace Owens about how we don't have to do this. Oh, God. <sighs> Sometimes you you take the L and you say, I gotta box this one. I gotta do it, team. And be safe picking up your wife, Dragon Crest. Thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate you. Yeah, yeah, I figured that would resonate with people. Or 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 like trying to have a casual combo about about all of this with like Stacey Dash. It's like <clears throat> Lord. Hmm. Ebony, 
the accuracy though <laughs> the accuracy it's like he could say you know what i give up and he'd still catch the fade it's true i felt that in my soul yeah sometimes you just that's a lost cause Please return the great seed to us so that we can reunite the worlds. In Genus's defense, Genus is 12. Yeah. Home. I'm going home. Something's wrong. He sounds like a puppet. W what? Oh, no. Oh, that's awkward. Yeah, he ain't. I need to thank you for going through all the trouble to bring me back here. You know what? I'm not even upset. -y. You want to know why? Because that just means I get to actually box you. You right. I just wanted to make sure you was in the right state of mind so that you could catch this L. You're 100% correct. Yep. You right. I'm finally myself again damn so that's what this was all about mythos martel is already dead that's not true martel is alive listen nah, candy candy like the whole commentary of being like we should talk to you and the foot just flies past him and straight to his dome nope just as I lived on in the Crucius Crystal. That's not living. That's just existing as a lifeless being. What's wrong with that? What do you mean? Did you just hear what you said? What? After all, <laughs> Life in our bodies too. flow the bloods of humans and elves, the bloods of those that despise us. We're better off casting aside such filth and become lifeless beings. <laughs> existing as a lifeless being big mood to be honest oh my god Mina Mina please mm. that's what you really want of course watch when you become a lifeless being you can even control your appearance and growth yeah that 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 voice switch actually just caught me off guard Everyone should become lifeless beings. So, Sin, to answer your question, he tried to revive Martell as a lifeless being. The whole point of putting... Was because in Colette's body, she would have had a Crucius Crystal, which is basically just like a super advanced X-Sphere, which would have let Martell basically do the same stuff to Colette's body that he just is doing with his own. Except Martell's not a fucking Bama and is like, listen, Mythos... Honey, this isn't the way. And he's like, I, sister, you come home. And she's like, no, people die when they're killed. And, she, and he's like, well, fuck this. Yeah, basically, that's the whole reason why they bought out the point where they were like, oh, yeah, Colette has finally has the correct um, DNA signature. Because pretty much Mythos has been trying to cultivate the correct copy of Martell. And so now, Colette is the closest one, and that's why he wanted to go ahead and have her be, like, the chosen and all this other stuff. It's a real mess. It's kind of gross. And we are getting ready to square up. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, is that Martel behind you? Punt! I told you before. The only way to eliminate discrimination is for everyone to become the same race. This is real big All Lives Matter energy. This mm -hmm. is... This is real big... I am a major influencer, and I think we're all one race, the human race energy. I've read this tweet. I've seen this tweet in the wild, and I blocked it. <laughs> like... What you hope for is nothing but a dream, Mythos. And I've seen this tweet! I've read this tweet many times, and I block these people! <laughs> Discrimination comes from the heart. He's right, Mythos. It's the weakness of people's hearts that causes discrimination. Oh, hey, Phil. Welcome on in. You're on the final boss fight walking in. I hope you have a beverage and some popcorn. Looking down upon others while placing themselves too high. 
You do the same thing. You look down on humans and elves, treating them like cattle. That's the weakness of your heart. Oh? Oof. <laughs> Even if people become lifeless beings, nothing will change. Discrimination will continue. Thank you so much, Kane, for reminding everybody we're raising money. Wrong way. We're raising money for Gamers Outreach. And again, we're going to be doing this all day tomorrow while playing Hades with incentives in place. But if you want to go ahead and throw down the leak hash beforehand, it would be greatly appreciated. And we're going to do this all the way through till Sunday. We aren't accepted anywhere. We opened our hearts, but no one took us in. Where should we live? You can live anywhere you like. Don't make me laugh. I'm serious. Anywhere is fine. If you aren't doing anything wrong, you should just live proudly in the open. It's because we couldn't do that. That I... That we wanted a place of our own. Ooh. There's, there's a lot of rough bars here, too. Uh-uh. Sorry, but don't act like you're the only victim here. It doesn't even come close to justifying all the things that you've done. Man has a point. What you've done caused meaningless suffering and death to countless people. Can you feel their pain? People can change, even if they don't change right away. Hey DC, how are you? He reminds me more of those edgy No Lives Matter types people I used to trip back in uh, high school. Zealous, land down shoes. There's a couple of things going on here that people had to be like, no, 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 no. Your anger is valid, but the method of execution you chose to express that, not so much, dog. Like, we we get it. I feel like we say this all the time, too. Hey, Biff. I feel like we say this all the time, too. We understand why you're angry. We don't disagree. But saying you're upset or hurt is not validation to go on a killing spree. That's not how this works. <laughs> Months, years... As time passes, change is inevitable. Reguline, accurate. But man obviously hasn't grown emotionally since this happened, which is why I was curious. Ah, yes. Uh, of all the Tales games of the party members laying down the final bosses, these guys' bars are the most fire. Like, y you can't- Maybe not everything can be forgiven, but one can try to atone for one's sins. Kaldanen, I've been trying so hard not to be like, the parallels right now in this is real heavy real heavy by sheer coincidence but man is that all that's been running through my head it's just like mm, we are literally talking about this right now can't you feel it in your heart the goddess known as conscience do you think i'm gonna beg for forgiveness ridiculous Oof. there is no goddess so i would continue to pursue my ideals Undead, thank you so much for the $28 donation. If y'all are donating and you want to do stuff for tomorrow's stream, just let me or one of the mods know and we'll log it so that I can do it right away in stream. And by the way, after we beat this man up, we're going to give away three games. I was going to say two games. I just looked at the total. We're giving away three games because every $75, we're giving away game keys. And then someone redeemed a free game yesterday or Tuesday, last stream. Yeah, last stream, which was Tuesday. So let's beat this man up, and then let's get y'all some free games, yeah? If there is no place where I can live, and if I've been denied my age of lifeless beings... Do... Oh, oh, oh no, I have to think about what I want. It's up to you. It's up to you. I'm trying something new this time around where I don't have incentives that directly impact me, per se. It'll be stuff that's strictly for gameplay in Hades. And so, because I'm getting the impression that the wine cellar doesn't particularly care for the incentives where I'm like, I'll eat this thing, or I'll do this thing that's like really embarrassing and weird. It, it, for the most part, y'all have consistently been like, no, we just want to donate. But the, the options for doing stuff are still there. So I'm just not going to push them as hard. There's a bridge powered by crystals made out of Soylent Green, so this game can... And the only thing left for me... <laughs> is to build a new world on Daris Carlon. A world just for my sister and me. And, yeah, here's, and here's the thing too, I get mm -hmm. it, you're young and you lost your sister and that sucks. Everything about that is awful. A constant warning for childhood trauma and death coming from me. When I was 22, three, 
it was after my knee surgery, so 23. When I was 23 years old, I lost my nephew. My nephew was 10 months old. Okay? I lost my nephew. He was 10 months old. I want y'all to stop for a second and imagine if 13 whole years later, I was still walking around wanting to be angry and revengeful over this. 13 years? Don't get me wrong. I hate that I lost my nephew. My nephew this year would have been 12 years old. And as a secondary bonus, his birthday was by mine. My older sister said that she was happy he was born when he was because he was a Leo like me, which meant that he would grow up to be smart and wouldn't take crap. That's a real thing my sister said to me when I was 22 and our relationship wasn't really great. And then that only lasted for 10 months. There are plenty of things to be angry about. There are plenty of things to be like ready to box somebody over. But this whole nonsense that we're doing where you're like, oh, I had a bad day and that's why I clowned the entire world. Nah, I'm not about it. Mm -hmm. I'm not about it. You can't do this. You lost your sister and that sucks. But this thing where you're still clinging to it 4,000 years later and you're just like, well, if you won't let me have my sister, I'm going to beat up everybody. Dog, go home. Like straight up. Go mm -hmm. home. Like I don't No, We're not doing this. Yeah. It's been the thing that I've said for a good while now where it's like, listen, no matter what the extenuating circumstances are behind certain things that you do, at the end of the day, if you did something and it hurts somebody, you're fucking responsible for that. You have to own that. Ebony, you can't four run from it. thousand years. He's been 16 years old for 4,000 years being spiteful, bitter, and angry about this and destroying mm. everyone in the process because he just wants his sister back. Nah, fam, I can't hang. You gotta get boxed. We gotta give away games here. Unless we get up to 225, then we're giving away a fourth game. All right, let's do it. Ooh, you and this Bamfy nonsense. Not the interrupt. Fuck you, motherfucker. I was saying, hang on, with the interrupt, though. He was like, I'm gonna cast spells on you. And I legit said, but you won't, though. Hang on, hang on. I legit just, like, walked through that. Oh, get back here. Don't touch her. I don't give a shit. I'm per se a combatier. Like, your shit hold on. doesn't mean shit to me. And then Rain just casually is like, I'm gonna heal up everybody right quick. I just showed her check the small child. <laughs> Dear Lord. I deserve it. Oh, I will. Yo, Sheena, hit that summoning though. Oh shit, it's our girl. My favorite summon in this game. Got Anime. Anime. Martial arts. Let's go. I wish she would, but she just does that instead. Oh, oh, I'm on it. Oh, I'm already on top of it. Um, we have a couple of problems. It looks like to be perfectly uh, honest. Um, How many panaceas do we get? Twenty? Yeah, we have twenty. Ready. All right. Do not overexert yourself. I got you. I'm working on it. I don't want rain to have to do it. That's you. Do not overexert yourself. He missed. <laughs> I was say he whipped everybody. Um, let's see. Um, I think she has curse on her. I think that's what's happening. Yeah. And she has it. paralyzed. <laughs> yep, she's good now. I'm working on Sheena. Yeah, because I want her to do that stuff that she's doing. Motherfucker, I don't care. Oh, he was aiming at me. Ooh, I have a problem too. I can't do technics, but I'm also oom. Um. Okay, is it a panacea bottle? Yes, it is. Ready? All right. Yeah. I'm going back in the box. Uh. Is it pure what? I'm still standing right here, short stack. What you got? 
You caught this man! You ain't caught this man short stack! I damn well did. <laughs> I'm so upset! You said short stack! I, I'm upset for days. For days! You didn't call this man short stack! I'm so upset with you. Oh, you did not bamf away from me. <gasps> you bamfed! Oh, I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Oh, you and these bamfs. I hate it. I hate it so much. I hate the characters that bamf. I always have. I always will. I don't even care about your moves right now. You bamfed on my unison attack. I'm so annoyed right now. Get away from you! Disappear. Yeah, juggle this man. Juggle this man in the healing circle. Oh no. Okay. Oh, so he. All right. So he's scared. Oh wait. I'm airborne. You hit twice. You should be embarrassed. You should be embarrassed. And they're yeah, all gonna laugh at you. Shit. I was like, they're all gonna laugh at you. They are all gonna laugh at you. Boy, hush. Not I kicked my way out of the gravity well. Child the ghetto. Oh yeah, he's done. Yeah, he's pretty much done. He's... Oh, okay. Oh, he's still on this punks. This punk shit, huh? Okay, I see. Hang on. He he got me on this silence nonsense. Um. He likes to silence me, and I'm not a fan. Ooh, double problem. We got a few problems. I'm working on it though. Rain takes priority, and I'm so sorry. She no, couldn't get access. I'm, she couldn't get access to her okay. skills. Remember, I'm Persea. Like, that's, that's true. I, do not <laughs> but yeah. Um, Moonlight was like, I called him, I called Nito short staff while using Persea. You're damn fucking right I did. He's a fucking short staff. Hold up. I got her. Thank you. <laughs> you said square up, kiddo. <laughs> oh my god. I hate all of it so much. So oh wait, oh. much. No, um, what's, what you doing? Um, I didn't realize that Sheena hit over limit again. He's ready. I thought she was anyway, but no, my she's bad. Close. Oh, she's almost. Yep, oh. there she goes. Oh, here we go. I'm working on it. I'm keeping her alive. Hey, Celsius girl, eat this again, lemon. Oh, come through, though. Or no, lie. Undine. Hey, so she's not going to hit for shit, but I think, we're, I think we get heals. Am I still paralyzed? Yes, I am. Hold on I was like, what is happening? I'm in the middle of a kick. I would Sorry. like one Are kick, please. Get away from me. No I don't give a shit. Get away from me. Oh, boy, hush. I was like, boy, hush. But now, because this is a JRPG, let's not be, let's not kid ourselves. Say like no, hun, no. This is a JRPG. Final bosses don't do one phase. That's not how that works. Yeah. Can I get a sandwich, please? We have secured Thanks the for. sandwich. <laughs> Sandwich has been secured. Oh, we have the glass break right away. Oh no, this man is in. Oh, are we fighting Subnautica now? Is that what we're doing? Something like that. Okay, so do you now understand why I said that we wanted to fight the fugitive, the judged, and the neglected? Does it look like all three of them? Is that does what it? we're doing? It kind of does. Yes. So people were pointing out before. Sorry, I know I'm. I know. I'm... I'm breaking up the flow here, but this is why I said it's thematically important that we fought it. Basically speaking, you know how people were like, oh, this is a self-report when he was talking about the last part. Yeah, this the is a self-report. The judged and the neglected all represent the parts, like all of the things that Mythos was tearing everybody about in those sections are all his personal flaws. He is such a miserable, self-absorbed fuck that he is per perfectly capable of seeing his own weaknesses in the entire party and hates that but also hates himself yeah like literally all of it is just all of his repressed 
all of his repressed baggage. It's all of it. This motherfucker has put us through this shit. Here. Die. Yeah. Uh, Earthly help is on the way. Healing circle. I am going to eat a thing. And then after this, I'm going to go on a small break because I have a borderline emergency. It's not an emergency. It's something I have the luxury of being able to answer, but it's pretty bad. So. <laughs> yeah. We'll, yeah, we'll box them in and then I'll keep the chat something while you can. Right? No worries. Right. Oh. Yeah, hold on. Let me Thank bring you. her up. Ready? Phoenix. Ready? Get up. Yo, did you did you get the revitalized? Yes I am, because I'm godlike. Oh my gosh. Are you okay? Oh, I like it when the boss don't block. Ah! Let's go. I messed up. Yeah, you, you can't. You don't bamf now. You don't bamf. You can't bamf. Sucks to suck, doesn't it? Little, little over half. Uh, judgment coming in. Oh, motherfucker. He's coming for her. He's coming for her heart. I can't believe he's still salty. I called him short stack. Still true though. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna go down. I'm backing out. Um, Can I get a? You know what? I, yeah, I will say it's final battle. Go ahead and hit up that miracle gel for everybody. Lady of the Blaze, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate you. Welcome on into the wine cellar. Mmm. You ain't interrupt Ooh. me like that. Can you hit me up with a lemon real fast? I got you. Um, I may die, but fuck it. I'm also hoping that I'm per se a combatier and that that's gonna be what seals me through. Oh no, never mind. I was say consider. Wanna, that stagger that shit like. I was say, but I got juggles. Get kicks, 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 combos. Oh. Oh yeah, he's done. Oh, it ended at 24. Yeah. Oh, hold up. Hang on. Don't do that yet. Don't do it yet. I want to check something. Yeah, don't bother. Markel. That's why I was like, I could feel it in my bones. X Gym Max. Do we get the final victory sandwich? Yes. Yes! Yeah! Secured. Okay, the whole game counts. We got the end sandwich. We got the end sandwich. We're good. Uchi. All right. Hang on. I gotta. You know me. I gotta spam. I gotta spam my shit. Not that one. Can we get rid of this crystal, please? Go away, please. Steam Alert. Go away. Lloyd can cook. He may have messed up sandwiches in the beginning, but he came through clutch at the end. It's just like Alicia. Mythos will continue to live as long as the Crucius Crystal exists. And eventually, I will be taken over by the crystal. Mythos. Tired of playing your game of good and evil? Hurry up and destroy the crystal. If you don't, Dara's car line will continue to drift away. Mythos. Oh, I at the game, the sandwich, Do it now. Yeah. Before I... Two. I'm no longer myself. Lloyd! Please! Help him! The only help I'm offering is destroying that crystal. Let him die while he's still himself! Alright. <clears throat> Farewell, my shadow. You who stand at the end of the path I chose not to follow. I wanted my own world. So I don't regret my choice. I would make the same choice all over again. This is the textbook explanation of why a lot of marginalized identities are like, and this is why we don't sit here and explain stuff to people. It's this, right here, being like, you're right. I did destroy entire nations. I did invoke an entire war. I did kill thousands upon thousands of people and I would do it all over again. All right, bet. I'm gonna throw this crystal out right quick. Well, don't you think mm -hmm. we can talk to... No, I I can't express to you how uninterested I am. 
can't do it. I will continue to choose this path. Good, and then you can go to hell, motherfucker. All right, well, we gotta throw your crystal out. Deuces, dog. Like, um, we're not wasting our time with this. No, we're not doing also it. Also, note that the sword that Lloyd used to break the crystal mm -hmm. was not Kratos's, but Dirk's. You could have. You could have lived with us in our world. Damn it. Oh my god, Ellie. I just want to take a moment to say I'm disappointed that this is not Animu. Throwing that out there. Oh. It'll come in time. Reminder, everyone, that blue and red is purple. The old master of the pact is no more. What does the new master of the pact ask of this sword? Restore the true form of our two worlds. Oh, here we go. Oh, delightful. We still have an hour and 15 minutes. It's time to side quest, y'all. Yep. I should just keep my hand off the controller. I don't want to accidentally skip. Are we back? Oh, okay. What's going on? Oh, hey, what's up? We ain't never get to see the Sylph in battle. Look, Shadow's even last in this. What are you all doing? Okay, I just want to put that out there. Even Shadow was last in this. It's like yeah. they knew that that man was going to be boxed. <laughs> Your wish is granted. But there is no link. Without a link, the land will die. What do you mean? The world was originally separated into two in order to prevent its destruction. If it returns to its true form, the world lacks the mana to support itself. The land is dying. I don't need to know why it's dying. What do we need to do to stop it? Support the two worlds by linking them with a giant tree. That is the only way to stop the destruction of the land. We need to awaken the giant Carlin tree. I get it. Lloyd, hurry! You have to shine the mana of Darius Carlon on the Great Seed before Darius Carlon is too far away. Okay. It took me a moment right, to, like, then. parse that. I'm counting on you, Eternal Sword. Darius yeah. Carlon is already at the edge of the gravitational field. Not even Yggdrasil. Mythos could stop this from happening. Ooh, DC. You saying it like that just makes me think of all the times that we've been in school. And, I'm, and you know, the, the classic case of, can I go to the bathroom? And the teacher's like, I don't know. Can you? Listen, you know what the hell I'm asking. Can we just not do this? Yeah. Okay, I, so I think, yeah. To explain it a little bit also, DC, just to make sure that we're clear on what happened. The worlds, Silver and Tetheala have been remerged. What they were trying to convey is there's no fucking giant, there's no fucking world tree, so there's no mana and the worlds are dying. You have to bind, bind them, bind them together by also 
reviving the great by also reviving the great seed. That's what they're getting at. Let's start that message. Do you still intend to try? We've been trying this whole time. What you mean? Yeah. Even strengthened by your exphere, it is likely that your body will not withstand the forces. Are you certain of your decision? I said I'm doing it, so I'm doing it. It's not like we have a choice. Very well. Lloyd is a good lad, and I appreciate him. Oh, that's awkward. It's not working. The man is being deflected. The great seed is already dead. Oh. Wait, don't What's go. This? Please wake up. Bro, what? Why does he have wings? Explain right now. Why does he have Lloyd wings? Lloyd Dexter was special. It's been said. Also, it may be eight mythoses, Precious Crystal. So you know. And this is the actual reason. Okay, I'm kidding. The I'm sort of kidding. Sword. This is sort of the reason why I had you do it. Thank goodness. Part of it was also just because it'd be funny. But... This is my final wish. Eternal sword. Please awaken the great seed. I beg you. Please wake up. Please. Rise, giant Carlon tree. But it's Tabitha. So there's a Tabitha. Adrian Heaven, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Wait, why is it going around? T <gasps> I just remembered something Mythos said. Which was? Tabitha looks so much like my sister. Mm-hmm. She was part of the plan. Sort of. Yeah. So, Tabitha was meant to be an artificial answer to the question of how do we incarnate Martell into a body, as opposed to using, like, Chosen, right? But the process was a failure. Or so they thought. So, well, let me see if they explain it or not. I forget if they do or don't properly, but if they don't, then I'm going to have to. I am Martell, and also the incarnation of the Great Seed itself, Lloyd. Your hope, as well as those of many others, resurrected me. So you're Mythos' sister? No, Mythos' sister, Martell, is only one of the many souls within me. Oh. I am Mana, and I am the giant tree. I am the symbol of the many lives sacrificed to the great seed. I am a new spirit born to accompany the giant tree. And now the seed has awakened anew along with me. Oh, 
Oh no. Thank you for the $20 donation as well. form of the giant tree but right now it is only a small seedling in its current state the tree will wither and die well then how do we protect it you must provide the tree with love and adoration as long as those conditions are met I shall always protect the seedling I promise if the tree ever starts to wither I'll make sure we won't let it die then Lloyd on behalf of all living things, I want you to give this tree a new name as a proof of the past. If you name it anything besides what I think, the giant I will fight you. The tree was planted here by the elves when they first came as a guardian to watch over and protect them. This newly reborn tree protects elves, humans, and the lives of all those who are caught in between. Therefore, this tree requires a new name. Don't. Don't do this. Lloyd, pick a name for us. You, there's only a one name. name. For everyone's tree. There's only one name. So this tree is the link that connects the world. Anna, I'll fight you. Okay, I got it. Don't. This tree's name is. Don't. I hate that. You're not gonna tell me what he named it? Do you really want to know what the name of the tree is? If it's I anything it but is. if it's anything but you drassel, I'll fight the world. You don't have to fight anybody, because that's what he named it. Good. I was gonna say, if this goes to anything besides Yggdrasil, I will uninstall this game and demand my hours back. <laughs> okay. So Oh god. I'm gonna that, 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 <laughs> Um I have very strong, potentially negative feelings about the sequel to this game because people are asking about that. The long and short of it is that they make it plot relevant as to why it wasn't spoken aloud then. And I'm going to leave it at that for right now. Again, Adrian Haven, thank you so much for the $20 donation. If you want that to go towards incentives for tomorrow, please let me or Ahmad know so that I can get those in queue and we can get everything set up. <laughs> Meta Knight, you're one of the people who asked. You know, are you gonna play this? It's not that good, but are you gonna play it? <laughs> Tales of Fantasia oh. sometime soon. So, kind of in line with the announcement that I made at the beginning of stream, the month of April and May is gonna be a lot more cozy. So we're doing charity fundraising right now for this weekend. The next week we're raising money for Thousand Dreams Fund for their broadcast her grants. And then April we're gonna do a lot more like probably working on speed running some community nights we'll probably play some genshin impact live on stream um probably do some stuff like risk of rain things like that and then i'm trying to get with a couple of other content creators and do some events too i forgot to mention as well i'm trying to get with zombie kills and do overcooked which will be probably super fucking fun <laughs> and then the month of may is going to be kind of all over as well because we're doing saint jude play live so RPGs and things like it, if that was the title of the bucket, are on pause until June because at the start of June, I am going to be moving to Colorado from this hellhole in the Midwest and I'll be taking two weeks off of stream. Once I'm situated and in my new place at Colorado, streams will resume and we, this is, it, this is hideous, streams will resume and we will jump right into uh, Bloodborne and then after Bloodborne, it's going to be back to open roster. So, but it seems to be that a lot of people are liking the RPG energy, which I didn't expect. I didn't expect. I usually do an RPG and then chase it with like two tryhard games. Yeah. Um, is it, okay? I mean, since Drew brought it up, um, is it okay if I self plug something real quick? Because it's it. sort of relevant. Go for so, it. So, I don't know when I'm going to be doing it, but I was doing a fundraiser for Black History Month. And one of the incentives was Viewer's Choice Tales Edition. And one of the options was Tales of Fantasia PlayStation 1 English Patch. Um, 
the community basically left it to me to break the tie. So at some point, potentially during this year, if I decide to shuffle around the order, I will be playing it on my channel. So if anybody is like really thirsty and they're like, I really want to see Tales of Fantasia for PlayStation 1, whatever the heck that is, um, at some point, either during this year or the next, I'll be playing it. It's on the docket. And Keen, thank you so much for the $10 donation as well. I appreciate you. Also, if you're not already following SJH Does Games, I just did exclamation point guest. Culinary, thank you for the $20 donation as well. Another 15 and I'll tackle on a fourth game to give away during our break. Um, please follow him. He does a lot of similar content that I do. And he talks about game design and development from an actual game depth perspective. I talk about it from a game consumer perspective. So we talk very much in sync about design, development, how things work in the gaming universe and how things can be improved or not so great or are extremely great. But again, I'm a consumer, he's actually a dev. Mm -hmm. Yep, so yeah, like I said, at some point, I can't say it'll come like right after, because right now I'm doing Sekiro Shadows Die twice. I'm not gonna say it's gonna come right after Sekiro. I had plans for Dragon Warrior Monsters, so depending on how I feel about what my current games list is like, I may reshuffle a couple of things and get Tales of Fantasia in there first, and then put my other Redemption in a little bit later in the year. We gotta see. That being said, if I had to take a wild guess for this community, once I'm done with Bloodborne, if I don't play Persona 4, I'm pretty sure my community will send the mob after me. Because I have Persona 4 Golden in my Steam library, and people are just like... So... And then Shin Megami Tensei just got announced as on Steam, finally. And... I, I'm morally obligated to buy that. And then I have someone else who bought me near Replicant. So... There's a lot of RPGs to pick from. As a matter of fact, if you're interested in the RPGs we've done and want to do on the channel, you can do exclamation point games and you can see the master roster of all the games that I've either played or plan on playing on stream. A lot of them are gonna be much more retro heavy. They're gonna be from the PS1, PS2, GameCube era. But I do on occasion play things that come out a lot more recently. <laughs> also, I love that they use the storyboard art for the closing art yeah it is a, it is a nice touch i don't think this was the way it was done in the original game either which is really nice oh that, ah. that was the rude scene oh why did they have to mm. Mm. okay thank you they switched because i was i was going to become extremely upsetty also i think it's a moral requirement that when you beat this for the first time you have to like lean into Colette. I couldn't imagine being the first time of this and not having Colette be chosen. Yeah. Oh, wait, there's more? Very... Yeah, epilogues. Oh, sorta. okay, got it. Oh my god, this girl's still wearing this outfit. Oh, <laughs> chosen one. No, grandmother. I'm not a chosen anymore. Were you... Oh, yes. Colette. Here for all of it? Were you here for my inmost playthrough? Made us all proud. Welcome home, Colette. It's good to be home, Father. Oh, are you just reading the list? I see. So, Kratos will travel with Deris Karlon wherever it may go. Yep. What are you going to do? Sorry to everybody that was having a dream of no. Lloyd's dads doing dad Lloyd's. things together. Nah, Kratos, this is like, I'm heading out. And then, yeah, when we go on break, we'll do the team stretch and we'll get something else to get parody about. We talked about board games earlier, so I'll see if I can find something else to talk about. Because a lot of my stuff, unfortunately, is packed. Hi, everyone. I'm back. Sheena. I'm so glad you're safe. Unnamed ninja. Congratulations, Sheena. And don't congratulate me yet. A whole new world lies before us now. We have to inform everyone about the revival of the Igaguri style. Yes, and for when Kuchinawa returns as well. Yeah, come on everyone. Let's work as hard as we can. We're gonna yeah, make the fuck village that of Izuho into a ninja clan to be proud of. Does she still get to See, keep all those packs? It's all because um, so far as I know, yes. Mouth and tried to banish me and stuff. The whole world got messed up. Well then, chosen one. What would you have me do? We'll send an emissary of peace to Isalia. Emissary? Who do you plan to send? 
How about Sheena from Mizuho? She's already involved. So the Emissary of Death becomes the Emissary of Peace. I won't let you say no. Until you do something about the Church of Martell, I still have the rights of the Chosen, remember? <laughs> I was like, using that flex to be like, now that we have motivation, Alicia, here's what we're going to do. I'm finally myself again. Yeah, so Look for anybody that wanted to... Th starting to flow again from that night mm -hmm. 16 years ago. And here's the confirmation if anybody you know needed what? it. I'm 28 years old now. Can you believe that? Were you talking with Alicia? Yes. I just got back from overseeing the destruction of part of the mine. Now that that's done, we can rest assured that no new X spheres will be excavated. That's good to hear. What are your plans now? I'm going to devote the full resources of my company to revitalization projects in order to build a new and better world. I'll help too. I'm sure Alicia and Daddy would have wanted me to. Are you really going to Darius, Carlon? If a half elf of the dreamer remains here, the other half elves <laughs> will have no place to live. As a surviving member of Crucius, I must bear the responsibility for what has happened. I'm going to collect all the X spheres remaining in this land. And I will discard all of Crucius's X spheres into space. And Mel, Amela, thank Drag you so much you for the twenty-five dollar donation. So that okay. puts us at four games. It's time for me to go. Please use that sword to Culinary, send us to Carla. Bye, Dad. Oh, what? Die before I do, Lord. My son. But who at Crucius is really gonna step to Kratos and be like, so let's talk about how you fucked this up. And it's like, are you, are you sure you're about that life? Ty, the RP guy, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. Thank you so much for all the new follows, the new subs, and all the lovely people who are joining us this fine Friday as we finish up Mom, Tales of Symphonia. Dad left. However, it was okay, wasn't it? For me to let him go? We're gonna give away some it was stuff. Okay, right? Lloyd, you wanted to go with him, didn't And you? then we're gonna jump into um, that side quest. Follow. And dad has his. And besides, I have a dad here already. Is he? Then I won't see anymore. Mom. I'll leave Dad's sword here beside you. I need the artwork. Well, I'm off. I need the artwork. Where is it? Of what? The sword at the gravesite. I need the artwork, please. Where is it? <laughs> I would like to see it. I know it's out there. Oh, and they can even see Colette waiting there, Quincy's. You can have this artwork, though. Okay, so don't. So give it a second. There's no the cuffs! He doesn't have cuffs on! Do you see it? There's no cuffs! <laughs> Sorry. What were you saying? Yeah, no. Nope. I was saying once the give it a second after you may have to press a button. Um, yep. So you want to save this game completion data in a separate slot from all the other stuff? Yeah. There we go. It took a moment. So this is still the file of that night. What I'm going to do, my safety save that I always do is I do it like really far down. But since I have all the space in the world, it looks like, let's go down to, let's go to 40. Look at how much shorter Colette is than Lloyd. Yeah. So that's Tales gonna... of Symphonia. I got yeah. achievement. Yeah. I got achievement. And is saying, I'm not gonna lie, Crowd of his last line being "Don't die before me." It's hard for some reason, and it's an evolution of a thing that he's been saying to Lloyd throughout the whole game. If you remember very carefully, when it comes to Lloyd, he has often said "Don't die," and now it has evolved to "Don't die before I do, Lloyd, my son." How long are these tracks, though? This sucks because I can't click out and leave this on. Yeah, oh, they shortened the names of some of these tracks too. Because Isalia's <laughs> is called Old Familiar Scent of Isalia, specifically. 106? I would have been listen. here forever. Yeah, listen, Motoi Sakuraba put his foot in this soundtrack. Listen, that's the best way to do it though. 
the people who put their foot in it, it shows. I mean, the Final Fantasy VII Remake being on Spotify, people are just like, how are there so many tracks for this game that's only like one-fifth of the main game? And it's like, oh, don't step back for a second and think about that. That's how many tracks are in there for the first fifth of the game. So when they go and make the second part, there's going to be more tracks. I really like watching Tales of Games. I see someone play it often. Um, we just beat it. And so here's what we're going to do. We're going to do our four giveaways. I have to send out this emergency message because it's family oriented. Mm -hmm. Because of course, Bye. this is the way that the world ebbs and flows, right? You get really good news on your side, which means it has to be counteracted by some really shit tier news. And um, I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, words giveaway up and going. Oh, I'm really notorious about resetting this shit. Um, Funny enough, I'm wearing a long red sleeve shirt right now and black pants. Sound familiar to anybody we know? I'm going to punch you in your mouth. I'm going to beat you up. <laughs> Sending love, PT. Hope your family is okay. I'm going to be real honest with you, Keen. The news I got definitely points the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. I am... I am taking it okay because the phase of being sad and crying I was exposed to maybe about two months ago. And now we're on that unfortunate track of, okay, here's what we're doing. So. Yeah. It's, mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm going to go handle this. I. Yep. With every passing moment that I have to do stuff like this, I am reminded more and more that I am my father's child because I can almost guarantee you that my dad got the same message and is making the exact same face I'm making right now, just being like, <sighs> all right, in the middle of a fucking Palmacosta to boot. I'm gonna put this up for three minutes. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put this up for yep. three minutes. I'm also going to, okay, good. The other things are in place. Type charity in chat for the first giveaway. And then I will be back in three to get the second one going. We have four giveaways that we're doing because we did a freebie from last stream, 75, 150, and 225. So every $75 that we get for charity, we will be doing another game key giveaway. And we're $15 away from the first major giveaway of a $50 Dry at Tea gift card. So if you've been wanting to buy stuff from Dry at Tea using my 10% off code, but you've been a little bit strapped for that cash, I'll help you with that. So I'll be right back, everybody. Yep. Um, I'll hold it down with chat. All right, thank you. He needs, needs the restroom real quick. Alrighty, chat. Sorry about that. <laughs> Had to use the restroom. So, that's Tales of Symphonia. Um, a lot of people who... This is not the first Tales game that ever... Um, thank you for the welcome back, Haldanen. This, so this is not the first Tales game that ever got released um, stateside. Alright, take care to Dreamer. But for a lot of people... Especially those people that are probably around my age, give or take. Um, this was probably their first major one. This was my first major Tales game. Um, as you can see, <laughs> or those of you that have been around for a while and have been here for this game, it is extremely heavy, but... Um, like we've like both Nessa and I have said, this game is like very upfront about how it discusses its themes and 
how certain things really are when it just comes down to it. It's like, listen, like life is hard and living is hard, but there is a way to go forward and there is a way to not. And um, this game does, I think, a very good job of addressing these things um, head on and also does a very good job of kind of talking about um, of acknowledging the complexity of doing the right thing, but also at the same time acknowledging that when you know what's right and what's not right, then you have a responsibility to do the right thing, even when it's hard. And that if you can't, then the consequences thereof... Yeah, MP, we basically, we, 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 we went up to the boy, we went up to the lad and said, I bet you don't buck though, and we basically punched the shit out of him. Um, by like a lot. But we are gonna probably hit up at least a little bit of some sort of like cleanup and potentially some post new game stuff. Um, once things once Nessa gets back, so but yeah, no, we we, we, we boxed we boxed we boxed very hard. And yeah, from a gameplay perspective, I think this was the first RPG I'd ever played that was actually an action RPG in any way, shape or form. Um, and for the most part, when it comes to it, the Tales series more or less, I'm not going to say has a monopoly on action RPG systems, but a lot of the times when you are looking at RPG systems that have, or action RPG systems that have generally endured the test of time, Tales games are basically, are basically it. Like it is, at least in my personal opinion, very difficult to find action RPGs that have the formula as solid as most Tales games do. It is very, very difficult. So like, and this is not me like knocking like Dragon Age. This is not like me, this is not like me knocking Dragon Age or anything, but like Dragon Age 2 and 3, well, Dragon Age 2 and Inquisition Okay, it's not fair to compare them because they are aiming for different things in the action, in like the action-ish space. But I feel like what most Tales games generally do a very good job of doing that not a lot of other action RPGs do is giving a real sense of like grounding and context to sort of why you're doing the things that you're doing. And it doesn't do it with some exceptions, it doesn't do it in a way that involves like a lot of like developing down like really obnoxious tech trees and everything like that. Um, Tales games are generally very good at kind of like, all right, yo, you want an action RPG? We got you. And these are the rules. It works pretty straight up like this. Just roll with it. And it's not a lot of like fussing around with like tech trees, with like um, with like skill trees and a bunch of other stuff that tends to piss people off. Ooh, For the most so part, Tales games are like very straightforward about how you roll with that and how you kind of work with that. And that's why people are like, I'm new to action RPGs. What should I play? Eight times out of ten, I'd give them a Tales game. I'm like, go play Tales of Symphonia. Um, or like, I just want to point out that the TBG said something that just kind of hit my heart. My first action RPG was Dot .hack. And on one hand, I'm like, yay! And on the other hand, I'm like, ooh. Because as someone who's played Dot .hack, I remember playing the first one and being like, that was fun. This is great. And then getting to the second one and being like, this is literally a carbon copy. There's mm -hmm. not even like different mechanics. What are we doing? Yeah. What are we doing? Also, Tales games typically give people on the other side of the argument can have a point and are worth talking a time to consider. Even if you think they're wrong, they have their own motivation. And sometimes it makes sense. Oh, yeah. I think I'm going to go and pick this first winner. I'm going to pick the first one. And the first winner is... It's DC. Uh... Oh, I bet you I could get a mod to track that. If you could write that down for me. The way that this works, if you're a new winner in today's giveaways, or any of the charity giveaways next week as well, is I'm going to run it for three minutes. That gives you an opportunity to enter and get a chance to win. When I'm finished with stream, if you're in the Discord, I will message you with the master list of games that you can pull from, and then you can just pick a game from the list. We have a little bit of everything. I've given away shooters, racing games, RPGs, JRPGs, KRPGs, platformers, 
Uh, every now and again, someone from a gaming company blesses me and gives me a bunch of keys from their catalog. So there's a little bit of everything. So don't be afraid to enter if you think that, you know, there's not going to be something there for you. I think it's safe to say we have a little bit of something for everyone. So we're going to reset. And then we're going to open it up again. We're going to open it up again. Again, type charity in chat for a chance to win that free key. And I want to talk a little bit too about the Tales of Game. I saw a couple of people saying, thank you for playing this game. It's like one of their favorites. It's a really good feels thing. It really brought back nostalgia. For this to be a first predominantly cold playthrough, I really enjoyed this. And even though like the elements of the story and everything were extremely heavy, it was handled so well, so, so very well. Because it does, uh, as somebody was just, as Dragon Crest was just saying, for massive typos in that comment, you read my, oh, that's fine. You should see my Twitter. It's a typo disaster. I love doing my threads and it's like, oh, half of this is misspelled. Great. Um, you should hear me in reading time. I mispronounce things constantly. So um, it handles it really well. And it does a good job, Dragon Crest, of what you were kind of saying, where like it does the both sides thing. But it doesn't do the po both sides thing where it's something particularly egregious. Like we see in real time all the time where it's just like, oh, well, both sides are bad. And it's like, eh, that's not true. And here for it, thank you so much for the $15 donation. We're going to go ahead and slap on that gift card as well if you're interested in some dryad teas. And I'll get that to you at the end of the, ch uh, the, end of the charity, <clears throat> the end of the stream this evening if you're the winner. <laughs> Also, if you want certain things for tomorrow, please let me or Ahmad know so we can log it. So, you see oftentimes in the activism space, people come through and they say things like, oh, well, both sides are bad. And it's like, yeah, but what you're getting at isn't quite correct because you're trying to say that black people peacefully protesting and just wanting to not be, you know, more or less brutalized by law enforcement is the same as someone who did the nonsense that they did Monday. And those are not equivalent issues in any way, shape or form. Mm -hmm. Me wanting to not be shot and being upset that someone hit me over saying that is not the equivalent of someone being like, I just dislike this race and this gender, ergo I'm going to kill them. That's not how that works. But this does a really good job of being like, if you're gonna play the both sides thing, this is how it has to be pretty much presented. Because Mythos' whole mindset, it's very trackable, it's very straightforward, it's very, very understood. But you can still see all of that and be like, now here's why all of this is still wrong. This is still wrong. You don't get to say, I'm marginalized and I dealt with some shit, Ergo, I get to destroy the world. That's not how that works. You 100% can hold on to that anger. You should. I would never ever say you can't. But like, you gotta be mindful too of the fact that does the means justify the ends? You're upset -y, therefore you get to be a jerk. No, that's not, that's not how that goes down. Yeah, not even once here yeah. for and that's what cal Donnan said earlier here uh said hill for all of it is just straight up oh he was having a bad day baby miss me every day that i wake up and i have to exist in a super republican state i have a bad day mm -hmm. that's everything from being mortified that my plate stuff isn't here yet so i'm gonna get pulled over that's being mortified that i'm gonna have some person show up and touch my hair without my permission and just disregarding my autonomy that's everything from microaggressions to being straight up called the n-word but like i don't get to use all of that to justify so that's why i'm gonna go shoot up a place <laughs> that's not yeah. that no yeah that's all i can and leave I, that at is just no yep yeah. and i know i said it before but i'll say it again it's like regardless of these things you have to accept that the things that you and this is something else that the game also talked about right where it's like even if your intentions are good you sometimes just have to accept that the things that you do sometimes will be a fuck up you will have fucked up lloyd fucked up like okay let me put it like this in and this is because when Sefi was playing this game earlier someone on her stream tried to kind of come at her with the well if the people from the village didn't do didn't like preserve their treaty with the human ranch then blah 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 what happens like listen 
<laughs> in no circumstance was what the mayor agreed to the right thing to do. The motherfucker really should have fought. Would the consequence have been okay? Us being fighting the designs means that we're going to get hurt and die? Yes, but that is sort of the consequence of the decision that you have to, of the decision that sometimes you have to make, where it's like, okay, either we do this and we can live in peace, but is it really fine if that peace is bought on I the use. bodies of other people? And the answer is no. And Lloyd, even though he didn't intend to, sort of wound up stumbling into that. And he's like, yeah, um, I got to do what is right. And then I have to accept that so long as I'm willing to accept where I failed, then I go forward. But I go forward, right? Mm -hmm. And so I appreciate that he, even though he's like, listen, I don't want to endanger people. But at the same time, it's like, well, but these ranches can't stay like this because people are suffering. It's difficult. And though he's like, fuck it, I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. And I think there's important conversation and discourse to be had too about, well, but Vanessa or Sefi or whatever marginalized person who perpetually gets bombarded with this nonsense because it always is us that gets bombarded with it. Why do you think it's okay that like these people died and all this other stuff? And it's like, but we never said that that's okay. Like that's the part where it gets misinterpreted. And Kaldana, you need to speak up and chat if you want this game. <laughs> I picked the winner while this is all going. But yeah, it's like, we never said that that's acceptable. That's the thing. Like, there's a difference between this is a consequence and this is terrible and we need to strive to not get that outcome and this is going to be the payment for my anger. Those two things are not synonymous. And ideally, we want to strive for solutions that, you know, don't cause those kinds of problems. But at the same time, if you're aware of the type of world and stuff you live in, you realize that the lines are going to cross and you have to be able to swallow and deal with that. We kind of had this conversation too when I played uh, The Last of Us 2 on stream, which first and foremost was a really mediocre ass game at best. But then secondly, had a lot of problems in it with representation of trans people, representation of Jewish people. Was snuggling my kitty and missed the bot. Oh, you're fine. Um, representation of even all sorts of other stuff. But the reason I played it on stream was explicitly to get where I am right now. And I don't endorse any of that shit because it's shit. But it really puts you in that position of having to think about, okay, but what's the correct path forward? Because I have my sponsors and all that other stuff now. And it's because I was willing to take that specific L. Now, I'm grateful that it was that L and not like the Cyberpunk 2077 L. Because, yo, if I had to take an L for that, I, mm. Mm. that that's a rough one. That would have been a Golly. rough one. I was up there. It was up for so many Game of the Year awards. And I'm like, no, the story is there. But this was not a good game. And even then, I would like kind of sort of low-key argue the story because that was a very very milk toast interpretation of revenge is bad don't do revenge circles i'm gonna go ahead and put the spicy but probably still like medium warm take on the table mm -hmm. the last of us two wishes it could have a lesson about revenge and hurting people as good as tales of symphonia did oh yeah i was just about to say like you can look Prisea and Regal's arc is a microcosm of revenge and what that shit does. And it is already, probably for most people, going to be ten times more memorable and better than whatever The Last of Us 2 was on about. Because mm -hmm. it's like, okay, both... I'm not going to go too deep into the spoilers, but like... Both of the people involved in that in The Last of Us 2 just wound up doing some heinous, gross shit. And it's like... And I guess your point, I guess the, I guess Druckmann and team's point was like, well, like, well, okay, yeah, we can both do gross shit. And in the end, you both kind of feel empty, but it's like, yeah, except Tales of Symphonia did this like 15 plus years ago already. You fucks. And they did it better. Yeah. As it turns out, you don't need to show people being mutilated to tell a serious story. That part too. Like that was really just a lot of, um, just trauma exploitation and i was not a fan of that either like as someone who you know can deal with a lot of things and stuff by the way i just put it in chat as well the next giveaway is open so type charity in chat for the next giveaway key we've got two more we're going to give away and then we're going to do the dryad tea pool by the way 
if you're staying out of the actual like game key giveaway specifically because you want to try for dryad t you can do both don't be afraid that if you do one you're excluded from another i usually only do that when it comes to things like winning a yeti or winning the headsets because those are like high ticket items but the dryad t stuff i can go get dryad t gift cards i mean hell i'll throw down money myself for dryad t gift cards yeah um, Brandy, we're gonna be giving away a gift card um, after not this, not the next giveaway, but the one after that. But yeah, yeah, like this did a much better job of talking about the circular process that is hatred, revenge, and being upsetty and never being satisfied. And the other thing about it is not only did it kind of go into that conversation with multiple characters, no less, they each reached a resolution that didn't require them to be like, okay, but I still want to hit people. Like, they reached the resolution and said, I am upset about it. I am not required to forgive you. That is not mm -hmm. mandatory. You are not owed that from me. I am not required to be friendly and kind when I talk about it. But I understand that that's for me and me only. And it's not mm -hmm. fair for me to be like, so guess I'm going to go body you instead. You know, yeah. like... The Ravenclaw boys, the last of us two, really, really leaned into the violence and the gratuitous gore. Yeah, like, it just really leaned into the whole thing where it's like, you, spoilers for people who haven't played it and don't want to know this, and I'm so sorry in advance. I, I can't believe that you killed Joel. Guess I'm gonna go murk your entire camp, and guess I'm gonna kick this puppy and do all these other heinous things, and it's like, this is not... <laughs> this is not making any flavor of point whatsoever. Yep. And then for you to make all that build up about how Ellie just hates... Oh, God, what's the girl's name? I Abby. can't think... Ah, thank you. Ellie hates Abby so much. You ended the game with her just casually deciding randomly in one scene to be like, actually, no, I'm not going to do it. You could have had that takeaway so many other times. So many other times. And then to penalize her further by making her lose her girlfriend and her baby over it? No. No, miss me with this garbage because that's exactly what that is. Yeah. That's garbage. Uh, we're going to yeah. pick a winner. We're going to pick a winner. And that winner is Base. Hey, Base, where you at? Oh, yeah, Brandy. The whole, the whole revenge exploitation thing in Last of Us 2 was really, really bad. And Tales of Symphonia is a game from 2004. Hey, Base. Is a game from 2004 that we just beat on stream that does a literally exponentially better job of handling that whole conversation. Mm -hmm. Handling that whole conversation. Right. Because in an idea... <sighs> I wish y'all could see my face so that you can understand that I am like... My, my face is making contortions because it's like... Devil's Advocate is gross, and I hate using that term, so I don't, I'm not even going to say it. But supposing that The Last of Us 2 was trying to sort of actually demonstrate really fast, the point Really fast, next of... giveaway is open. I just want to say that. Next giveaway is open, type charity in chat. Please continue. Mm -hmm. Even if you wanted to be gracious towards The Last of Us 2 and say that it's trying to convey the message of, well, if you're going to seek revenge, dig two graves, right? Like, you could... <sighs> almost oh god it's disgusting me saying this you could almost say that it's like okay it almost demonstrates that but then the problem is that yeah because of the gratuitousness and the cruelty of it it's more like a well, what, what was the point and whereas with tales it's like listen if you really want to see how revenge has unmade a person and has ruined everything about their life and their existence and their everything you literally just look at the villain and that's it like, it's not a thing where, it's not a thing where both the protagonist and the villain both fall into it in their way of, like, trying to demonstrate, yeah, this is why, because now it's destroyed both of them. It's like, no, we let, we let it destroy the villain as a demonstration of, like, this is why you have to rise above that kind of thing. And I don't mean it in the sense of, like, like you were saying, Nessa, it's not, not a matter of, like, oh, okay, you know, it's just like easy peasy forgiveness. Like I can still be upset with you about this, but for the sake of like my own not destroying myself, I'm gonna have to let this shit go. Because y'all, y'all saw it. Mythos 
4,014 years old, and this motherfucker, as much as I feel for him, could not let go of that shit. His sister even said to him, listen, I know this has burned you up, and you hate these motherfuckers, and you are hurting right now, and I understand that. I love you, Four little brother. Left. Please. Like, please, little brother, just don't, don't do this. And what, like, just, just try to forgive them and to move forward. And what does he do? Not that. Mm -hmm. For 4,000 years. Mm -hmm. And he went from being literally the hero and savior of the world to a fash despot. And then eventually, basically a broken child saying, I would have done all this shit all over again if I had to. Again, no better than exactly the people that he hated so fucking much. This is the same energy, like I said before, of people who are just like, well, why don't you try talking to them? And it's like, it's okay to look at some of this stuff and say, this is too far gone. This is too, 4,000 years, bro? Nah, that's, that's cemented. And, and he's actively, proudly saying he'd do it again? No, nah, that's cemented. I, I am not, I'm not going to do this thing. By the way, Mollus, where you be? Um, I'm not going to do this thing where it's going to become my task to undo this clownery. No. And the thing about it that makes me especially incensed in both his case and cases like it, uh, Mollus and Monsters, where you be? Is that it always falls back to the people who are trying to fix the clownery uh, from that to magically extend the olive branch. And I want it to be super duper clear. It is 100% okay to look and be like, but this is not my doing. This is not my fault. I didn't set this up. I didn't make this mess. I'm not the one who said this is, oh, you're fine. I am not the one who said this is all cash money. So why is it now all of a sudden my responsibility to make sure they feel better? Girl, what? No. No. Oh, and thank you so much, Keen. I'm actually writing it down too, and I know that uh, probably SJ is doing it because he's usually pretty good about it. And if not, that's not a call out. Um, I'm handling it, boss. <laughs> were you doing it or were you not? It's fine if you. No, are. I know I am doing it. It's oh, okay. just that I forgot to get the last two, so. That's fine. I'm doing it. Reminded me to throw throw them in in the spot, so I got it. Okay, cool. We're gonna do one more giveaway, and this is for. Keep your ears perked up and everything, because this is for some Dryad tea. Again, this is a $50 gift card. Um, Her prices, her, there, there. Their prices are comparable enough that that should get you several flavors all sent to your doorstep. Or you can be like me and drop $80 on a pound of tea that you really like. I bought a pound of the Selkie, please help me. Um, um, let's do, let's do tea. So again, $50 gift card on the line. Listen, the amount of tea I drink is absurd. My dentist yelled at me, y'all. I had to go back. I got my teeth cleaned and like literally it was one of those things where she dragged me, but it was the gentle drag. You know which one I'm talking about. The one like where people are talking to you and then all of a sudden they just say in that same tonality a drag and you're supposed to not catch it. And then you do and you're like, oh my God, you just called me out like that. And she's cleaning my teeth and she was like, hmm, so do you drink a lot of tea? And I was like, yeah, I do. And she's like, you drink a lot of green tea? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, hmm, okay. And it took me a minute and I was like, did you just call me out? And she was like, yeah, your teeth are stained. And I'm like, what the fuck? Can you maybe not? You already got the sharp pointy thing going ham in the gums. You ain't got to come for my edges, too. Do you see this? Match. Do you see this? I already look. People already think I don't have edges, okay? And I do. But, like, can you at least keep them intact? I worked hard to grow these back out. I need those. Are people going to think I got receded hairline? It goes with the aesthetic of you're not 35. I have to keep the illusion. By the way, the giveaway is mm -hmm. open. Type T in chat. But yeah, she came for me. It was like your teeth are your teeth are stained, and I'm like, <laughs> but why? Why did you assault me like this? I how how dare you? 
How dare indeed. And she was like, but the rest of your stuff is really good. For you to have periodontal disease, your teeth are great. And I'm like, D thanks. Oof. Thanks. No, but my teeth are actually in really good shape. I do have to go get a deep cleaning before we get out of here. I'd rather do that anyway, just to make sure I don't have any like tartar buildup hiding in places that I don't need it to. But yeah, she came for me. Mm -hmm. And she was like, you you drink a lot of tea. And since that moment, let me tell you, my tea intake has reduced so much. I'm just like, <laughs> damn. Is mm -hmm. it really? And I'm like in my mirror looking at it going. Ain't nothing coming off. Is, she, is it really that bad? <laughs> I'm sitting there like scratching my tooth. Trying to see if anything comes off. I'm just like, fuck. Wow. Ah. <laughs> But I still drink yeah. tea. Don't sleep on it. I still drink tea. Me and my dentist said I need to make sure I brush all the way at my wisdom teeth when I told them I wasn't going to pay them to take them out. Yeah. Mm. Oof. Again, never forget this image. <laughs> I'm upset. But yes, there's one oh. minute left on the giveaway. Type tea in chat. For a chance to win that $50 gift card, you too can have some green tea stained teeth. Mm -hmm. And also, yes, and I did see your comment. All of that is true. Yes. Oh, what was the comment? Um, it was back on the subject of, you know, us griping about, you know, mythos doing mythos things. But basically, everyone can be redeemed. But do we have, one, a place removed enough? Hang on a second. Dad, damn it. That made it move. Um, two resources enough, three enough of a lifetime to change them because at some point all of those resources would be better spent somewhere else. Yes, yeah, like basically, and I guess also, I appreciate also that the game doesn't really shy away from the fact that, for example, Mother Fratos, it's not like he goes like, oh, I had nothing to do with this. Like, it's like, no, this is pretty much my fault insofar as how this turned out. Because I was still there with Mistos after Martel died. And I could have done something about this, but I, I fucked up and I dropped the bag. And I'm I'm sorry about that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's like, mm, mm -hmm. you better, you fuck. And then when we talk about things like the path to redemption, let me pick this winner real fast. Kaldana, you just gonna flex on them like that? You just go dunk on everybody like that? How dare you? To quote, to quote our friend Balrog in Street Fighter V, you're on double! <laughs> right. When we talk about things like the path to redemption, people need to understand that the path to redemption, or path to redemption, is something that has to be pursued by the person who needs to take the path. And so I think comparing Kratos to Mythos is a very good example because Kratos does not hide the fact that some of the stuff that he did is fucked up. Ooh, that was horrible. That wasn't much better. Um, he doesn't hide the fact that the stuff that he did is messed up, but he doesn't relish in it and pretend that it's okay technically. He looks at it straight up in the face in front of everyone and says, what I did was messed up. What I did was misleading. And yes, it is jacked up that some of the things that happened, I had to do it that way. And that was hurtful. This is my fault. I own this. And now I'm going to work on doing better. That is what a path to redemption looks like. And he has accepted that Lloyd doesn't have to like him. Lloyd doesn't have to communicate with him. He's posted in Darius Carillon. Lloyd doesn't have to come up and visit him, and he's ready for that life. He gets that. That's a whole different conversation than trying to offer up a path of redemption to Mythos when he makes it clear that he doesn't even want it. Mm -hmm. And that's something that I see often in the activism, uh, activism space too. 
is people being like, but they'll never get a path to redemption if you're so mean about it. And it's like, these people do not want a path to redemption because if they did, they wouldn't still be in these problematic circles. They wouldn't still be doing problematic things. Like we have people, I'm not gonna name any particular celebrities and stuff, but you could probably piece them together as I talk about it. We have plenty of people who come out and do stuff that is like plenty homophobic, plenty anti-trans, plenty misogynistic and still get deals and stuff and then when they make those stances and get dragged for them there's always this gaggle that wants to show up and be like but they'll never get on the path of redemption if you don't give them a chance and it's like we don't have to give them a chance they have to be willing to actually go out and do the thing <laughs> it is not required for me to my participation in their redemption is not mandatory mm-hmm <laughs> It is not necessary. They have to choose to get on that path of redemption. They have to do that. That they don't need my blessing. They don't need my aid. They don't need my strategy guide. They need to just get up off their butt and go do it. Yep. And then they also have to accept that this may mean that they are never forgiven. Because that's just that's just the way that it is. And I as someone who is like chronically afraid of fucking up one of the things that i've been that i've been working with with myself to accept is that like if and when it happens there may be some people who then decide nah man i'm not fucking with you because like this thing that you did was disgusting and that's that and even if you are sorry like i i can't trust you anymore i may not like that i may hate that that may put me up a wall but it is what it is and i have to i gotta carry that weight Mm -hmm. I have to carry that weight. Mm -hmm. And if I'm not, and if I'm too busy thinking, but I'm sorry, you should forgive me, then what that effectively means is, okay, so here's the thing. I was going to say, if you want, the long and short of it is that if we go backwards from here, there's some there's some cookies we can pick up in the castle that make going backwards. I thought you were still doing. Did. I thought you were still talking about your point. I didn't realize you pivoted back to me. I was just I, gonna. Because start... I saw you moving. Because I saw you moving. That's why. No, it's fine. <laughs> I was just gonna go back downstairs. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say be careful about how far how far back you go downstairs because um, basically if you actually want to get back out to the wider world, mm. you're gonna have to go through all those maps of Darius Carlon. But there is a way in the castle to get a thing that enables a shortcut. Oh, okay. So let me finish my point, and then I'll help guide you for that. Okay. But yeah, I, I've accepted, and I, I'm continually paranoid about that. But like, that's the fact of the matter. It's like, if I fuck up, and somebody decides, all right, I'm not fucking with, I'm not fucking with SG anymore. Mm -hmm. Like, that's it. We're done. No matter how I feel about that, I have to accept that that's that person's prerogative, mm -hmm. and I'm just gonna have to go on without it. And maybe one day they will look back, and they'll be like, all right. Maybe I can fuck with this dude again. And maybe they won't. And as much as I hate that, life is. It's what it is sometimes. And you just... It, and being dedicated to redeeming yourself means that you have to accept that. Because if you refuse to accept that, and you're on this path of, because I said I am sorry, you must accept me back in. That is proof that you never actually really cared about being a better person in the first place you just wanted you just wanted your flashback the fuck you basically god all right what are we doing because we only got a little okay. bit of time okay so i'm not sure if we'll be able to get all of it we can try but the long and short of it is if you try to go back to the world outside of there like to silveron and tepeala mm. as it is right now you have to walk back all the way through Darius carlon mm. and all that other bullshit mm. so we can do some stuff in the castle that will let us skip directly back to the Tower of Salvation okay. and then to Vin Vinheim. So we have to go back into Vinheim first. Oh, wait. So I need to go up here. Yes. I'm porting. Okay. I'm going to try to... Okay. So are you fine if we only grab cookies on the way? Yeah, that's Basically, fine. this place is really fucking big. So I'm just going to try to point you directly to exactly where we need to go. And if you see cookies, you can grab them as you need. Okay. Okay. Right side of the castle and through the door. I'm going to the right side, and is there more than one door? No. Through the door, let's go. Yeah, okay, let's see. Da -da -da -da, lowest angel 
if you kill that angel that doesn't move, then you get energy, then there's a chest on a higher level. Um, damn. Yeah, this dude is just guiding me through all this shit. Okay, hang on a second. It's fine. Just, we can beeline it. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out the best way to do all this shit. Because, um, it looks like you go, it looks like we're going, hang on, hang on. Fuck, hold on. Okay. Um... So, okay, go up the stairs. Okay. It's gonna take me a second because I'm trying to piece through all the stuff that has nothing to do with cookies, and okay. it's hard. Um... Okay. Um... Okay, go up the stairs here again, I think. Okay. Glad I could be here for the finale, but I have to run. Have a good evening, PT and SJ. Thank you so much, Kane, for hanging out. Thank you for your generosity and helping out with my campaign for Gamers Outreach. It is greatly appreciated, and I hope you have a good rest of your evening. All the way up the stairs? Uh, yeah, up. Let's go up the stairs and then to the left and see if we can figure some shit out. Hang on. I can yeah. fix that a little bit. Time out. Okay, there's no stairs over here, I assume. We might have to box some nerds, though. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, so we're gonna run. Yeah, we're gonna run across the top here to like the left side of the castle. Shit. See y'all tomorrow. Yeah. Back had to drive. How was the finale? It was great. It was absolutely wonderful, and we talked about a lot of stuff that is important in these conversations. And uh, now we're back to do side quest stuff. We're back to do side quest stuff. Oh, that was my mess up. I dropped my old combo. There we go. Okay. Yep. Let's go across. Okay. God damn it. I was hoping I could get around some of them. More enemies. What is it? That man sounds like he's being boxed up. Sure hate that for you. Poor Rain, by the time she's done with all her, like, buffing, we're gonna have murdered everyone. Oh yeah, that man dead. I was like, I was gonna get over there, that man gonna be real dead. Super dead. Yep. Mm. Alright, what we got? Yeah, and then, um, I think into this door. Which I'm... door does too? Sorry, the one right in front of you. Okay. Down to the left, yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's try to find a room in here and see if there's somebody to beat up. I'm super heavily winging it. We don't want to go upstairs. Go into this room and let's see something here. Open that chest. What's in there? Okay, blah blah blah, shield, ring. Okay, let's see. You got a couch in here with a table and six chairs, like why? Okay, try going upstairs. Okay. Whoop! Yeah, I'm basically trying to fuck around until we find this thing called the pass stone. Yeah, try this room. Open this, open this one up. Okay, demons steal. And thank you so much for the alert, culinary. I appreciate you. Mm-hmm. So go around here. God damn it. Not much of a specimen. <laughs> damn! I shoulder checked him all the way, or her, all the way across the room. Those shoulder checks are rude. Right. Is it sad that I'm looking at these enemies and going, I gotta stop because I don't have a hit confirm? <laughs> Please help me. I'm hit confirming. I thought y'all were almost done. So technically speaking, Blanca Ball, we are done. But now we're purposely going through the castle because, like all true JRPGs, one does not simply beat the boss and walk away. There's always 970 things to do before you beat the boss. 
and this is a dead end. Ah, fuckles. Yeah, shit. We might have to go through this slow ass way then. Yeah, we're gonna have to go work. Let's go. So let's go work our way back over to the right side of the castle and go beat up some motherfuckers. Because we gotta find this thing called. Basically, the long and short care. of it is that in order to get the shortcut, we have to get this past stone, this present stone, and um, this other thing. And once we get all that, then that gives us a shortcut back. Because the alternative is to walk through Darius Kalon, and it's like, I don't. You don't. You, I don't want that for us. And nobody, yeah. That was like, I don't like that. And not a problem, Malus. Thank you so much for the lurk. I appreciate you. Side quests and secrets are what make the game so fantastic. Oh yeah, because what we're gonna do is tomorrow's gonna be Hades, and then Tuesday we're gonna do more side questing while we raise money for Thousand Dreams funds, and that's gonna be our front page. So front page is gonna get more of that Black Ace gal playing them JRPGs, and I hope the Twitch world is ready. Twenty-three thousand something odd people rolling through. Real big weeb energy. Who up? Who is up? Um, let me see here. Yeah, because we already went into... Yeah, we went into that. both of these sides. Yeah. And then we went into the room on the left over here already, right? Correct. Yeah. So, yeah, let's go... Let's go up these stairs. Okay. Right in front of you, and then back across. Yeah, I'm not looking at the guy right now. Back across us into the... Um... Oh, the... Wait, is that bridge. a door over there? Or am I imagining No, that? that's the same door that we did. That okay. went up the stairs. So are you excited yeah. for the re-release of Try Hard RPG SMT3? I've never played a Shin Megami Tensei. Yeah, let's try going into this one. Not um, even once. Yeah, fuck. I don't, yeah, we're gonna be lost for a hot second, aren't we? Okay, hold That's on a second. Enter. Okay, hang on. Go down. Down. Okay, so from one flight of stairs down from the way that we entered. Mm-hmm. If there's a door, one flight of stairs down, go into that one, and let's see if there's an angel in there. Yeah, this one? Nope, fuck. Okay. Go. Ah, yeah, this is the beginning. Fuckles. Yeah. That's fine. I'm um, keeping track of- Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't touch me, dog. Who would build a castle like this? Everything looks the same and all the pathways are winding. Mythos is a piece of shit. There's your- there's your- there's your answer. Next. Okay. Blue shield. I was doing so well dodging too. Enemies. Yeah, damn. Maybe we should have just gone with where we can still follow the guide and have it loop us back around that way. Because that's probably the least confusing way to figure out where the fuck the other stone is. We just gotta grab we just gotta grab cookies on the way, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. I was trying to be I was trying to be cute, but I can't decode the bullshit enough. Oh, well, I was gonna say, you might be better off just beelining through the guide as it is. Because even though. Oh, damn, she's got overlimit. Because even though it's gonna have us pit stop and grab stuff, I think they'll still serve as like strong landmarks. Yeah. Alright, so, so then. Go back to the ground floor. Um, so, probably this exit coming up mm -hmm. right here. Mm -hmm. And then go back to the right side of the castle. Mythos ain't got room for style because he's too full up on fascism. <laughs> I mean, right though? Okay, so let's see here. I'm picking this dude. Yeah. Hit I'm this picking. motherfucker. And then after you hit him... Oh, okay. I'm here to box. I would like one box, please. Oh, can you scan that dude? Actually, I'm in the item, so I was about to go eat a uh, lemon gel. I don't think we have horns, bro. And now I need to eat some, uh, some, some, uh, what is it? Gummy bears. <laughs> Come on. Why the hell am I dropping this all of a sudden? There we go. Ooh, body. <laughs> These are really gummy bears? Oh yeah, those are totally gummies. They're 100% gummies. Are you kidding me? Um, so that goes up here. What's that box? Um, I forget what's in there. Oh, okay. But yeah, we want to go into here and grab the energy tablets out of the chest. This nerd. 
To be fair, a lot of building in real life are like that, everything looking the same. The only difference is that there's not a hole wide enough for you to get lost inside. You're not wrong. I'm not even trying to kick you. Alright, I pushed her back to the center. I don't know how she went that way. I'm truly confused. I guess we would get lost more often in office buildings that didn't have maps or signs for on the floor. Yo, so when I used oh. to work in a straight, uh, state building, I used to work for the state of Indiana as a project manager, and that building, for like the first month, it literally was just the same thing over and over. Like, I had no idea where the hell I was half the time. And people were just like, oh, it's not that hard to navigate, and I'm like, it's literally the same thing everywhere. Mm -hmm. And then the room up here to the right, um, go raid behind the couch. That's rude. Yep. That's rude. And then cross over to the left side of the room and go through the door. Don't touch me, please. Thank you. What about this okay. door? Yeah, we want to go through there. Um, go down the stairs for an EX Gen level 4. Oh my god. Architects have been hitting tormentors for years and I never knew. Oh god, yeah. It's pretty bad. Check time too. I think I can spare like another 15 and then after that I'm gonna start getting yelled at. Yep, fair. Alright, we can at least get the pass stone and that is probably gonna have to be enough. Okay. okay. I made the sandwich. Alright. Wait. Okay. We can keep going down. Yeah, but I think we made that. I think we made dead end. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's fine. Those stairs are more understandable so, when you re remember this building was made for people who fly. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, so we want to skip this door that's coming up because we came through that one. Okay. We skip the next one and then, or let's see, that that one. There's supposed to be a third door. That leads into the room, I think. Okay, so. that's fine. <laughs> My dad is an architect. I actually already knew this, but thank you. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you're not educating me on anything right now. We battleize. Oh. I was not turned the right way. I was gonna say, Perseo, where are you going? How can this happen? Accidentally, you're not wrong. You are not wrong at all. Okay. And if we, if it's this, this yeah. one. Enter this one, and let's see if this. Oh! Yeah. This man! I didn't even get a chance. Let's go. Oh, Ooh. that pushed her right out. I need to do rain first. I need to do rain first for maximum deeps. Not you got shoulder checked so hard and died. I've been silently looking for like two hours. The stream has been really good. I appreciate all the thought you put in everything. Well, thank you so much, Phoenix. Yeah, I, I try to think about a lot of this stuff very, very critically. But at the same time, it's kind of hard to do because you have so many people who are always ready for like the gotcha moment and all that shit, and it's just annoying. That was a spirit bottle. Okay. Spirit bottle. Blah, 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 blah. Chest hidden behind the. Yep. No, I was like, you, uh, it takes one time, and I'm like, okay, I'm done with you. All right. Yep. Go up. This should be an orange doorway, and we're gonna go out that way because we gonna go outside. Oh lord. Oh, get flexed on. Get out of here, son. Quit following me. You don't want the smoke. He tried it. What a jerk. Okay. Da, 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 da. Follow the wall with the door in it to the north. Yep. And around. And hang on a second. And oh. around behind the wall is a chest with a ninja sword. So you gotta go back to where. 
And then behind this wall over here, there's a ninja. Yeah. I can't even believe that. Oh my god, I just heard Coach go off in my head, and I hate that. And then in the same spot over here, do it again. Uh oh, there we go. All right. Yep, keep going. Yeah, we're gonna come to the past in a second. Go through that doorway. Okay. All right. So down, down until we get. Go down until we reach the new doorway and then beat up the angel in there for the past stone. Also, good this night. This one? Um, here for all of it. Yeah, that one. Beat up this motherfucker. Oh, he's just gonna oh. post up there. That's cute. Yeah. Um, anyway, let me do this since he's gonna give me some time. Okay, you can put that on. Coach Sword is sucky. Oh! I do like that. Okay, okay. We're in some good shape. You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and eat me some of these, uh... Eat me some of these gummies right quick. Alright. Oh, wait. You need some gummies. I wasn't sharing Please. with you. That's the wrong gummy. Damn it. Yeah, I was about to say, like, I don't know if I need that. Notice I'm literally at 7k HP. They had all the good stuff in just awful spots. Who's the motherfucker casting my ass? You don't need the fuck out of my way. You had an opportunity to block in everything. Oh, it broke my combo! Oh, not you fell down and just got body. My lord. You were just having not a great day. This man was in the corner getting beat up. Yep. Mythos has 4,000 years of design to place. Uh, and this is what he came up with. Listen. Okay. So now yeah. how does this work? Okay, so now that we've done some of this bullshit, you remember that, you remember that chest that we, that, that black one that looks like that, that showed up on that one spot? Yes. Up way at the top? We need to go back over to that room, basically. Oh god. And we open that up and, yeah. So yeah, we can do it this way. Or we can like go down the spiral here. Hang on, let me see. Blah, 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 blah. Um... Da, 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 da. Okay, so did you just skip a door just now or no? No, I haven't even came up on a door yet. Okay. Unless I'm just Good. like going mildly like annoyed because it's all the fucking same. Yeah. I don't care if point this bad. <laughs> I bet this place creaks constantly. Yeah, probably. Yeah. So basically, the goodness is that at least once we can get the other, like that other chest, that that other black chest. Those are the two stones that we need. Then it's a black puzzle, and then once we solve the black puzzle, we get the thing that um gets us the thing. So. This this man sound like he's not having a great day. Goodbye, worthless enemies. I made a sandwich. Sandwich. Okay. So yeah. Okay, and so this, this door thing. should be a thing with an elixir if you go pop that open. Okay, we're gonna check behind the couch again. Okay, there's nothing behind the couch this time. Okay, so elixir. Skip the next door. Mm -mm -mm, don't touch me. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Okay. And then after this door... So the store that you just skipped, go into this one now. Okay, we're back here. So now we need to go back over to the other side of the Wait, castle. We do? And I think into that top door on the right. So we're gonna go grab the other chest that we made up here, and then we're gonna go back down to the um, first floor. And then we got some block puzzle bullshit to do. I'm skipping now. I'm skipping some of the treasure chests because now I know what the fuck. Now I know what the fuck I'm doing. And I was right. I need to just open up with Holy Lance first, because then that'll guarantee the hints. Oh, God! You... What happened? Oh, you talking about the, the stack up? Yeah. Short you tried to hit me with your stick. I kicked them out the air, swinging that stick at me. Get away from me. <laughs> Was that a bit too much? I made a sandwich. I need to make some fruit cocktail. Uh, so which door do I need to go through? Uh, the one over there at the top. 
Oh, this one? Yeah, I think so. Please let me be right. Buckles. Hang on a second. I was pretty sure that we need to go on the left side door. Yeah, I'm trying to remember where the fuck that thing was. Hang on. I'm Hang gonna on. I'm gonna putz around for a second. Fudge! Okay. I don't care for pointless Okay, Go through the Okay. Go through the door. Below you, go left across the room, staying on the same level, and go through the same door. Yeah, I'm trying to remember where that weird other, where that weird other offset room was. I think I, know. I think I got it, but I'll let you keep reading because I'm gonna path it to. God, I'm yeah, so go where you, Yeah, go where you think it is, honestly, because if Do your memory is better than mine, then. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Has some HP. It's worth. Always worth. Like, this man doesn't even want it no more. He's like, you know, I'm done with y'all. Oh, yeah, word, it was over here. Yo. So yeah, it's, mm, I I'm think it's up, up here. I think it's up these yeah. stairs. One fight after another. Which means I got fucking deceived because I thought. Mmm. <laughs> Mythos. Mythos. Just tell him this castle sucks. Child. Not you over here taking 500 damage, just taking kicks to the abdomen. Oh, you hit me with sick that time. I was like, SJ, what the hell are you doing? You over there with over limit and just hitting the air. <laughs> oh, I'm out of sandwiches. Whoops. So I think it's one of these two. If not this. Not really. Let's go to this one. Oh, the door going... facing it was this way. I'm gonna be real irate. Oh yeah, because you come across and then over the. Yo, this fucking game. Yeah, this is the way. Ah, oh, golly. Oh no. One fight after another. Okay. I'm fine. Okay, now let's get these so you can get the sacred stone before the boy does the yelling. I'm like constantly checking my phone for it too. Yeah, cause like, worst comes to worst, if we at least have the past and the future stone, then we can... It's like, at least then, once we have the two stones, we can do the block puzzle later. But the point is that we need them. Yeah, there the motherfucker was. Yeah, I opened the shit. And now we need to go back down to the um, ground floor. I'm assuming we're gonna save. Is that the play? We're saving? Yeah, that's basically the play. Because if you don't have time to do the block puzzle part, then at the very least we have the two stones, and then we can do the other shit, basically. Oh my lord. That person just got bodied. And thank you for bringing out, Chupels. I appreciate you. Mm. I'm like sitting here chewing my lip and not paying attention to where I'm kicking. Do not bother us. And look at look at that 7k health though. Isn't that beautiful? Trying not to box people, but now I'm like boxing I'm people. I'm tired. Let us repeat. Yeet. That's true. Goodbye. Goodbye. Sheena, get out of there. <laughs> I'm assuming the sorcerer ring doesn't work right now either. It no, it should if you can hit them. <laughs> There's no reason why. No reason why it wouldn't. But yeah, let's get to the ground floor. I mean, yeah. this game technically does have repels. Oh, it didn't have they didn't have a staircase going down in, on that side. I forgot about that. Yeah, I whiffed. That was it. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Sheena, stop being aggressive. Oh, Bonka Balls, like where? Where are the repels? In this game, they're called holy bottles. Okay. 
Oh my god, Anna's still going on about the devil architecture of this fucking place, and I'm... I'm... No, it's pretty bad. It... Okay... Yeah, there's gonna be some block puzzle bullshit that... If I'd been a little more careful, we would've had time for it, but... Don't even worry about it right now. Will the future be one of a bountiful earth, caressed by the blessing of the wind? Will it be one of swirling, terrible water that washes away all its pain? Or a path? Is there a ray of light in our future? I feel like those are just really fancy ways of saying, hey, you have some impacts. I could be wrong. I don't think I am, but I could be. 50 50. Alright, there we go. Yeah. And there then we can, we, we can deal with all the black puzzle bullshit on Tuesday. Alright, cool beans. Yeah! So, uh, there you go. Are you out of this castle? No, the architecture sucks. Anna's gonna come back Tuesday, and instead of saying first, they're gonna say this architecture sucks. It's not even gonna be a starter stream yet. Just this architecture sucks. This is garbage. But yes, thank you so much everybody for hanging out, per usual. I appreciate you. I forgot I was on this. And I was like, why am I on my Tiltify page? What's going on here? Oh, okay. That makes perfect sense. Who? Oh, awesome! Someone who redeemed a giveaway and got an art piece from my shop just got their art piece. And I'm very, very excited about that for them. Nice. Oh, so... Let's see. Oh, wow. I didn't realize how rude he was being, but okay, cool beans. So, the- oh, jeez, who's- who is that? Who is that? I'm on the wrong thing. It's Sage! Who? 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 I looked and was like, oh no, I'm gonna miss the raid thing, even though we're not even gonna stay on longer. Hello, everyone from Sage's stream. I'm Pleasantly Twisted. I'm a black queer content creator. I do tryhard games and JRPGs. We do challenge runs, speed runs, completionist things. And as of this evening, effective tonight, we have cleared Tales of Symphonia with the help of our wonderful guest, SJH Does Games. Hey, yo, what's good? And um, we're going to be coming back. We're looking for somebody to raid now. We're looking for somebody to raid now. Because we're going to be back tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern with some Hades. We're going to have some Hades. Oh, it's Kiwi. Oh, God. I don't want this recommendation. Can we maybe a don't? Well, no, not interested. Thank you. Um, anyway, let's see who's on. Thanks so much, everybody, for hanging out. I appreciate you. Uh, thank you for the subs, the gift subs, the resubs. I don't know if there's any biddies tonight. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I don't remember if there was. Uh, thank you for the donations. Thank you for the donations. Yes, I will say this weekend and this weekend only, we're going to be raising money for Gamers Outreach. Again, if you want more information about Gamers Outreach, you can do exclamation point charity. If you want to donate, you can do exclamation point donate. If you're sending it to your friends, any type of signal boosting would be greatly appreciated. You can send them the link that is down below in the panels. It's going to be in the top row of panels. You can't miss it. Um, thank you so much to Grinding Coffee Co. for hanging out this evening as well when I was kind of doing the pitch mostly correct, but some stuff I got wrong. We're sponsored by uh, Grinding Coffee now. We're sponsored by Grinding Coffee Co. So I've got your coffee needs, your tea needs. We're trying to work on getting your wine needs and your headsets and your microphones. Um... Last but not least, we're a part of the fantastic LGBTQ IAP Plus stream team, Rainbow Arcade. We hang out with the gays. We do that gay shit. Um, who do we want to hang with? Is the question. Coil underscore Twitch underscore bot cheers. X100. And thank you so much for the 100 biddies. I appreciate you. Oh, they're playing some cozy spirit fair. We might go hang out with Haffy. They're playing some cozy, cozy spirit fair. Or we can go see Mermaid Morale. Nah, I want to go do spirit fair. I feel like something nice and snuggly is warranted after the, the heaviness that is this game. Which is funny because spirit fair has a heavy story as well. 
but it's way more light and fluffy. And there's fishing. There's fishing. So, you know, you got that going for you. Do the people who got their codes need to do anything else, or will you get in touch with them? I will get in touch with them. I'll get in touch with people who win game codes, and I will get in touch with people who win prizes during the giveaways and stuff. Let's go hang out with half. Let's go hang out with half. Oh, no. Ooh, there we go. There we go. So, yes, thank you so much, everybody, for hanging out. Again, we're back tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern. We're going to be playing some Hades. So if you made donations and you wanted to have an impact on my game tomorrow, you can tell us, and then I'll put that in place for the game. Alrighty, I'll see everybody a little bit later. Have a good rest of your night, everybody.